Uy. Any next doers? <clears throat> what is going on here at the GE? What am I? Hey, what the fuck? What the hell? What did I walk back into? Kind of cult shit. Oh, this guy's out of line! What are you doing, dude? Bruh, let me get my chats popped out. What up, fellas? Welcome in, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Ed Raider Hayes? Yo, what up, dude? I see you. I see you on the YouTube side. And Tank Torva. I think I was talking to you earlier. What up, dude? Veritas, welcome in as well, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get, I have my chats on like two very separate monitors right now, which is a really just inefficient way to do that, to be honest. Here we go. We're up for next. Later for next, excuse me, and hang out with friends, have some drink cigars. Sweet, brother. Sweet, that sounds good. Sounds like a good Saturday night. As well as, I'll be here for a while for Schnecks, so whenever you are available, I shall be here. I was thinking as well, if you're here when, if and when, I should say, if we have to split up teams, um, I was trying to lean like Iron Men and or players who haven't gotten a drop in their name and are really pushing on that a little more. Trying to put them on the smaller team, if there turns out to be a smaller and a larger team, just give them a little higher chances to get the item in their name. I feel like it's very reasonable.
And I don't mind going with the smaller team as, or the larger team. It kind of depends uh, what jersey you're repping. This is a Captain America jersey that I'm wearing right now, bro. Welcome to Creed. K. Scott, I see you too. Yo, what I need, bro? I don't wear fucking sports jerseys, apparently. I got a Captain America jersey here. I got my Pikachu jersey on the couch, dude. <laughs> Sheesh. I had to go over the sleeveless today in general because it is fucking uh, hot out. Boys, what is this? Where's my chicken head? Where's the next for clear? Zero purples feels bad, man. It means you'll get hot, though. You'll get a hot streak. There's definitely been worse dry streaks, but they always lead to better hot streaks, too. I want this. I don't want this in my life. I'm scared. Currently frightened, boys. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Beach Ninjas, welcome in, welcome in. Special head, what up, dude? Watch your prayers video, hated him, right? Um, there has been, there was another update since that prayer video where they narrowed him down a little more, and I don't remember what feedback that update got as well, that it might be even, it might have been pushed even different than that, to be fair. You did that ancient curse back to the game? I'm fed up. I think a lot of people dislike that as well, so I think just adding Ancient Curses probably piss off a lot of players. I'd like a couple of new prayers because it'd be fun, but... But the, the thing is, this is what... This gets me a lot when I talk about the new prayers, or in that video, people will comment how, like, we don't need new prayers. I will say, I am actually... I am on the boat of, like, we don't need new prayers. No, it's not like the game is just... Honestly, the only reason this game is not very playable is because we don't have new prayers. Like, no, that would be a ridiculous statement as well. But, like, it'd be fun to have a higher prayer than a, a little 77 and get some new ones that are well-balanced and more content. Like, that's always any, like, potentially cool update. People are like, do we really need this? You're like, no, technically, they could just stop updating the game right now and I'll still fucking play it. Don't get me wrong. So I do, I, even though we don't need new prayers, I want new prayers, but only, like, a couple, to be honest. I don't think there needs to be fucking... I think there was 12 different prayers still with their pitch, and they narrowed it down, like, a little more, but... Just like adding a couple more higher level ones are fine by me as well, to be fair. But honestly, I will take just about anything that's not like balance compared to, I guess how it's balanced really does relate to what it does. But like exactly what it does doesn't matter as much to me as if it's like, as long as it's not underpowered or overpowered. If it's like worth using and it adds content, but then it doesn't make other content irrelevant. irrelevant? Oh my God. You could add fucking cars to RuneScape, and I would still, I'd be like, oh, they're balanced? I'll play it, Dad. <laughs> to be fair, I'm very easy to please. Gosh. Cheers, boys. Big Dick Dak and Casey with Dragon Darts, dude. I'm that guy, pal. I'm that guy, pal. New accuracy bonus, Z. Yeah, you can pick apart which prayers you don't like all you want, but that's just going to be something that's different for every person you ask. Whether or not you want more accuracy, max hit, defense, different redemptions, that's going to be very different from different players' perspectives as well. That's a hard one to be like, well, it's just what everyone wants. Like, what everyone wants is just something that's worth turning on as a prayer, because this is usually what you do with your prayers, is you just turn them on, and then things go well for you. That could be accuracy sometimes. I don't see why accuracy is a bad thing. Some people like to... Okay... There definitely is some of the original pitched ideas were like overly complicated and they're not that complicated once you use them. That doesn't help either though if they are like complicated, but I don't, I do like them to be unique. And those, sometimes those can be correlated. Like the more unique it is, the more likely it's going to be complicated. You know what I mean? Is elemental weakness shit or they want things complicated? Ah, he said complicated. Elemental weakness would be good. I don't see why there'd be a problem with that. See, that's more unique than complicated. Think about, like, how... I mean, the word complicated, I, don't, I can't really define it, I guess, would be difficult, confusing, confusing in some way. Like, how is it confusing if something's weak to air spells that air spells then do more damage? Like, that's not, that's not that complicated, is it? It's not really... It's not really that big of a deal, though, is it? It's like, yeah, it opens up for... That's kind of the main reason they're doing it, is it opens up for more different weapons and different types of attacking to be good in different places, which technically is more complicated, but 
That's, that's not really, like, that's already part of the game, that different weapons and different styles are good at different bosses. And there's no, like, super consistent pattern about it. Like, you don't know what a monster's weak to unless you use the, whatever the spell is, or you look it up. What is the spell called? I only want to say NPC Contact. Monster Examine. Only shitty spells is elemental effect, right? That's kind of the point, dude. Is that these spells with elemental effects are pretty shitty, and if they give monsters weaknesses to those spells, then they'll be more viable. Kind of like what Veritas was saying. It opens up more reward space without punishing, uh, with not pushing, I don't know why I said punishing, power creep. It doesn't just make, like, the best thing even better. It gives more options to be good. We gave a couple new prayers. A couple new prayers would be dope. I would, I would enjoy new prayers, but again, it's a weird one because I will put in thousands of hours if, into this game from here until whenever I stop playing it, with or without new prayers. So it really... I don't know. I, um, I do feel like a lot of people that say no to some of the new stuff is just without realizing, like, I don't know, thinking about the gameplay as much and just kind of read it on paper and just be like, this is different. Nah. And you're like, well, no. People are bored of OS rests. We don't want to try. Try hard on a dated game. Just give us ancient curses and chill. <laughs> Who are you to tell us who's bored? What do you mean? I'm not bored of OS rests. That was a pretty bold statement there, brother. People are bored of OSRS. I'm not. Give me Soul Split. I want to watch the world burn. Dude, give me Soul Split and I'll never die again, bro. Are they going to add elemental contribute to con contribute, excuse me, to other weapons or just buff elemental spells? Probably both would end up happening. If they make monsters have elemental weaknesses, I don't see why future weapons wouldn't also have elemental sides to them. Or more weapons would be focused on actually using spells from the spellbook instead of having their own charged, um, like, attack. Probably would mean for more staves that don't have their own attack. Like, um, oh, Jesus, I didn't realize I was fighting a ranger. Um, like, uh, Shadow and, and Tridents and, and Sanguine Estes, those all use their own attack. Whereas a Kodai or fucking Kodai. Oh, Harmonize Nightmare Staff, stuff like that actually uses Spellbook spells. It probably would lead to the Spellbooks being a little bit more important as opposed to just a Charge Staff. But then they could make Charge Staffs that have an elemental bonus to them as well. Both of these things could happen. Speak for yourself. Exactly, dude. It's, I'm sure that some people are bored of OSRS. That's fine, but that's like every game will work like that. Some people will be bored, some people not be bored. But it's a wild statement for that guy to be like, ah, people are bored of it. I'm sure that the people that are bored of OSRS, Ancient Curses is the only thing that they need to then enjoy the game again. Do you have any ecumenical keys? Yeah, but I'd have to use one every time I'm going through this door. Using ecumenical keys for necks instead of just stacking up on a bunch of KC is not a great idea. Because what you get to do, Nex has a bank in here, so you can stack up a bunch of Ancient Essence. And then um, I can just, like, I don't have to think about banking for, like, the rest of the night. This is more efficient than getting the uh, ecumenical keys. Ancient Curses summoning in Dungeoneering is what I want. Oh, man. People probably hate you when you bring up summoning. I don't have a problem with summoning. Again, for me, the name of the content matters way less than how it's balanced. So that really doesn't bother me as much as it'll bother other people. People like to just hear something and be like, nope, that's not going to be good or not going to be bad. And then not actually realize what it does or doesn't do. Like, what if summoning came out and the only thing you could unlock with it would be at 99, you could get, like, this little squirrel. And all the little squirrel did was damage you randomly. That would be pretty shitty and underpowered. But everybody hears summoning and they think it's going to be overpowered. Like, you don't know how they would put it in. Uh, they're not going to put it in. There's not gonna, Very unlikely that they'll get a new skill in Old School RuneScape that is just one of the skills they did in the other game. They're, they're going to try to change it up a little more. I'm so despised Dungeoneering until I got my CLS. I did so much Dungeoneering for a long time. But I was doing like, I did a lot of solo. The only group Dungeoneering I did was with my, my friends who I don't have any. Don't have friends. I don't. And um, we would do like, we'd get up to like three of us at a time max. So it was mostly solo Dungeoneering I did. So like very, probably very inefficient. Not even probably, like definitely not getting as much XP an hour as I could. Having no idea what I was doing, just loving the shit out of it, to be honest.
And then I got my chaotic longsword. And the one time I've ever sent the good old fishing link was like two days after I got my chaotic longsword. And they took everything from me. And yeah, I just went back and got another one. It did take another like few months. I was pretty sad, but I was like, what got me was it took about a day to realize like, I'm like to get one back, like all, even though I don't have any stuff anymore, like I don't have to have any stuff for Dungeoneering. So I'm like, I technically can go back right into Dungeoneering and keep playing the game the same way that I have been playing the game and enjoying it for months. And then get a Chaotic Longsword and go use that to make money back. And I was like, so I'm not actually in the worst scenario that I've ever been in. And then it took a while to go get it. Again, I wasn't playing very efficiently, so getting another Chaotic Weapon wasn't quick. I didn't really know that it was taking me longer than it should, though. It, it, it's worse if you're like, if you're doing something kind of slow and enjoying it, then you get told how much better it could have been and now like that kind of ruins it for you i was still in a place where i was like i didn't i had no idea how efficient i was doing i was just winging it chaotic longsword is like super good fucking stab weapon i mean i probably used it poorly i don't think it was even stab would it be slash because they had a chaotic rapier as well it's just a high level weapon in rs3 it's been beaten like dry gores came out while i was still playing rs3 so it's not it hasn't been best in slot for a long time to be fair you got hacked i did when i was like this was when i was like 14 probably I just clicked on a phishing link thinking that I was going to be mod if I filled out a form. That form included my password and username. Cheers, boys. Hey, you'll learn that day. You'll learn. Ah, God. Ugh. 45 currently open. It's me, Wayne Drama, dude. The guy next to you. It's no more who got the Dexter's Prayer Scroll. That was last week, huh? Guy next to you is selling Sunfire Shards. That was the best. That was some good shit, actually. That was some good shit. But at that point in my account, my Chaotic Longsword was definitely, like, my fucking pride and joy as well. So it's not like they got a lot of money. I'm sure that um, my whole bank was probably... I don't think I would have had a 99 quite yet. When I got... My first 99 was fishing, and I did all rock tails, which are basically anglerfish. And I think I sold them for, like, 33 mil when I got that 99. And that was the most money I had. And I think I got my Chaotic Longsword before I did that. Even if it was after I did that, they, it was... I could have had like a 40 mil bank total. I don't think I did that. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it was even lower than that. So it was really just the chaotic longsword they took from me. And I was like, well, I like dungeoneering anyways. <laughs> and I, I don't get to use the chaotic longsword while dungeoneering. So I'll just go get another one. Yeah, I should have gotten the, the chaotic rapier anyway. I don't remember what content I was sending, but like the rapier was better than the longsword. I didn't really know that. I didn't really carry there. I just kind of, I was definitely getting shit just because I thought it was cool as well. Which is why I liked the game so much. <laughs> Slash and the Rapier Stab Maul was crushed, but he lost his mole a day. He got a PKing. Ah, dude. I do remember that Maul, too, with Crush. And because it was Crush heavy and pretty big deal being a PK weapon, that was one of the only reasons. I didn't know logistically why it was a PK weapon. I, didn't, I wasn't big brain. It's like an Elder Maul, same idea. I, I understand now the idea of the big hit and, like, trying to finish a kill and whatnot. Like, I didn't... I didn't know a fuck about PKing, so I just knew that they were like, you get the Chaotic Maul if you're trying to PK. And I was like, I'm not trying to PK, so I'm going to get the long sword, which is just, I just thought it looked cool. I gave my guy, uh, gave a guy, my friend's full of Zamings, he's promised to give me more than double. It was worth in 2006, dude. The good old doubling trick. You know, there's people still out there trying to get you for that, dude. There's people still out there going for that shit. The good old doubling. I had, a, I had a friend, Mac, that we've talked about plenty of times in the past. That has He's had a lot of hours in RuneScape, so he had a lot of ups and downs. One of his one of his downs, careful, dude. He uh, thought that he was outdoing the money doubler. And he definitely just pushed it too far. Because you know how money doublers will definitely give you double the money like a few times until you give them something expensive that it's been worth their while, and then they then they scam you. And we were like, Mac, you, you got to make sure you don't ever give them like, too much stuff. He's like, no, I won't, I won't. And like one day he did. <laughs> I was like, like, dude, why'd you just hand him like your whole bank? Crime, I got lured my oak long was a 10 year old and leather chaps, dude. That'll get you, that'll get you. It's like one of the big things that when you don't know much about the game, you also like trying to get shit back. You may not realize how little of a time sink it is. I think about like, this is an extreme example because this guy's really good at the game and he's probably got more hours than I do. But um, Mutz has a hardcore Iron Man that is insane. 
correct me if I'm wrong, his hardcore Iron Man before the one he has at the moment died to like him just kind of brain deading like armadillo bodyguards and getting K out on his hardcore Iron Man. The kind of thing that if you were like to think about how far that account would be in and having to like restart that, like most people would be like, I just could never get back to that point. Like it's not even worth it. You're like, yeah, but if you just try, like, you might. And then he ends up now, he's got, like, the best hardcore Iron Man, like, ever. You're like, okay. Wow, it's almost like if you just keep grinding, you might be all right. Cheers, boys. Friend of mine I fell asleep. I'm on chat, I realized after a while I woke him up. He died living in our cabins getting rock tails, lost 80 mil. Would have lost 80 mil had I not talked to him last night, dude. What? Jesus Christ. That seems fucking sketchers, dude. But Living Rock Cavern did have those. They actually had Living Rocks, man. I could fucking come and kick your ass, huh? He was top 10 overall before he quit our student. Really played with Dungeoneering, came out. My account got hacked. I was inactive. Only found around 2019. And my account is gone. Rip. Then you weren't playing it anyway. Pretty cool while you had it. And then, even though you've lost it now, you weren't playing it anymore. Put my whole RS bank into Dogecoin, dude. Yes, Dogecoin's back. I'm pretty sure, dude. I'm pretty sure Dogecoin's doing pretty well right now. Um, I'm t totally pulling this out of my ass. Do not take financial advice from me. Crypto advice. I can only name like four coins, and they're all Dogecoin. I had four skills, top 21. Why are you Why are you frowning, though? thought you said you were inactive on it. Like, you weren't even playing the account anymore. It's like an old trophy that was collecting dust in your garage, and it turns out it's not even in your garage, and you're like, damn, dude, I wasn't even looking at that trophy anyway, but then when I went to find it, it wasn't there. You're like, yeah, but you weren't even looking at it anyway. Sheesh. We should do less of that with the YouTube side as well. I forgot... Traded by D-Bed Help for Tyrus Help because I thought it was better back then. Rip what I found out. That's always the good thing about just not knowing, dude. The noobs are having the best fun when you know shit. This is my lifetime job got swiped away. I That's just like the exact opposite of what I'm saying, though. Is it's more like the job that you retired from doesn't exist anymore. But you weren't. You literally just said you were inactive on it. How could you consider that your job if you weren't even doing it? Like, bro, if you retire from the NBA and then 10 years later the NBA gets shut down as an organization, it's not like they took any of your accomplishments away from you. Like, you weren't you weren't playing anymore, bro. And then even if you do log back in an account that was really high rank like that, if you hadn't been playing it that long, you know, it's really... People have passed you. First page ranks. And I lost it all some rares, too. Dude, you can list off as many things as you want, but until you start to listen to what I'm saying, I'm just going to keep repeating myself. This was something that you weren't even logged in on. This is something you weren't spending your time on, and you're trying to make it sound like you lost something. You're not going to gain any sympathy from me right now, brother. I'm not going to lie. I gave you all my sympathy already. I was like, that was a bummer. And then I tried to help you out with like, but it's really not that big of a deal. And you've now spent the next like five messages trying to convince me it was that big of a deal. And I, I just don't really care anymore. You're 45 trying to hold this world down, but a 117, 120 just showed up. No worries, no worries. It's easier to hold the world down once there's a few of us anyway. 117 and 120 were fucked, dude. Ask him to like PK for it or something. Like 2v1. That's, that'll be fair. Dude, we had somebody 2v1 us in tournament. Like, we were the two. They were the one. They were mods of a tournament. It was like two weeks ago. What the hell was that about, dude? It didn't go well. It didn't go well. Are you gonna post in Discord? It could post in Discord. What a passive-aggressive way to remind me, brother. Welcome in. Sorry, I've been too busy fucking having fun with my only friends. You don't have friends? I don't. I fucking knew he was gonna say that. KC 243. Every time I go back into Nex's room, I'm going to need more KC. One sec. I just started typing at everyone a second time. I'll show you an example. 
Think about if you were doing Bandos all night and every time you went into Bandos's room, you'd have to spend the 40 or KC or whatever, but you didn't lose the KC that you stacked up. It's kind of how next works. I will lose this KC if I leave God Wars Dungeon, but there's a bank right here. So unless I die, I won't leave God Wars Dungeon. Did we uh, bully them or at least persuade them to ski daddle? Fucking bully them in. I could probably send right now. Let's KO a, a mage, get some dragon boots. Cheers, boys. Ah. How many times do you plan on leaving the next room? Every trip, bro. We only get like, well, once we get a large team, sometimes we get like three kill trips, but we're going to be here for like six or seven hours. So a lot of times. Are we going 45? Numbers are multiplying. I'll oh, just let him have the world on us. like, I don't know if anybody else at the bank right now. Who are they? Wait, I only see. Oh, no, I do see this. The same the numbers are multiplying. Multiplied by one. Kind of stupid there's a limit on ecumenical keys. I guess. I don't know. Is it really that big of a deal? I can't remember the last time that affected me in any way, shape, or form. Especially now that there's a bank in God Wars Dungeon. Like, that matters so very little. There's a third, I swear. You scared them off, dude. You did the job of bullying them away. I don't, even, I don't know what you said to them, but I'm a little afraid of you now, okay? I don't know, just because I don't know what you said to them. Must have been some real heinous shit, dude. Any books of the dead? I can't read, so... I don't know. My world now. Damn it. We lost it to this fucking nerd. How many dragon arrows, Dad? Dragon arrows. Oh, scroll down. Fucking bozo. There you go. Is free for all? Nah, we're doing splits. Free for all is fucking garbage. Free for all is not a bad option to have. But if you could split instead. As long as you can split these chicken heads. Wait, what? Once you notice that the Dizana's max cape looks like a chicken head, it will forever look like a chicken head. When did you get the quiver? Uh, never, according to some one random toxic guy from a few days ago. Last Saturday, actually, almost exactly a week from right now. Like, we're very close to a week on the dot. It was only a little bit into the YouTube stream last Saturday. And that YouTube stream's not available. The, the VOD's not available on YouTube. It is on Twitch. But um, I started that YouTube stream by still playing my Spotify. So there was a lot of copyrighted music in the first, like, 25 minutes. I was like, yeah, I'll just, just don't put the VOD on that. That's okay. That's okay. YouTube is like, so what do you want to do about it? They fucking took me out back like the mob, dude. GZ, dude, thank you, Mentality. Thank you, thank you. It was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. It took a lot of tries, but it was a lot of fun, too. I do want to go back and mess around with it. They just changed it up, too. Actually, the Coliseum just got a, a lot of <laughs> reworks. Some might say they made it even easier. So I'm going back. Well, if we can join, as long as you can split, you can join. We're 485 at the moment. 485. Go ahead and join the 85 Code 85 like, chat channel. If you join the chat channel... It's 85 to code 85, which is my username. If you join the CC, like the official clan chat, uh, it will be the Ed Boys, like the YouTube link of the Twitch name. You can join the the clan as a guest, or you could just join this chat channel so that it'll at least highlight your name for me, and I can know that you're on the team, making it a lot easier for me to pay attention to <laughs> the splits, to the implication. <laughs> no, because of the implication. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. This, why is this such a fucking high quality movie poster, dude? Just the boat out there, dude. The implication. Holy shit. 
I gotta send this to Jay. That's fucking insane. <laughs> free Dakota, free me from where, dude? Oh, cheers, boys. It's dime. I got one too many things here. Oh, I got my cape. That's dumb. This is your cape now. And we could send the blessing as well. So I post memes in Discord, but I don't get banned for flooding it. Yeah, you can post as many as you want. They're definitely the memes, and they usually will just get like a. That's how, because you think about when you scroll through on your phone, the memes, most of them just get the little, little breathe out of your nose. So mostly you'll just get some reactions out of them. A lot of, we had, okay, we had for a while, some guy whose username was like Watermelon, his, the memes that he posted were just not, I didn't, they weren't memes. They never, <laughs> they looked like some burnt AI made them, dude. Every time. Cheers, boys. Never did Nex and OSRS before, like you're probably shit anyways. No friends play. Only one dude can do some content with doing Nex is too hard. We're doing Nex right now, bro. Don't talk yourself out of it. You got a, an Osmontan's Fang and a decent crossbow. So you came up with two reasons you couldn't do next here that are both different. You said the gear is shit and then you had no friends. We can help you with the friends, but what about that shit gear? You don't even need that good of gear. All those fucking page ones from years ago couldn't get you next friends, could they, brother? I feel that. I feel that. Lost all the contacts, dude. For real, bro. Usually front page skills don't correlate to next very, very high level. You were on the friends list. I knew you were going to start listening on the friends list too. I knew you were going to give a real excuse to the cap, but dude, I'm out. I'm out. Bro, if you have a fang and a crossbow, you can join. But if you just talk yourself down before you get to join, then I'm going to talk you down as well. You gave yourself zero credit in that first message, guy. You just said you have no friends to play with to my face. Am I not your friend? Did the joke go that far over your head? <laughs> Jesus! I guess we're not friends! I don't have friends. I don't. Oh, I tried to spam it so it would play like three times and it didn't work. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I, that's why I put my head down so angrily. And then it only played once. Not friends, but lovers. Wait a minute, but lovers? Anyone lend me a ZCB? How come you can do this with a rune crossbow, bro? Since when do you need a ZCB to do next? All right, we're here with the T-Bow. Tebow's all right, but still bring a fang. Use your fang for most of the DPS. Tebow for your range weapon's fine. Tebow only. <laughs> Poke the bird, boys. My fan got a rapier. I'll come room crossbow. A <laughs> rapier's pretty shit, brother. What do you how did you get here fangless? That was to be fair, the first thing I said was what world if we can join? I was like, we can split and we use a fang. Ah! Come room crossbow, send it, brother. Bring the fang. If you don't come with the fang, you're out, dude. How did you get all the way here without the fang? Killing me, smalls. You would try to have to take. Somebody should put out a guide on next as well. Give me a sec, fellas. I said that too early. I don't have the link on my guide. Ninety-nine crafting getting closer. You just knock out another ninety-nine real quick, bro. I know you're sending some last night as well. GGs, GGs, dude. Here's the next guide, me boys. That's the beginner's next guy that's not as long. We'll show you some setup stuff as well. Osmontan's Fang. Blood Fury. 
Best crossbow you got? You're part of the squad. Blood Fury pretty big too. I think I almost needed some sand had to wait. I see you, I see you. GG's, another 99 in the books. Armadillo crossbow, even that's crashing. If you want, brother. Armadillo crossbow, nice for the dragon bolts, but a dragon crossbow can use those as well. So the only big difference you're really getting out of dragon and armadillo crossbow is like one extra square of range, because the special attack's not gonna matter much. And the accuracy bonus is pretty fucking tiny. About why did it send you? Was it too soon? Since the most recent one, fucking banned you for ten minutes. It's a piece of shit. This morning, only one of the mysterious. Oh my god, dude! While reading this, I'm just like pouring my shot next to the glass. <laughs> Oopies! What bolts do I use again? You're gonna want ruby bolts, dragon ruby bolts. She's got a lot of health. You're trying to hit hundos. Knows he needs his alright crossbow, doesn't even know what bolts to put in him. Aren't you the guy who said that everyone's bored of OSRS? Seems like you haven't played much OSRS after that one. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, we might not have to go in in. No, sweet mentality's with us, hell yeah. I thought we were getting half crashed. Mentality's with us. I didn't right click on you yet. Cheers, boys. Ah, uh, Mr. Rodars, Jesus Christ. That was a. That was a sad shot. Just use Imgur. Imgur would be a good call. I, the only person who's, who's ever used this push, is poo dot sh. <laughs> why does it? Why does it put the dot where it does? Uh, has only ever been K Scott, so I probably could allow the the push notifications, but I know nothing about them. Am I gonna get spammed suddenly? It's been like a, he's been playing the long con, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you join CC? Oh, that does help. Thank you, thank you, brother. Sheesh. Makes sense, right? What, that you're bored of OSRS, but you haven't even taken the time to learn it? No, that's actually quite the opposite. It seems like you're bored of the game that you're not even playing. Maybe if you played the game more and paid attention more, you'd be less bored. Maybe. Just maybe. It's push or nothing. It's a lot more easy it is to use. He's fucked, dude. It's like nerf. It's nerf or nothing. GG's. We got two R's, boys. Hit me with the R when you're ready. And we iPod. Good luck, have fun. Uh, I'll be standing on the north side of Nex with the cough. So when you set up at Nex at the very beginning here, don't stand on the north side of her, fellas. I'll be there. Otherwise, have fun. And if you do, like, whatever. Uh, if you do, you will not be the last person to spread the cough tonight. It happens. We get too many people in here to think we'll never spread any of the cough. I'm going to do it to you on purpose right now. I'm just <laughs> I say that, so then when I make a mistake, it looks like I meant to do it. No, oh, no. What are you doing, Mr. Krabs? My favorite PVM guide maker? You know, Dragon Flame. Welcome back in. Welcome back in. What happened to not the north side, brother? It's the only thing I just said! Literally the only thing! <laughs> what are you doing? Should you do next? 
If only your favorite, I'm just kidding, I'm also combining two messages together to make a joke, fellas, and I do realize that I'm doing that. If only your favorite PVM guide maker would put out a next guide or two. <laughs> I have a beginner's next guide and an in-depth next guide that have your name on it. Don't have any friends for next? <sighs> I don't know how to put the your name on it thing on this one, but I'm, hey, I'll be your friend. Watch those, hell yeah, Dragon Flame got them. Chop a 420B. If only somebody could teach you next. Protect range. The big red square around next. It is Nex's, or I'm using, excuse me, radius markers. I I am actually gonna link you, no worries brother, no worries. This is easiest to set up if you had a screenshot of my radius marker and I do have a timestamp in one of my videos that if you give me until like in between kills and remind me, then I can get you that timestamp and show you the screenshot. Two newbie guys don't work on me? Well then sit there and keep complaining, I can't help you. So the masses though, kinda nervous. Nex is nerve wracking to be fair, she's pretty thick, but overall, uh, sheesh. Oh, I didn't realize that. We want her over here. Uh, standing outside of Nex's range and forcing her to run away will make you guys take a lot less damage right now. If you guys... I mean, I'm not the one taking damage. You guys are. There, you got it anyways. If she's standing next to Umbra, you just want to get her away from Umbra instead of trying to force it. Dagonoth next, dude. My favorite Dagonoth King. The next radius markers. It's there. No, oh, dude, don't send them to not my video. What the hell was that? What the fuck was that about, dude? 19 inch shards, only two drops. Two drops. Oh, no, my MVP sniped. Ah, people love to bring up the MVP. Anybody who talks about whether or not, like, are you doing duos? Maybe you're doing duos. It's literally the only time where the MVP is most likely to get a drop. MVP is most likely if you just compare it to individual players, but even in a three-man, if only a single drop is achieved in the fight, it's more likely to be from one of the non-MVPs than it is the MVP. Don't put that much focus on MVPs is a very, very good step one. Step two, with only two drops at the 2900, are you an Iron Man or free-for-all by chance? Because that's the only time that should matter either. Like, if you're just doing splits, then it doesn't matter if you get the drop. If you're an Iron Man, it's RNG be RNG. You know how it is, though. You want to go 2400 shards and two drops? You've done about one drop rate right, since then? It sounds like you've been just unmotivated, brother. Yeah, sometimes you get the drop, sometimes you don't. Like, that's how all of PVM works. I'm not really sure what you want me to say to that, to be honest. Yeah, even if you're ranging her in this phase, try to stay close to Nex so she uses less magic attacks. You really should be poking her right now anyways. But if you're standing far away from Nex you, and she targets you, she's guaranteed to use a magic attack which hits everybody. If you stand close to her, at least she can melee you. And then only one person takes damage. I'm driving with a toe pet at 4kc. Oh, so you have had good luck at other places and you're having bad luck here and you're still just listing it off as if that's... Not something that everybody deals with. I don't know how to help you with this, man. I really don't. I really don't know what you want me to say. I'm sorry that you're having bad luck. But eventually it turns into good luck. You've even had good luck. You just typed proof of your good luck right there that you got an early Toa Pet. Oops. Switching overhead, hard. Everything's trying, shadow's even less rare. Dude, stop listing off drop rates. I know how rare items are. You're not gaining sympathy by going even further into this. I've said the things that I've said and I mean it. The only way to Turn your RNG around is to keep grinding it out. Sometimes you go lucky, sometimes you go unlucky. 
The next time you say something about how bad your luck has been, I'm timing you out for 10 minutes because I don't want to hear anymore. Got it? Thank you. Fucking insane. The woe is me attitude is ridiculous. I can't imagine on my worst dry streaks going to your chat and fucking crying about it. And then when you said, like, dude, you're going to get better. Don't worry. Still crying about it as if I'm going to change my mind and be like, nope, it's going to be shit for you for the rest of your life. What do you want me to say, dad? I don't know what you want from me. There's literally nothing can please you right now. I got nothing for you, man. I'm sorry. Your RNG sucks and it'll never get better. Is that better? I'll take your next pet. I mean, that's okay. It took me a while to get him, but that means I'm going to get a second one too soon, right? And then if I get a second one away, like if I give the first one away, I get a second one. It'll it'll look like it's me getting my first one instead of me getting a repeat pet. Dude, honestly, this is big brain, Blood Moon. You and I are on to something at the moment. Or on something, I don't know. But what about me? Oh, I thought I untimed you out, okay, Scott, on the 300 seconds. I clicked the unban button, but I must have fucked it up. I thought I got you. I had no idea. You said your RNG was gonna suck forever. <laughs> I'm glad I can confirm that for you. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I could be here for you, dude. If you have bad RNG now, you'll have bad RNG forever, dude. There are no hot streaks and bad streaks. Oops, I'm dumb. I'm Beans. Can't believe you caught on my long con, dude. I had to talk it out, though. You heard me get through the steps on it. As I started putting it all together. You can see the gears going, dude. Reclaim all my pet. I pet lost them to my friends in Willie Maxi. Oh, I lost at some Willie Massey party, dude. Maxi party, you get uh, one mil per pet cost hanging out. How many pets you got? How many mils is that gonna be? There's no way you say like 25 mil, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> World Bound Boys, are you coming to split? And will you be bringing your fang? Apparently, we gotta make sure. Dual Makuhito, out of boys, Zach. GG's. Oh, I'm getting hit by Rangy Wangy. Only 10, that's still pretty thick. Check Fang, check. Standing on north side, check. Oh no, not the standing on north side. That wouldn't even work. I imagine not splitting a group activity. That's a Fang. Sweet, come on down, brother. We are 485. I also can't imagine not splitting, but it's definitely not on everyone's agenda. I will say the majority of people that we've had ask if it's split or free for all. If they wanted it to be free for all, they just just didn't join it. Like we've had very few people like complain or anything. To be fair, if I was like, yeah, you got to split though, they're like, all right, well, I, I'd rather not. Then they just leave, and it's pretty amicable. <laughs> like, thank you. We I don't think we really have ever somebody try to like crash and be like, no, I'm just gonna free for all. Never mind. Dude, I am getting slapped to shit. There we go. Poke this thing as we get the crew or oh, I just almost sniped that blood spell. Cheers, boys. We get shit ready for next we can join. For sure, dude. There's an extra step involved with getting ready for next. It's like me when I have to either script or voice record a guide. Those are the two steps of the video making process that I genuinely don't really like that much. Actually editing a video and whatnot, even making a thumbnail is kind of fucking dope. But just like listening to my voice recording and splitting it up like that, of course, angers me. Nobody likes the sound. Of, some people do like the sound of their own voice. It's crazy. I like the sound of my own voice when I have headphones on. I can barely hear myself. <laughs> There's an extra step involved between, like, you know, 
having the ability to do it and just doing it. And it's just... It's just doing it. It's an extra step of just doing it. There's this kind of like, ah, there's thinking that there's like too much that you're not ready. There's this, mm, my stats probably aren't good enough. Mm, I probably don't have the right gear. It happens to everybody. And then every player that we've had that was just like, that has said whatever their stats and gear are, and we're like, actually, yeah, you could join us. And then they're like, all right, and they finally joined us. They've then made a bunch of money and become next pros. And we're like, oh, this wasn't as bad as I thought, is it? Like, no, like the hardest part is actually pulling the trigger and going for it. It's like, you're gonna, you're gonna die too. A lot of people, a lot of people take dying in this game as like a, an actual death sentence. Like, it's, it's really not that punishing to die in old school RuneScape, unless you're a hardcore. Blessed Assassin, what up, dude? I think I want to keep my prayer the same. You're about to switch off of me. What's the old mentality hard to get your stuff back? It's definitely a big part of it, is it? You just have this, like, kind of stuck mentality that, like, dying is going to be detrimental. And you don't put together that, like, well, it isn't, though. Which, if you haven't... I imagine that's not a lot of people that deny it. And they're like, no, it still is shitty to get your stuff back. I think that's just you haven't clicked that switch yet. Like, you really got to... You gotta go out of your way to think that, or like maybe have some asshole like me constantly telling you that could help, I guess, but... Like it is not... I don't know. Not that big of a deal to die. I die on stream. A lot. The worst part is the fucking dent to my ego. The embarrassing of dying on stream? Yeah, dude! Uh, you, you had beaten me to it, dude. You beat me to it, Isaac. That's what I was saying. You had already said it, bro. Hardcore Iron Man, that's depressing, bro. No, don't do this to me. How, wait, how'd your Hardcore Iron Man go down? My Hardcore Iron Man, I haven't played in quite some time, so you would think he's dead, but I just play on other accounts. I die watching on stream a lot. At least nobody sees that, right? I died a lot. Got a scoop. Thanks for letting me join. Yo, no problem. Cold Breed, thank you for joining in. From the YT side as well. Every Saturday we've been sending next streams, so if you get a chance to tune in on Saturdays, uh, should always be next availability. I have not been sending a lot of non-Saturday next nights recently because we have other gains to make as well. So it's usually just Saturdays at the moment. Which is kind of nice for when Saturday happens too. Doesn't feel like just another next day. It feels like a big thing. Just another next day, dude. Just another tour of a drop. It's all dropping, dude. Tour of a play body is like basically free. 385 mil for a damage play body. <laughs> questing. Ah, not questing. Did you get some high level quests at least? Don't tell me you're like, dude, like Cook's assistant. <laughs> you no, know you could take damage in that, bro. Cheers, boys. Dragon Slayer 2, that's reasonable, that's reasonable. That is a quest I have avoided on the Hardcore Iron Man for that reason. Earth phase, dude, so you were fucking late in, in the fight, bro. Damn, Daniel. That would be depressing. And then that would be a good reason where if you, let's say you were gonna join in at next night and you were like, I would join in at next, but I'm scared of next. And then I was like, dude, you don't have to be scared of next. Like, dying's not a big deal. And then you said, I'm a Hardcore Iron Man. I would immediately take all of that back, for sure. That's where, that's rough. C2H being a one hit, fucking rip, brother. GG's, you gave it a good run if you're getting deep into Dragon Slayer 2. Doesn't always make you feel better just because you gave it a good run, but it's true. That doesn't take that away from you that you gave it a good run, dude. If 30 HP when I pull my Torva Helmels TP, teleport out during that boss. I think you teleport out. Yeah, I think the. I guess I haven't tried to, but. Oh, you should be able to. Don't stand north side, fellas. Why is this not divine potion? It was max for the year's end on the main. There you go. There you go. What's your what's your total level then, dude? Maybe more importantly is like which which of the slow skills do you have left, or like what levels you know 
Are you sitting there? You're like, I'm like 22, 67 total, but like 10 agility levels. This agility. Nothing, nothing maxes out at like absurdly slow. Agility probably is the one. Is there any skill that maxes out slower than agility? Sixty-seven levels ago, not bad, not bad. Cheers, boys. The picture I sent though. Oh, the the bowls. Yeah, dude. Oh, I was I fucked up bad while I was reading it. It looked like I was having a bowl. Agility 91 herb, 90 destruction 93 mining. Oh, these are bad, not bad. Construction and mining pretty solid for just needing the G or excuse me, not mining. Construction and herb lore. Jesus Christ. That was called mining a Bible. Almost, dude. What do I have? Auto retaliate? All right, do. I saw that turn around for a second. Trying to get killed, no reason. Uh, I see you just want a, a bigger split. It's not how it works, boys. Maybe for him it is. What? Now, nah, if you die, you're still in the squad. If you got to go get KC, it's faster for the team to get a kill without you than it is for you to try to like barely get enough KC and get back in. So we'll go get a fucking kill without you, and then if we get a drop, you're part of the split. Once you join the team, you're on the team, and then when you got to go, you're you're out, dude. Try to join does not exist. Must have typed the wrong name, brother. Are you doing a chat channel? You gave me an ex a chat channel. There it is. Um, that's 85 to 85 that you're looking for. The clan chat is the Ed Boys. My chat channel is just my username. And if it's the Ed Boys for the clan, it'll also have a zero instead of an O in boys, just like the Twitch channel does. So either way, it'll, it'll be spelled like you would see on the screen in some way, whichever one you're going for. Chat channel is my username. Clan chat is the Ed Boys. Echo keys for the win. <laughs> Not at next, no. If anybody using ecumenical keys at next, dude, mal, bro. Uh, Oops, I'll hide. Momentarily. I don't know got that kind of time. It's not even like that doesn't make any sense. Don't don't try to actually fucking convince that into making any sense. You can use your ecumenical keys all you want. I will not try to convince you to use your keys differently, but they're not echo keys for the win for next. Like it's still, I would not suggest anybody do that. Ecumenical keys for next, not a good idea. I just got that kind of time. Doing like high level bossing, you don't even have time to get like 40 essence outside, which is like six kills. That's the short part of the grind, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Your recommended keys are spent much better elsewhere. You get KC so quickly at next. And you can stack them up so you can do multiple trips at a time and not have to waste any keys. There's no way I would ever use an ecumenical key on next. Drink water, nerd. Don't talk to me like that, Nightbot. I'm the mean one, not you. If I cry in front of stream, they'll never take me seriously again. Contain this. Look out. I don't think you guys saw it. That was a funky one. She said contain this right before she said the other one. Got a watcher. No, he's got a point. I mean, he does have a point, though. Drink water, me boyos. I mean, he's right. Not while I'm drinking water, dude. Whew. 
you to die under there. Try to step under next while you heal. Standing under next to stall her out while you heal will be good because she could do just as much damage as you're healing if you're just standing there letting her wail on you. And then as you get more in tune with it, like you don't want to stand under her too long. It's really not detrimental for us if you stand under too long and you make her skip at this point. Technically, it's a little bit worse, but like in like 4,000 kills, that has never been the reason that we didn't get the kill. Like that's not, it's not that bad. We have a tight schedule. Take time is down to minutes on some days. My guy, again, I'm not going to try to convince you whether or not you should use keys, but you're just not making any sense. You're talking about using, you realize that the average time per key is more than the average time per KC for next. Like, you're just talking about how, like, you would spend more time elsewhere. So, I'm out. Like, I can't, I can't help you, dude. If you only have minutes to play, what the hell are you doing next for that night? Like, that's just fucking crazy. You see how, why that sounds crazy to inquiring minds, right? Come on, man. You're almost trolling. GG's, boys. That's such a crazy situation. Like, so specifically situational to be like, ecumenical keys are worth it at next because you might only have, like, five minutes to play. So maybe if you squeeze in one next kill, you need the key. <laughs> okay, man. It's, they're still not generally worth it, though. Like, you can still see the point that's being made. Come on, dude. Don't do me like that, bro. We lost two guys in there. GG's. That one KC is the pet, bro. True. You might not even get one KC if you only have minutes to play. It takes longer to set up and to fight next than it does to get the KC outside. It takes longer to farm an ecumenical key than it does to get next KC outside the next room. So, like, it's, just, it's kind of the main point I was getting at. Oh, stress might not be your game. Your schedule down to the minutes. Yeah, in general, just like not bossing content usually. If you're like, if you have such a tight schedule that you can only play a couple of minutes on some days, like, why are you bossing? Why are you not doing your inactive stuff then? Like, I'd rather do the shit super inefficiently for like five minutes. I don't get it. Should a three go down? Oh no. The double it out was crazy. Man down. Man down. Please give me that prayer potion. Bad at the game. We send a three for. Are either of you missing your three man kill? Oh, I was thinking about this the other day. Oh my god, it only just hit me. I was gonna I was gonna try to figure out a way we could get people their duo kills when we have a Saturday night going, we have a lot of players, we could figure out how to get people their their combat achievement. Do you get KC after every kill, or how's the banking work? You only have to re-get KC if you leave the dungeon, which only happens if you teleport all the way out or if you die. If you die, you're gonna be, you know, sent to Edgeville or wherever your respawn point is, you won't have any more KC. But you can just get a bunch of KC outside, and then it's just every time that you go through this door to get back into the bank area is when you spend KC. So we go do a trip, we chill, whatever. We come out, we go through the door, but then eventually when I'm down to low KC, I'll just fill up with a couple prayer potions. I'll go back out this door and just get a bunch more essence. Next takes victims, fellas. You do die at next. It's another thing, too, is, uh, I mean, Isaac, you had, you had said it before, and then you got fucked over while you're trying to drink yellow. That'll get you, to be fair. That'll fucking get you. You said it before, sometimes it's embarrassing dying on stream. Everybody just saw you, pointed at you, laughed at you. I have already tweeted the clip, just so you know. No, I'm just playing. I haven't tweeted in months. Um, it's still, like, it takes a little bit of, like, a few, I don't know, trips... A few different next nights to see like a lot of other people die as well that you realize like yeah just people get KO'd. I don't get KO'd. When I die at next, I die like three kills in a row at next. I, I come back and die again immediately. It's ridiculous. I saw Kyle Chara sneak up in here. Let him hit an R. We're still at four plus two at the moment. 
right? Because I think we started with five and we still have three out of five. I think it was only two deaths. It's okay. Big thing is when we get a drop, I will, I'll start writing down the names that I remember were in the split. Like before we split everything out, I always, I'll read off the names that I believe were there. If you don't hear your name and you truly believe you were a part of that kill, you're like, oh, I was in the bathroom or like you said when I died and like, I missed you. That's, that's like the speak now or forever hold your peace. And you'd be like, hey, I was there. And like, we just add you to it. I missed Halo one time. I missed Halo while he was AFK as well. So he didn't get a chance to tell me. And right when we were starting to split. He was like, wait, I was there. And like, he totally was there. I fucked it up. So it happens. So when we get a drop, like you can see him at first, you'd be like, who the fuck's in the kill? Like I'll be watching who I believe is there. And then I'll read out the names before we actually try to split it. And we'll, we'll be good to go. And whoever gets the drop, you're not expected to go sell it right away. Often we can buy the item from you or try to split out. The only time that it's required that you have the money is like, if somebody else has to leave and they need their split, you have to be able to pay that person. If you can't, then you better go sell the item. We send a four-man kill, fellas. Just look at a one-kill trip on this one is fine. We probably, if we got potions, get get a twofer, but we got a couple guys casing that will be in the bank by the time we get this one. And this is still four plus two, I believe. I'm pretty, pretty sure we only lost two in the last kill. In other words, if we get a drop right now, this is being split between six players, from what I remember. The four of us and the two deaths. <laughs> deaths. My attempt is to, you know, in a way... I kind of encourage like AFKing and putting in less effort and still getting your split. If you think about it that way, that's why people would be like, well, you weren't in that kill. You don't get the split. But like, I don't want to encourage people to like, not like go to the bathroom or like some people be like, I got to let the dogs out. I'm like, no, dude, if you let the dogs out, you don't get a split. Like some people will then just not let their dogs out because they don't want to miss on a split. Like that's fucking <laughs> pretty, pretty stupid. <laughs> like I, you know, you should be allowed to take a break. <laughs> And we haven't really had anybody take obvious advantage of like, uh, you think of the follow dude? Ghouls? Gabagools? I almost missed her that hard. Oh, I said, I almost, I almost said grab bag. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Gabagools, thank you for the follow. Um, we haven't really had anybody take like huge advantage of like, uh, just not being in like a single kill for a while. And like, they're like, no, I was getting KC. And you're like, we haven't seen you in here. Like, we haven't even gotten to a moment where we had to like discuss that with the group. And then even if we did, like I'm streaming and screen recording, like all of it, like we can see how long it's been since you've been in a kill. If it's if it was quite clear that like you did like one kill two hours ago and then just left, you you can't just be like, oh dude, I was part of the team. But we've never had anybody fucking try that. Try it, dude, I dare you. I'll sick my friends on you, dude. They'll all show up to your stream and make fun of you. Which mob do I kill for the KC? Spiritual mages are the best. Blood reavers are not too bad. I tag both and auto retaliate, to be honest. TBH. Spiritual mages are dead way. I'm dead before I get in. Oh, did you wear an ancient item, bro? Sounds like you might not have. Did you? Oh, did you click on other mobs? Because some of them are dangerous. I think the ranger can turn your prayer off. Hmm. If only somebody had a video on this. That would probably be the more in-depth guy to talk about that even more. We had a stream months ago at this point where I had about 300 KC. Oh no, I didn't die out there on this one. I've died outside and lost a lot of KC, but this was a, nah, this was a different scenario. It was still, I had 300 Ancient Essence when I came in and I realized that Floods Worsen had my Osmumpton's Fang, my alt account. So I had to go leave and get an Osmumpton's Fang. And that was when Christofferson, he, you know, rightfully like lulled and was like, hey, no problem. I need to go get some like tea anyway. He said he just needed like, you know, grab a drink, something simple. And I got my KC back and then he died in next losing like 300 KC pretty early on the night and just like rage quit for the rest of the night. I was like, he lulled at me losing 300 essence, having to get it back. Watched me just get it back without saying shit. I was just like, oh, guess I'll have to go get my essence back and just went and did it. But then when it happened to him, he rage quit out and definitely missed out on like 40 mil worth of splits that night. Okay.
We had Shady recently not have Super Restores and stand around hoping someone would get him Super Restores instead of going to get them. And after like 20 minutes of standing around, he was like, I'll just, I was going to go to bed soon enough anyway. I'll just do Duke and go to sleep. And like while he was still on and we were grinding, we had a pretty nice split. It was like, dude, if you just like stuck around and, and actually did the boss, sometimes things don't go great for you. I can't name a single bossing grind I've ever done where things just went great the whole fucking time. Sometimes shit goes poorly. Sometimes you feel like it wasn't your fault that shit went poorly. Like, oh well. What you can do about it, dude. Oops, I'm gonna die is what I'm gonna do. I didn't I wasn't gonna die, but that sacrifice kinda blows. The heals are up a lot if you sacrifice. Why would you want to heal the boss instead of do damage to the boss, you know? Big brain, I'm telling you. <laughs> Tall scruffy dude. What up, man? I've been enjoying the vids. Much love. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I appreciate you, dude. Hope the games are going well for you. Good shit. I'm glad the videos are treating you well. Oops. There we go. The first Andrew Casey of Vardorvis went 800 of Vardorvis went poorly. Dude, I fucking love Vardorvis because it always goes poorly. That's that's an exaggeration way to put it. It's, that is kind of how the fight is. Is That's why I like it is it's so intense and can go poorly. Like, that's clearly more fun than Giant Mole is like the exact opposite side of the spectrum. But Giant Mole is really fun to grind out. Like, I have thousands of Mole KC across a few accounts now, to be fair. I'm not even trying to shit on that boss. That's a lot of the beauty of RuneScape. People like to like one boss, and then any uh, bosses that aren't like the ones that they enjoy, they'll shit on them. Like, I think what's great about the game is that there's so many, like, different activities, really, but for so much room for activities. For bossing, you don't, it's not just like one style of bossing. I don't know. Like, you can be kind of chill and get, like, bossing kills. You can be very click intensive. Some bosses are a little bit more heavy on prayer flicks, some bosses are a little bit more heavy on switching your gear. Like, kind of depends on what you're into. You can find a boss that is pretty heavy on that shit. Yeah, I don't think I've had a good Vardorvis kill yet. Actually, I, I got pretty hooked on Vardorvis for a while. I was feeling good on it. I really like, I like Vardorvi. We're going to be back to Vardorvis very soon on Floods Worsen, my alt account. I'll be killing him with a zombie axe. That'll be sick. I'll do Duke first, but I, I think we'll be on Desert Treasure 2 bosses next week. I got to get more... Um, Venonatus or Spindle rather. I did like 20 spindles earlier today. But after Spindle, we're on to Desert Treasure 2. I'll sell off everything I got. Buy some Blood Fury action and then uh have at it with some Desert Treasure 2 life. Oops. Try zombie actually like 50 kills. Oh, nice, nice. Definitely DPS wise, it looks like it'll be very similar to what Abyssal Tentacle puts on the table. And um, I did like, I have an hour of video where I just use Tentacle, so I've done Abyssal Tentacle kills with higher stats though. Like, I'll be doing this on my alt account who's not max combat, which is the purpose of the video that I'm making is to show that you don't have to be max combat and you could just have a cheap weapon like a zombie axe and you can still go make a lot of money. Especially if you get rune- Okay, that's actually a thick rune ore drop, dude. Damn. We did get the supplies. I bonk, though. I bonk. I'm- I came in with way- way less brews than this. Bam! People talk about how many brews you use here. Like, I'm gaining brews. What are you talking about? One lucky drop. Do a lot of people hope with that? I- I do hope so. There will always- I- there will always be, um, need one. I imagine you're not in the stream. The last time I told someone to go join the stream and they could join us, it, it, it was like an angry moment. If you're in the stream and you hear me talking about you right now, crunch bruh, speak up. <laughs> this is, this is a mass usually meant for the strum, the discord channel in general. Not necessarily randos, but like, you're still a rando if you just showed up the stream, I don't know, the distinction. Rapier or Fang better for Slayer. Uh, thank you for adding that second part, because I was about to say it depends. Uh, Rapier, for sure. 
technically it depends on what slayer monster you're fighting the vast majority of slayer monsters are just like regular npcs not bosses that have low defense the fang shines when something has very high defense if something has very low defense then rapier is good because it's faster and hits harder so once their accuracy levels are similar then the rapier does beat the fang but anything with good defense generally bosses um, that are weak to stab they still have a high defense level so the fang is de way but grazi rapier is gonna be better for regular slayer monsters i forgot what i was gonna say about the video in general people uh people that need the advice when i put out a video trying to give advice about any random shit people that need the advice they take that advice and then some nerds who feel like because they already knew that no one else needed to know that try to talk shit and it's just like a, a very just loud minority of people that is not that big of a deal to be fair cheers boys that being said i know that for one okay i already had some good rng at gorillas with how quickly i got a zenite shard and if I get any good RNG at the Desert Treasure 2 bosses on Floods, 100% there'll be people who'll be like, yeah, it only works if you get lucky. Yeah, whatever. I'll still do enough kills to show that the regular loot added up to way more money than the Zombie Axe. Because the idea is, like, if you use a Zombie Axe to go make, like, 10 mil, it's like five times as much money as you spent in the weapon. The kind of upgrades you can get after that already, you don't have to go make 500 million coins with a Zombie Axe. Chill. Sheesh. But then there'll be people that are also like, oh, so you have to already be good at the boss. I'm like, kind of, yeah, practice makes perfect. That's the idea. What do you mean? <laughs> this is the elusive six drop night. It's been elusive so far. I haven't quite gotten started. What up, Leaving Sturgeon? Welcome in, welcome in. Ain't no way, bro. Money bird. I am R. Chat, we usually, we type the R just to say, like, when we're ready, and when I see, when I, what I think is everybody being ready, I type iPod to let people know that I'm pre-potting and we all go in. Don't stand on the north side of necks when we start, because I will be standing there during the smoke phase with the cough. Oh, somebody disappeared there. They didn't go in, did they? Um, I'll be standing on the north side with the cough, and if you go up on the north side and take the cough from me, I will cry about it, Okay. Other than that. R, I guess. You're in, dude. That is that is the confident R we needed. I think we're ready. I think it's just... No, that is six. Yeah, yeah. Yee. Are people on the team? Up to six or seven at the moment. I think we still have one outside. Getting KC. We're going 99 runecrafting. We're going for Slayer next. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem, no problem, dude. Good luck in the runecrafting games as well. Next, known supplier. Brew supplier, dude. So standing next to other people or on top of somebody at the beginning, like you guys could all stand on one square and even be fine. You don't actually have to spread out. The only person you have to be spread out from is me and I'll be on the north side. In other phases, it can be good to spread out. At the very beginning right now, it's like, doesn't matter. Just don't be on the north side and get hit by me. And then stay close to next so that she doesn't move. If you step away and she follows you, it could drag players into each other and start the cough a little bit. And if we get the cough, is fine. We've gotten the cough a million fucking times. Like, it happens. Once well, you have the cough, try to spread out more. Tour of boxers. No, nothing today. That, that today command's, of course, wrong, dude. As bad as agility. I definitely would rather runecraft than agility, <laughs> to be honest, dude. For real, though. You're right. Agility, dude. Funky, eh? I like Hollow Sepulchre, I think it's pretty sick. Uh, I already got 99 agility on my main before Hollow Sepulchre came out. And then uh, I didn't want to do Sins of the Father on the Hardcore Iron Man because I was a scared little boy. So I didn't actually get to do that for training very much. I just I just think the content's cool. I haven't actually done too much of it. I tried it out when it came out. I wanted to make a guide about it. And then I, I now will need to. Ooh, Eternal Crystal. Oh shit, Parker. Get that table, dude. No shot. That Slayer table. 
Um, I do want to have a Hollowed Sepulchre guide when I release a 1 to 99 agility updated guide. I'm getting my ass kicked. Hold on, boy. No, I don't want to bring you over here, bitch! Come here, come here, mirror, 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 mirror. Back, 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 back. <laughs> now that they're done. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. I like the Hollowed Sepulchre. I do actually want to have a guide out for like, if I put out an updated agility guide, I don't want my Hollowed Sepulchre guide to just be like squeezed into the middle of a 1 to 99 agility guide. I do want to have more of an in-depth guide that you, if you were only looking up Hollowed Sepulchre. So, if in, I don't know, there's a lot of project rebalance, random shit, it's probably gonna be a while, but if like in a couple of months you guys saw me just grinding Hollowed Sepulchre on the main, you're like, why? Well, I wonder why he's doing that. And then you saw a Hollowed Sepulchre guide come out like a, two weeks later. X-Files music? Like a 99 agility, good shit to have that one done. Agility's a good Netflix skill, dude. When you got in a groove of agility, it didn't feel as bad, but if you were focused on agility and like that's all you're doing, this is the most boring thing in the world. If you're just grooving on it while watching fucking Pirates of the Caribbean or some shit, dude. Watching me yerk off on OnlyFans or something, dude, then then you're making gains. A second 99. Nice, how you trim the capes with it. Ah, ah. Very nice. Send quick. Just want to speckies first. I want to be the only one at Glacies. Nah. We won't get there quite yet before the ice disappears. Just barely. There it is. Oops, why did my overhead go off? I run our prayers. Uh, just for a sec, I did, yeah. Don't do that to me. Frozen, frozen. There we go. GG's. Nothing, dude. Oops. Sorry, my next kill is a 69. 39-69 coming in hot, so that's that's good news usually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a good thing. Guys, it's been 69, 69 shards since I've gotten a drop. Feel bad for me and lick my bum. What? I'm I'm sorry. I was. That's not what I meant, dude. Cheers. Dude, that's my bad, dude. I thought the mic was muted. It's good. I'm not coughing anymore, anyways. Some broski. Oh, hold on, broski. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was, uh, I got scared of this is. I was like, this is what? She literally hit me with this, dude. What do you want me to do about it? Hedwig, welcome in. Welcome in, dude. Uh, some broski been doing trios lately. Struggled part to reset. Any tips on mobile, by the way? Oh, I'm going to be a toxic streamer and tell you to not do it on mobile, first and foremost. Uh, I imagine that is fucking with you because of... The preciseness needed, lack of a potential shift click and whatnot. Um, but like in all seriousness, that shouldn't that's not like gonna be making it impossible for you. I I've I gotta imagine. Cause you've done a lot of next kills. I 
feel like there's not much about the mechanic that you don't understand. It's probably just consistency with s tapping under her or instead of tapping on her on accident. Is it is it accidental red X's that's getting you? Or do you think there's like a you're taking the wrong strategy to it? I feel like the easiest way to not red X next to like walk under her is getting her while she's coming up to you. But then while she's kiting around and you gotta stay under her, that probably is a pain in the ass, huh? If anywhere, like trying to do that right at the edge, I don't know how well you can see my mouse, right at the edge of like the, uh, if she's like in this path, kind of trying to click like right here when you go under her. Oh, I can't really show an example when I have to run away from her. Kind of like clicking over here, tapping over here rather. Um, because you also can't step like too far outward. This would be east or west while you're in the path. Kind of narrowing down where she can move and where you can move. Kind of fucking with it like that. Um, this is, I'm, I'm definitely pulling a lot of this out of my ass from like just what I feel like would be fucking me up. Uh, I do want to point out, I have not done uh, Nexon Mobile. So, ne it's like Exxon Mobile. <laughs> Isn't that a company, dude? Nexon Mobile? I don't even see you over here. Hey, Scott and I went to the same square to spread out there. I got to imagine that it, trying to tap under next is getting you, though. I just kind of spewed a lot of different shit about how I might deal with that, but hopefully something in there made sense. Tour of a lie. Hey, what up, Savage? Welcome back in, dude. It's going well. It's going well. For a spare brew. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. You're not. You're not close enough. There we go. No, nah, it's too late. That first trade we were in, you were not in the right spot. Come here, come here, come here. Hopefully, she's not on us. I gave him a whole fucking supply set. He's probably shocked. It's like, damn, dude. <laughs> I went hard on that one. I probably shouldn't have given you the restore, but whatever. That's the true supply set, dude. Two brews and a restore, you're set. You could fucking rule the world with two brews and a restore, dude. Any kind, sir? No problem, no problem, man. Next on mobile would be interesting. Next on mobile. When I say it like that, <laughs> it kills me, dude. Just come after me, Schnecks. Do it, do it. That's fine, then. She's stuck there. He's clicking under next on mobile, knowing how much she hates me, dude. Definitely, uh, practice makes perfect is a big thing. We're being, like, locked in on, uh... Even on something that, like, you already know that you're good at. Something you're like, yeah, I usually get this right. But if you're doing it casually compared to, like, make sure you, like, almost over-exaggerate, which is an oxymoron. No, no, no. It's a, that's repetitive to say over-exaggerate, not an oxymoron. But like exaggerate the actual movements. It's kind of the best example I can give is just a, is Super Smash Bros. instead of RuneScape. So why does it matter? Well, you know, like when practicing a combo, like Luigi zero to deaths. There's a, a moment where you have to fast fall where it's just flicking like your joystick downward. But when I really I got the combo better when I like I went out of my way to like smack that stick, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> But like, when you really exaggerate and like lock in on exactly what you're doing, don't just kind of casually step under and go like, no, really, really lock in on that. Um, can make a big difference too. Even when you're already good at something, you'll if you're doing it casually, you're just you're not gonna be going at 100. percent During Coliseum gains, I would die to setups that I had the setup correct and like I had everything off tick, and then I would just kind of be like. Just chilling with chat while I was flicking the overheads and just tank. I'm like, no, but if I really go out of my way to be like, this is the end of the world if I don't get this right and I gotta make sure that I'm locked in on those prayer switches, then I just wouldn't fuck them up. I'm like, why don't I? I do that every time. Wait a minute. GG's boys. For what? 39.69, dude. Nice. Nice. Cheers. 
Fish. The KC under the bird now. Sweet Savage. We'll see you here. We'll see you here, bruh. We ballin'. We probably could um, snap off like a three or four man team eventually. I don't mind getting up to like 10 at the moment as well, but um, I do feel like uh, I have absolutely no idea if any of the people here have a duo kill now that I think about it. Anybody who already has duo kills would also be more inclined to be able to carry carry someone else on a duo kill. We don't have to pull the trigger on this tonight, but I do I wanna I wanna offer the next night services to get people their fucking duo kill for that Grandmaster Combat achievement. Because that can be one of the I don't know, like less controllable ones. Not less controllable. You can actually do it. You don't cheese it as much as Three Man's a lot easier. The cough the whole time is a lot easier. Duo, you actually got a Sendy. I'll just put an atlatl on you. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. It's a cool idea, but it doesn't work. Cheers, boys. It'd be nice. It'd be dope to knock out some of those combat achievements for the Hobies. And what if one of those kills gets a drop? So I could, I could like send Donnie to fucking do it, first of all. <laughs> buff could pull it off, too. I've done some duos with Buff. Um... But I wouldn't even, I wouldn't hate, like, uh, I'd really just have to be the one to make sure to go out of my way to be like, all right, next up, and, like, just trade people out. Like, I go find a different world, the team keeps going, and I just take one person at a time with me to try to get your duo kill. Oops. It's not too bad. It's a little bit more gear lock, but at the same time, Donnie and I did the budget gear duo. We did use an Arma crossbow instead of Dragon crossbow, but we definitely could have gotten it without. Donnie had like an, a rune defender on. <laughs> well, it's ours and an E. I think we're at seven total. I bought. Actually, I'm pretty fucking sure that not only it took us three attempts on the budget gear setup for the duo kill. Uh, it was budget gear. More than 50% of the budget was Armadil crossbow, which is why we were, we were talking about like if we just did it with dragon crossbow instead, the budget would look so much better. But that armor crossbow distance, that one square distance, kind of nice to be fair during phase two. Um. But anyways, uh, on the third attempt where we got it, I got hit by a contain this, which is not good, believe it or not. Shouldn't have taken the contain this. I could have saved myself a lot of damage from that. And I'm going to blame buff for this one, even though it's my fault. It was right when buff showed up on the stream. We were on our third attempt on the day. And he was like, how is the duo next budget kill going? And it was right as blood phase started. And I was like, dude, honestly, we're getting pretty close in that last attempt. It's looking pretty good. And while I was saying that, I was being blood sacrificed and just didn't notice it. And just healed it up for like 120 health to start the blood phase. Yeah, we still got the kill on that one. Like, man, we didn't even do it perfectly. It wasn't even like, as long as you make zero mistakes, you could get the budget duo kill. We're like, no, honestly, I was kind of ass. And we still got it. You don't have to be that good. Stats make a big difference. We're both rocking 99s in stats that do damage. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. I got an idea for discussion video that probably won't come out super soon. There'll be other guides. But to just kind of show the difference more and maybe spread the word a little bit more about your stats. A lot of people are so locked into like, I need a twisted bow. I need a, a mega rare weapon. I need all these sick weapons to carry me. Like, to be honest, if you had the same setup you have right now and you just, like, added some levels to yourself, you get a lot more DPS as well. Stats are king. So Quiver, by the way, lead shit. Thank you, dude. Thank you. That was... There was a lot of attempts to get the Quiver. I was quivering, dude. It was a lot of fun, though. That Prey Mage, boys? Yeah, nice. Good call, good call. It was a lot of fun. Coliseum's pretty sick. I'm gonna poke you. 
and they did update it since I got it, so I kind of want to go send some more Colosseum. I'll be making a guide in the long run. I want to get, uh, I don't know how many KC. I was going to put out a number there when I went, ah, I was going to say a number and I couldn't think of something. I don't want to say 10. I kind of want to go more than 10, but not that many, like a dozen KC or so. Using like max gear still and fucking around because it's really fun to just like speed through it. But then I will probably put on what I see not as like a budget budget setup. Oh, pre mage, no, it's too late, rip, brother. That contain this gotcha. It did turn off your per your overhead right as you got contain this, and you would uh you still are only at 18 health. You would need a pre mage and hit a brew pretty quickly there. I went to type it, but I didn't really have any time. I was talking about other shit anyway. I was fucking up, dude. I was fucking up, dude. Uh, I don't even remember why I was talking about the Coliseum. I probably would set up like a decent budget setup where it seems like reasonable items to get, but not like trying to do it with just a one mil just to be like, see, you could do it as cheap as possible. Mostly so that when I make the Coliseum guide, hopefully I would do enough just kind of, not like, budget setup's the wrong way to put it. Like, still good gear, but no like mega rares and shit. Like, budget setup. And, uh, you know, way under a bill. I could probably do like. 100 mil seems reasonable, but even if you do 100 mil and call it a budget setup, people comment. Be like, oh, you just need 100 mil for your... And dude, fucking... Oh, it took a little bit for the fart to happen after I clicked it. I'll do a bunch of kills in whatever setup I find to be budget reasonable, and that way all the clips that I use in my guide will hopefully be from that budget setup as well. Because it is one thing that even if you don't have the mentality of... Oh, I can't do it without the mega rare. Like, this guy only got it done because of his mega rare. He's still, people fall victim to, to thinking that they need better items than they need. I see it often. I'm like, sure, that'll help you, but you, it won't do it for you. You still need to do all the things successfully. You just need to do it successfully, like, a little bit more if you have less DPS, but you still have to do all the same things successfully. Probably those Fremenics are the first thing that I'll have to rework a little bit. I fuck up the Fremenic Warbands because I'm using good weapons. Uh, the melee are still two hit often. That you could do with a pretty shit weapon. I blow pipe early. I was blow piping most of the time for a while. I started using a little bit more Venator bow, but the blow pipe starts fine on that. And then a melee weapon to just hit 50 plus, like, it's not, it's not actually that bad. Of the people who can't tell the difference between fire cape, <laughs> fire max, even the inferno cape, dude. That's fair. You make a very good point. I'm glad some of you are here for some of those moments because if I try to explain little things like that while I'm making a video or a guide, that's a similar level of what the fuck as like, hey Dak, I see you're doing some Tombs of a Masket with the Atlatl. Are you trying to do some group Tombs of a Masket? No, dude, I want to do solo because if I do it with a group, some idiot will tell me how the only reason it was good is because my group carried me. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. Your group won't carry you. Like, oh no. They'll still say it in the comments. Like, <laughs> you gotta put some work in to try to avoid some stupidity. Can't avoid all of it. And some of it's like, it's a lack of, of information. Like, a hundred percent me wording something incorrectly or just poorly not even always like wrong like just doesn't make as much sense unless you think of it the way I was thinking of it or just little things that you like I could make mistakes on too that'll make people get the wrong impression from a guide or a video and then they'll act like a total moron about it and double down even after I try to correct it oh, we should probably not be anywhere near next right now she's on me Trying to get as far away from her as possible. There we go. There we go. So it is also on me to try to make sure there's less of those situations that can happen. So I guess technically, what I've learned here is if I make budget videos where I'm using the fire cape, if I don't want that moment to happen, I need to go get a regular fire cape instead of only having my max fire cape.
But then I gotta think about how much I care for that moment to not happen. Like, here's technically, technically, hear me out. If I were a good YouTuber, if I were a, just a nice guy, let's be honest, I would put in more effort to make sure that that guy, as much as he was a fucking clown about it, I should probably put in the effort required to not even, like, let him make that mistake. You know what I mean? It sounds, still sounds to me like, I should still do what I can to not even let that happen. Because also, there could be other players who weren't fucking clowns about it or weren't really rude. There could be people that didn't comment at all that saw that and went like, Oh, I don't have an Inferno cape. And just like closed out, kind of sad, and like, I guess I can't do it. Like, technically, other people could have made his same mistake, and instead of being dicks about it, they actually could have just been discouraged from the content. Which is the exact opposite result I want from that video. So, in the long run, I shouldn't have worn that cape, for sure. Like, a hundred percent, it'd be better to just go get the regular fire cape for that video. That being said, guy didn't have to be a fucking douche. Oh, so you need an Inferno cape even though it's a hundred mil setup? Anybody with an Inferno cape doesn't need this video anyway. Turns out I'm wearing a Max cape, Max fire cape. Yeah, he was completely wrong. I never wore an Inferno cape in the video. But there's, there could be other people that were wrong that needed good information and I, I shouldn't even give them the chance to be wrong. Like I should, I should make it more clear. That's usually more obvious if I word something incorrectly. For me, like, now that I put all that out there, for me, I feel like when I said, like, 60 seconds into the video, hey, here's the gear setup that I'm using, and I hovered over the max cape and called it a, the fire max cape, and I called it a fire cape. You die more bruised, you run away instead of typing! Or run under! Don't just stand there! You did anything you could to die! Why would you tell us you're gonna die instead of trying not to die? GG's, GG's. I was wondering why you weren't moving much. I was gonna tell you to at least DD. And you're like, I got no bruise. Like, oh, you gotta get out of her range then. If you get out of her range before she targets you, then she would never have targeted you in the first place. Or, or like, never be able to hit you anymore. If she's already targeting you, you can stand under her for a while. She won't be able to attack you while whoever she's targeting is standing under. Here we go, boys. GG's. Wow, double Onyx Bolts? I don't think we've ever gotten that before. Very nice. Onyx Bolts are the item that I've made the most money on in my um, collection log that isn't a unique. Of course the uniques are higher than that, but the regular drops, it's onyx bolts, then prayer potions, then Ceratome and Bruise, then Nile Shards. That's with 3,021 KC in this loot collection. It's not all my KC. I got like a thousand that weren't in there. Cheers, boys. Sheesh. One sec, fellas. In 3,021 KC, it says I have exactly 22,000 coal as well on that loot tracker. All right, dude. Very satisfying.
Uh, we have a short delay, fellas. I couldn't stop from being followed. Yeah, you. Yeah, we were talking about you. Hi. Very nice. This is Yogurt. She's a huge rat, dude. Look at that little rat tail. <laughs> you bored? I don't know why you followed me in here. You knew this would happen. You don't have friends? I don't. How Logan Paul gonna tell me I don't have friends right after I show off my friends? No, Seki's called him a rat, dude. She's very rat-like. Always well, nice to see the dogs. Doges are doing well, they're doing well. That might be the first time I've had Yogi in here without Daisy. The Void, she wasn't here at all. She didn't notice. She follows quickly if she notices we're going in here. Can next take recoil damage? Mm, she might. I feel like the Suffering might have a little recoil. Wouldn't really be worth over either Light Bear or Berserker, though. You'll get more DPS out of those. Echo boots, dude. Echo boots, bro. Hold on. How much? What are those echo crystals looking at right now, dude? Are they also? Oh, they just upped how many charges you get from it as well. Open crystal, useless here? Not useless. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can hear me. I don't know. I'm typing this out. Not useless. Low defense, but still a fine option. You, if you're, uh, yeah, if you're one of the uh, YouTube viewers, correct? I think. I get uh, mixed up on usernames when anybody's username is different from streaming to in-game, but then my username is different from streaming to in-game, so what am I doing, Mr. Krabs? Cheers, boys. Oh, I didn't pour one. I thought I poured one. I was about to take a shot of nothing. That's Raider Haze. I see, I see. Yuppie Hayes, rather. Cheers, boys. Technically, my username is different, too. Kyle Char without the underscore last many years ago. Oh, die. that's why I had no idea this was you. No, <laughs> you imagine. What the fuck? This whole time? Cheers, boys. Dude, honestly, it fucks with me when you make your username so fucking different. I don't have that kind of memory. Kyle Chara is Kyle underscore Chara. You fucking... <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. I wasn't ready for this one. Who do you think you are? I am. Give your split to the other Kyle Chara, dude. No way. No way, dude. I almost typed iPod instead of R. That was going to be disastrous. I liked their name yesterday. Fish. So I was with chat randomly, like five years jail though. Shot, dude. Fish. Fish is my new favorite, dude. Fish. That's the best username yet. Sort of boxers. I guess I have to edit the com. Hold on. God damn it. The mods have been dropped. 
We don't have an item today, in other words. That's from last week. Uh, hold on. Did I miss any R's up here? I did not. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six R's. We have seven people. We've been going for a couple hours. Zach just said it was an ETA to start. My guy. Did I not end up sending that post on Discord? <laughs> Jay, you know, K Scott, Jay told me that he'd watch. He's like, I'd watch it. I sent him that movie poster of <laughs> the implication. <laughs> Bruh. Ah, uh, we got iPod. 5 a.m. Here I am. It's dime, dude. It's dime. Oh, I got two. Senfu. Oh, I just dropped my saturated heart on the ground. I was like, who is this, dude? Does Zach not remember that next is fucking Saturday nights? Like, he's. Are we going for a while? No, I'm done. Going longer than you'll be up, Zach. We already know that. I hold up free hearts? Dude, hearts anywhere, bro. For just a sec, I was like, dude, look at that pink highlight. Oh, it's mine, dude. What the fuck? Frog boots, whatever. All boots, the gay are garbage, unfortunately. It's okay. Boots, they should, if they're going to really just keep not giving us better boots. I mean, they kind of get Echo Crystals. This is technically an upgrade to Guardian Boots. If we're not going to actually get good boots, I just want boots to be a cosmetic slot. <laughs> just, just give us some cool-ass boots. No, I really would like to see boots give more damage. Only 9 p.m. on a Friday. It's Saturday next night. Is it not Saturday? That's wild that nobody told me, even though I've been streaming next on YouTube as well. Ah, oh, it's on me. It's me. My bad, boys. Oh, Fry, dude. All right. It's Saturday night. I had to confirm. I have no date. A two liter bottle of Shasta and my all rush mixtape. Let's rock. Let's rock. I gotta hit that with a brightness filter, too. I feel like Fry's a little, little dim. Let's Oh, no. I was rocking too hard. Nice. I got out of there. Let's rock. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> uh, the opening with all right means that I get two different gifts out of it because I have to, I have to turn it off in time. I have to give the second click, but I can just like. All right. Oh, and it's doing okay. My stream deck does this sometimes though. The audio goes a little longer than the video, so I gotta. I gotta click a little earlier, and I can make him just say, all right. And that's even more usable. We could have that moment. Anytime I'm about to send Soul Herod it. All right. Still got the it. It is playing for like a full second longer after I turn it off. You can see because the, the visual turns off when I click it, but the audio goes for like an extra second. I don't know why. Doesn't always do that. Guys, what are we doing here? Stop that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> That's it's a classic too. When I went to watch, like when I went to get that video, I'm pretty sure the YouTube video that I clicked on was like 15 years old or something. It said I was like, holy shit. That's another one where I have to turn off like the visual a little early to get him to only say, "Oh fuck!" But because the first half is memeable on its own, I can use that gif in multiple ways. It's a good one. It's a good one to have.
I mean, I literally every time I died at Coliseum, should have been clicking that button, there, dude. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> GG's boys For what? Dude, two blood essence That's insanely above average In the last 3,022 kills I've gotten a total of 50 blood essence Two and one drop Damn Oh, I, I do have to make Nick Cage into the clip so we can be ready for the bees, because they made the bees more accessible as well. Oh, fuck. If that's not a huge part of my upcoming Coliseum grind to help with the guide and then also be in the guide, then I will have severely fucked up. I had dreams about that. It was only like a couple days after. Like, this was before we found the song and whatnot. This was like a few days into Varlamore. I didn't really remember it until like a week later, and then it just never really came up on stream. Where 100% I had a weird dream where like... It was kind of like, you know how when you're in a place in your dream, it's like three or four different places you know all combined. It was like, it was in my room, but it wasn't really in my room. Like, I don't know. It was kind of like it was in my room, and we were like remodeling. And there was a part of the wall we had to redo, and it was totally just like, ah oh, man, that part of the wall was just like infested with bees. And I forgot I had this fucking dream. And when I remembered it the other day, I, I, that's when I put it together. I was like, oh my god, I'm dreaming about the bees now. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on, dude? Why would they do this to me? Uh, I had to skip a little far. The bees, bro. They fucking got me. Cheers, boys. <sighs> Most of my dreams that I remember consist of Super Smash Bros. things. Most of the deja vu I've ever had is because of Super Smash Bros. Because it is just randomly like... There's enough random moments in the game where you kind of get the same two characters in, like, the same position on the same stage. And just for a second, like, you feel like you've been there before. And you're like, what the fuck? I've had that happen 100 plus times while playing through Smash Bros. Where I'm like, what the hell? Mad deja vu. And then I dream about Smash as well. No cap and I bought. I dream about Captain Falcon combos. <laughs> Ah, I get hit by this now. I'm stupid. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone across like that. Some beans. Oops. Insta contain this. The spec that he starts a phase with does depend on whichever spec he used last in the previous phase. I don't have the order memorized because it doesn't really fucking matter. I do talk about it in my full length guide. Um, if you're a developer, think, it, think about it like... Imagine if Nex's special attacks all shared the same variable. Just like a true or false variable. Or like one or two. So basically like that variable is getting flipped back and forth for her to see what specs she's going to use next. So whichever one she ended on the previous phase is going to determine whichever one she starts on the next phase. That being said, it's also always going to be her first attack of the next phase. Oh no, we got a DC in here. Oh god, no. Is this you already? We got boners already? Uh oh. Uh, the only time she won't start with an, a, a special attack in the next phase is if she skips. If somebody stands under her too long and she skips. She can't spec right after a skip. So you know that there's going to be a spec early every phase anyway. So you don't actually have to know what spec is coming. Because there's none of them require like ridiculous reaction time. Like you can just you can just see what she says and react to it. You don't actually have to know preemptively.
Hello, Edgeville, my old friend. Yeah, I do see your, your boners over here, dude. Go on. GG's. MVP drop! You gotta drop as the MVP! It's literally impossible! That oh boy, 24 mentality with a fucking helmet, bro. Very nice, very nice. No way, dude. I bonk, I bonk. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Holy shit, dude. It's literally impossible! <laughs> dude, I'm telling you though, it is. That's crazy. I think I've only seen Leaping Surgeon do that before, dude. I definitely missed the T in Surgeon on that one. Sheesh, very nice, very nice, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a tour of a full helm coming in hot. 24 mentality, the man that's the legend, Ron ours, dude. Cheers, boys, cheers. No fucking way, dude. It fucking, it made me pucker a little bit when I saw that the MVP and the drop was the same name. I didn't know if it was real. <laughs> Beast, hold up. I, I might be able to buy it from you, probably not. I cannot quite buy it from you. Look at the hell we've been searching. So he took over where you left off. You kind of, it's kind of like where Nexus specs, they take over where they left off. Um, what, how much essence do you have? How much S do you have? I don't know why I'm typing that as if you can't hear me. Like how, how much essence would you lose if you went to, to go sell it? Because if you still have a decent amount, I don't think you should sell it. Oh, Critty's, he also just died as well. So he could sell it off for us. This, I've been spending money lately, so I don't have enough money to split a tour of a full helm on my own, or else I would do it. Bring my alt here, though? That's true. I also could bring floods. You, you probably don't have to send a key, Create Easy. You might be alright. Um, more than three now. Kyle Char also almost gone. Hmm. The man split, it might be seven. Let me also figure out. Everybody that knows here, let me write that down too. Uh, I don't know who's who it's gonna be most convenient to have go sell. I think technically Kyle Char or Crit Easy is a little bit more convenient than you're bringing the alt sweet. So we already got the alt coming or not. We already know how we're selling it. Sweet, thank you. And then hold on, let me write all of this down. Thank you for reminding me. This makes it easier when editing if I know like the KC and shit. 3973 Torva Helm for 24 mentality. Uh, it was a solo drop in Dak's name. Wait, what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, dude? 24 mentality. Dak. You got Savage had just joined. Oh, I'm sorry, Savage. Kyle Chara. Not quite, brother. Sorry. Uh, K Scott. Kyle Char, you were in Savage. I had just read your name out loud as I saw it. You were not quite here, though. I'm sorry, man. Mentality? I guess if I typo your name, it doesn't matter, but I did typo your name. Oh, fuck. And I'm typing this right in the middle of some other shit. I didn't realize. Dude, god damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at the game. You were in that kill? Okay, okay, hold on. My bad. Let me go watch that then. I did not see you, but there's a 99.9% .9 chance that I'm wrong, and there's literally a 0.01% .01 chance that you're trying to scam me right now. Maybe less. Just let me go check it. Uh, we still got you, Raider Haze. Yeah, I hadn't said anything about you, brother. Hold on. I know that you were in there, dude. Okay, guys. And we're who are these two as well? Hold on, dude. Give me a second. I was still on the last guy. Fellas, I know that I said, like, when I read out the list, I'll be asking if anybody's not on the list. I haven't read out the list yet! <laughs> Don't do this to me. No, I did specifically just tell Savage he wasn't in there and I hadn't, no I hadn't noticed him. That's the only reason that he needed to speak up and he should have spoke up and he did. So I'm not, I'm not shitting on you either. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we might be at seven. Pronounce my bad. It does help if, if you announce like right when you get in there, but... I tend to notice, kinda, I don't know. I notice when Cryptic does it, because I like to give him shit about it, but... Cryptic does it often, where he'll just... Cryptic will just join in the middle of a trip without saying a word. And that is not easy <laughs> to notice at all. I think we've got seven. I got Dak seven times. 24 mentality. Kyle Chara. 
K. Scott, Raider Hayes, Savage, Crit Easy. I made sure not to read all the K's in a row. That was looking sketchy for a sec. I got I got scared. 24 Mentality, Dak, Kyle Chara, K. Scott, Raider Hayes, Crit Easy, Savage. Did I say K. Scott? I did. I said it twice and I still missed it. One more time, fellas. Uh, 24. So Ronars, 24 Mentality, rather. Dak, Kyle Chara, K. Scott, Crit Easy. Oh no. Raider Hayes, Savage. Cheers, boys. Let me fuck out. How many is that? Seven? Speak now or forever hold your peace, by the way. That is seven. You said we sending a lot of solo next. GZ in the solo tour of a full helm. Dude, I fucking did it, dude. My solo tour of a full helm. Bro, I don't know if I'd be willing to do enough solo next to then get a drop, too. Because solo next looks... Theater of Blood level. No, okay, it's not as long as Theater of Blood, but Theater of Blood level of like consistent tick eating necessary. And I imagine I would have to be on something to really be like, alright, I just want to get the 1KC, and then after that being like, oh, I might as well just go get a drop. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of other shit that is going to be challenging for me that I haven't done in the game yet before Solo Next. Like, I guess I could just send solo next as well and mess around with it, but... I'd rather solo... Uh, fuck, the Tombs of Masket gains. Or even solo challenge mode chain bees. I do not want to do that solo if I don't have to, but I would. I'd do those before solo next right now. Uh, above all of that, I do want to start getting some hard mode theater blood in. Next week, I'm going to be doing some Floods Worse and Desert Treasure 2 bosses. When those are done... When I'm done with uh, Floods Worsen on those bosses, I want to get 1KC on Floods. Excuse me. At Theater of Blood using the Zombie Axe. And I would also like it if all my teammates were using the same sort of budget setup that I will use just to show the, the whole idea is just to be like, look, you could even get a KC here. Kind of a pain in the ass. Maybe you don't want to. But like, good enough. And that would be one where if it was like, look. I can use my zombie axe and get Theater of Blood KC, and then my teammates were just in like Torva and a scythe. Just <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be stupid. That'd be dumb. That'd be dumb. That'd be dumb. <laughs> that sounds fun. It'd be pretty cool. I might force at Ladl slash like blowpipe as well. Back to back, when? We get back to back sh now, huh? So we got a seven man Torva Full Helm. It's gonna be around 36 a piece ish. Maybe, maybe 38. I don't think we've never gotten the back to back drop, so we actually are sitting on a potential gold mine. It is a little bit wild. It's not absurd, but it's a little bit wild that we saw a double drop, two drops and one kill before we saw back to back drops. They're both uncommon. Similar levels of rarity, to be fair. I was getting more KC, I thought I had enough for a bit. No worries, no worries. Yeah, you're off the team. Savage, my bad, I'm missing you on that one too, brother. Appreciate you speaking up about it. We might have, let's see, I was thinking about that Theater of Blood KC. I might have everybody do the Atlatl, but it's actually still more expensive than a blowpipe, and that's more of an Iron Man thing. I haven't done that much um, Moons of Peril, so I guess I ask I ask all Iron Men who either have both or neither or don't know, I don't know. Would you rather grind Zora for a blowpipe or grind Moons of Peril for an Eclipse at Laddle? I feel like the answer could be obvious, but... Cheers, boys. Maybe you don't know enough about both to have a big opinion on it. As far as I could tell, way more reasonable. Ah, way less effort. Ah, I grind out a blowpipe on, on multiple. I got it on my hardcore Iron Man, dude. I'm that fucking cool. I get it. I like Zora as well, so I know that a lot of people just like would rather never do Zora, so that's why their answer is going to be obviously Moons Apparel. I really do feel like just average hours, because Moons Apparel stuff's not super rare, and it's just like chill and like... I feel like you if you were like, oh, the Atlatl could replace my blowpipe, then you would do that 100%. It doesn't quite replace. It's not a too sick weapon. There are differences. But in some cases. <sighs> Cheers, boys. 
Cheers, boys. Oi. I was really liking the Atlatl at Theater Blood and Tombs of a Mask. He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute. Crash here, are we? What up, Wild West? Welcome in, dude. Cal Chaw currently in the uh, the Bofa as well. So Raider Hayes. Uh, I don't know if you had switched over to not at the moment you're using Carol's. To be fair, your your Carol's shit's gonna be better defensively. But here's an example of like Cal Chaw's gonna find KC with us in some Bofa life. I know that um, what's his name? Um. Dipped with the helm. Wait, what did we did we lose? Did we lose 24 mentality? Wait a minute. No, he's right there. Dude, you scared me. Who said that? Savage, you son of a bitch. He was going to get it. <laughs> you got me good, dude. Holy fuck. 260.7 mil. You fucking got me good, dude. God damn. 37, 242, 857. I don't know, like 37.2 mil or so. What do you usually wear, Dak? Oh, there, very nice. The, uh, the Masori and the ZCB, fine, dude. I think Cacti started with pretty much all both action. I look like, uh, nunchucks in the inventory. Oops, they kind of do, don't they? Hold on. Thank you, thank you, brother. Do you want me to list off everybody again? I guess it doesn't matter either way. You and me, Kyle Chara, K Scott, PB Tiramisu. Uh, what's Yuffy Arius? That's um, Raider Hayes. Yuffy and Savage. So Yuffy, Savage, K Scott, Crazy Z, Kyle Chara. And then the three Ks, dude. Why you guys gotta do that, dude? What kind of. It's not an open. <laughs> open minded. Bro, <laughs> why are we like this? PvP tracker, so I have everyone's name. Sweet, nice, nice, nice. So it was seven. We just get another thirty-seven on this. This is nice. I'm Canadian, um, occasional count. Ooh, okay, all right. I think that's how it works. Canadians aren't can't be racist. <laughs> hey, okay, it just it just happens to be letters. I know blue would be all over it. Okay, blue. He's a little stashy, if you know. No, he's not. Stop, dude. One time I saw Blue sneeze in his arm. It went up in a weird way, is all I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know the fuck. He's not even here to defend himself. 37.2 mil is a complete waste of my time. Am I right, boys? Raise your hand if you would be upset with only making 37 mil on a Saturday night. Everybody with your hand up is as much of a douche as I am. What the fuck, dude? That's an insane amount of money. The mods have been dropped, dude. Yeah, we can actually update this, dude. Next beach boy. Edit comics, beach point. Today. There we go. I knew that hiccup was coming for like two minutes. That was a good one. One times tour of a hell me for 24 mentality. Sheesh. We each just got how many Sanfu <laughs> serums? One sec. I'll hit that R too. the better Odium Ward. Twisted Buckler is the best offensive range shield. It's probably what you're looking for. I think technically the that Dragonfire like shield is the Dragonfire Ward I think technically has higher range than Odium Ward but uh Twisted Buckler thick. Twisted Buckler very nice. 
Hold up. 37 to 43K? Oh, I did 327. What the fuck? 37, 243, 0, 0. There we are. Vodavai, 26444. 4, 4. We just got 1,408 full Sanfu serums each, dude. That's crazy, dude. I got one, two, three, four R's at the moment. I'm gonna iPod at like six or seven R's, fellas. Well, as long as they're different R's. If you repeat R's, it scares me. If you've typed R once, you don't have to feel like you type it a second time. I have missed an R by not scrolling up and seeing it. I do my best to try to scroll up until like like the last kill and stuff and pay attention to some R life. But if you R'd, I guess if you R'd before the split, we're fucked. Since the split. I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna go solo. I feel like all seven of us should send a solo next and then if one of us gets a drop, we still split it. You guys in? <laughs> Cheers, boys. I'm gonna send the iPod. I think we're ready. I'd fail so hard. Very unlikely any of us would get the kill. No offense. Um, none of you have told me that you've pulled off solo next before, and it, it's a cool enough thing that I really do feel like you would have said something about it before now. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real with you. I can't believe you kept it a fucking secret. <laughs> like, what have you been doing, dude? You've been doing solo next and you didn't even tell me? That's crazy. New meta, dude. If 43 people is solo and get a split every kill, dude. Parker, dude, your brain is so big. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? That is the most brilliant thing I've ever heard, dude. Kinda, kinda on point. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Sketchies, but it works. Hard enough to seven man next. Next is a pain. The more you do it, the more like any other boss you get. Uh, you comfy with him though? I, sh I very, I definitely just sent that spec a tick early. Whatever. I very vividly remember. So when we started next nights, here comes the long story from Dak. When we started next nights, we had been doing mass nights every Saturday. I mean, technically, YouTube stream says this is next night number nine. This would be way... Well, we started next nights before we started doing the YouTube dual stream as well. 18 mil an hour. Big brain, dude. Massive brain, dude. Rich, massive brain. Ooh. The very first times that we started to do next for our mass nights on Saturdays, because we did a lot of mass life before next had even come out, and I would put out a straw poll with, like, six bosses on it. It would be Corp. Bandos and then four other bosses that didn't get more votes than Corp and Bandos. We had a mole mass, we had like two Venonatus masses, we did a, an Arma mass one time, Sarah mass, we did DK's ones. We had other bosses happen, but realistically, if you guys were there for those masses, you remember that it was for a while, every other night, every other week, Bandos Corp, Bandos Corp, because I wouldn't, we wouldn't do the same boss two weeks in a row, otherwise Corp was going to win even more. So if whatever boss won last week wouldn't even be on the vote. And it was just Bandos Corp, Bandos Corp, Bandos Corp was most of it. And they're pretty dope masses. It was still a lot of fun. Nightmare we sent some. Uh, we had a Calphite Queen mass. That's where Shady got his Calphite Queen pet. Bill Dungeon Dream 8 Man Toe. We could send some 8 Man Toe. That's true. That's true. Friday would have been a decent time, then we sent Sea of Thieves, which ended up being a lot of fun as well. I did definitely get motion sick for a, a significant portion of, of yesterday's stream. I never got, like, real bad, but there were a few times where I was just like, I'm just kind of dizzy and I need to, like, chill for a little bit. I hadn't play, played the game in a while. And then we didn't go, like, super late in the night, but it was still, like, that, besides that, it was fucking awesome, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, shit. I started to make executive decisions for next night because of how expensive the drops are. I was like, guys, if we're doing, like, four splits for masses, like, you can only join if you split and we just do next night, we're all going to make so much more money than we would on anything else. And legit, we would do Mass World next until we had at least, usually, a fifth person available. Like, if I was... Sometimes I'd be the only person available. We didn't have, like, a massive team always ready. So I would start next night just doing some Mass World second person would show up they would just join me in mass world for a little bit and like if either of us got a drop in mass world we would split that drop 
And then once we got enough players available, we would go from Mass World to an actual small team. But if we sent a four-man next, we were we knew that we were like, we could fuck this up and have to teleport out. Like, we weren't getting that clean of a kill. Oh, God. We also didn't commonly get up to, like, like a ten-man team either. So it was always just a bonus to get some kills in with the small teams as well. And then, like, pretty quickly made a lot of money, but still... When we started to get to a point where we were like, yeah, as long as we have four people available, we can send next, we'll get the kill, that's fine. And they'd be like, could we start with three? Like, nah, dude, the three-man, we gotta really be ready. Like, doing a three-man kill for the first kill of the night is pretty sketch as well, because, like, kinda gotta warm up, we don't really know what we're doing. At the moment, I started the two-man if I had to. Yo, melee distance, brother? Even if you're ranging next at the end, stand close to her. You want to be using your fang more, but stand close to her, brother. When you stand far away, everybody takes mage damage. When you stand close, she can melee you, which means only you get hit, and the entire team takes less damage as a whole. And if you need to heal, step under her instead of running away. So let's just go for 1.8 bill a year back-ish. That was 1.6. And I don't want to play. Well, if you don't want to play, this doesn't seem to matter. If this is the reason you don't want to play, this doesn't make much sense to me either, honestly. You're just throwing out numbers, and you're not talking about anything about gameplay right now. Gameplay matters so much more. You tell me you got over a billion coins and you can't figure out a way to kill bosses? If you don't want to kill bosses, you're like, yeah, it doesn't matter to me, then, then it doesn't matter anyways, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta focus more on the content than your bank value, to be honest. What up, Liquid Miso? What up, dude? Welcome into... Oh my god, we did get a drop tonight. I already forgot about him. Fucking arrogant, dude. I was about to say dropless necks. Ah, dude, we got a tour of a full helm like three kills ago. Not even, dude. 24 Mentality, the man, the myth, the legend. Got a tour of a full helm on his MVP. It was only like 20 minutes after I shit-talked MVP and said that MVP don't ever get dropped because mathematically that's just how it works. Like, they still have their own role, but if you just... If you put together everybody else's chance for a unique combined versus just the MVP's chance, then mathematically, yeah, more often than not... Ah, uh, I didn't actually run. Oopies. More often than not... MVP doesn't actually get a single drop like that or a single drop ever. Okay, you know what MVP doesn't get a single drop ever? Donnie Bolts, dude, the man, the myth, the legend. Everybody's the man, the myth, the legend right now, dude. I'm too hype. All right, chill, dude. It's just next night, dude. Stop. It's not even that cool. Next, not even a fun boss, dude. I looked away for just a sec. Oh god. First next time I missed since finding them out. Feed boys feel dirty. I'm not home watching a mobile though. And hey, you got a good excuse to be fair, okay? You're stuck, not home, unable to join. Uh, this will, without a doubt, be on your permanent record, to be fair. No worries, brother, no worries. Missed next night. It blows, but there will be more next nights. We still love you. Permanent record, but we still love you. Yeah, we'll treat you differently from now on, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're not part of the squad anymore. A bit of a, a bit of a blemish, okay? <laughs> that dash attack FML, I didn't even know it. it. That killed you? I saw that you got hit by it, I didn't realize you died to it. Until just now. What the fuck? That's wildin', dude. We may forgive, but we don't forget. <laughs> In KC, sounds good, sounds good, bro. Poor guy. He's blemished. It's not my fault you're blemished, dude. Don't look at me like that, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, bro. I don't know how to help you, dude. You sound like the guy complaining about his RNG, dude. I don't know what you need from me, guy. I should have showed off my next log when that guy was complaining, but also I should just have a screenshot of... Raps next log because it's insane. It's so nice. It's so good.
Please, before... Damn. Oh, we did get it. Nice, nice, nice. Roar. Most of you probably knew there, but once you get to crew order, you can generally skip the uh, Reavers unless they were like about to be healing her, but she had just spawned those. So we have like eight more next attacks before she heals up from them and it won't matter because crew order is dead now. Cheers, boys. In a duo, 100% we would have wanted to attack those Reavers. In a trio, mm, probably. On the budget duo kill, I don't know if Donnie remembers this. We had a really, really nice stall over by Cruor to stop the Blood Reaver heal. For like like four or five attacks in a row, we did it about as perfectly as you could do it. We were like, oh, that's pretty good, dude. Damn. So we're going to do the R3 next to the voiceover. You used to hear them. I've heard about the, uh, the voiceovers. I didn't know that because I fucking didn't do any next in RS3 because I was like far from being able to do next. Like I had beans, dude. Absolute nubbletons, my guy. But somebody had talked about how there was a plugin, the the plugin to to add those sounds in. And while they were explaining it to me, it made no sense because I didn't realize next said the shit out loud. I was like, wait, wait, next actually like says it and you can hear it? They're like, yeah. Yeah, you idiot. They probably didn't call me an idiot, but I felt like they did. <laughs> Felt like an idiot to be honest, dude. Shucks. That was beans when Next came out, dude. That, that shit scared me. Just trying to get the key, trying to get the KO on each of the bosses uh, to get the frozen key was like, mm, probably not going to be able to do that, am I? I didn't have friends to help me out, dude. Helped multiple players get their key and then seen those players get Next drops and like get good at the boss too not even like they just barely get through it week after week you know after week after week you get better at it is what happens like it's not that hard it's just it's a long enough fight there's different things that happen you can die but like reasonably it's not it's not raids it's not coliseum it's not inferno it's not your mom wait what At the end, taste my rat sounds like taste my ass and hear a boom. Oh, now I need it. Wait a minute, dude. Taste my ass. I'd be tasting ass all day, dude. Woo, savage, nice MVP, bro. Nazi, Nazi, you got some coal for MVP. I'm gonna hit an eye bonk. Are you saying I can solo your mom? My mom? No. Anybody else's mom? Of course. Once you diss me, I'm angry, okay? Rules for me, not for the. Hold on, I'll be. I gotta grab a chase, dude. Wait, what? Wait. What? Door kicker. I've heard a lot about door kicker, bro. That's how I usually enter my mom's room when I want breakfast in the morning. too much today bro I'm fucking blasted already it's all right dude last saturday had to open with coliseum into next night it was just a lot more pressure than this next night now i don't even have to be good 
All I have to do is show up. My job is to be here, okay? Your job is to be good at the game. Right, fellas? Okay. Right. Cheers, boys. They've vaguely mentioned uh, Varlamore Part 2 coming up, and they did ask for feedback about what people would want from the... Is there like an herb lord boss thrown in there? There's the mountain the mountain group boss was, was originally was gonna bring up. I'm already getting distracted because a lot of things will happen. The herb lore thing. But um, there's going to be a group boss that comes out. We don't know exactly fuck about the mechanics of it, but it will be something that is designed to do with multiple people, and it turns out that it's really efficient if you have friends. Oh, I tell you what, I don't dude. Have friends. I don't. How does he know? How does he say that every time I say friends? I'm just kidding. I just have a button right there. Shut up. We'll be doing it. Show up to the Ed Boys. We'll do that, boss. You're watching character, character Turbo kick the door and trying to get in. <laughs> That's even better. Anything about, like, spamming the door and he keeps fucking trying. That's even better, dude. Okay, all right. You're convincing me. I only see the four R's at the moment. Are we... We only got five total currently. We're sending a five man and two re KCs at the moment. We got enough to send these. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the iron pot. The five man we could, um, honestly, it's not even that ridiculous. Not just we could, but commonly we can get a two kill trip. Because we definitely have a lot of DPS in the group, but. Could depend on how much you get your ass kicked too, and it's better it's better to just go to the bank than to have anybody die on the next kill because they run out of supplies. So if you're on like a four, five, even six man team that's thinking one, maybe two kills per trip, if you are questionable on supplies, like you should fucking say something and just go bank and make everyone bank. It's so much better to bank than it is to die. You know what I mean? So if it's looking like you might risk it, like just bank. If you really speed run banking out here, like you can bank very quickly. We just chill at the bank sometimes. Big fan of dying, dude. We've actually came out to play with a guy. Horn Y, yeah, wait, it's been a while since the horn now too. Oh, we're really mixing shit up, dude. Horn Y? Did you just hit me with a horn Y? <laughs> dude, what the fuck is a horn Y? I know what it is, but it sounds kind of goofy. The real MVP is the next banker. It's so true though. I remember that's another thing where uh, when Next came out, like RS2, which is now RS3, but not old school RuneScape Next. The very first iteration of Next, nobody knew the boss yet. Now it's a new thing, and I'm low level, not really able to kill it, and I'm just watching videos about it. I thought it was the craziest thing that Next had a bank, which is why I've. It does sound goofy. It's why that I, I like if somebody in old school has been like, wait, you can bank at next that I have not been like, yeah, you didn't know that because I know like it is weird. But then when you actually do next, you do realize that if next didn't have a bank here, it would be horrible. You would get such few kills an hour. This shit would be so expensive, which I would still do it and be happy about it though. I would be one of the fucking guys that doesn't complain about that. It would be weird. Yo, prop mage, arrange your prop mage, pretty easy. I, I, I stumbled over all that, dude, but I made it. Cheers! I fucked that up vastly. No problem, bruh. It seems strange, but it really is balanced correctly. She died from a Slisky betrayal just so she can hold our stuff. She's a real one. I don't know the lore well enough. Was this this is this one of the guys from Desert Treasure 2 as well? Is that the guy? I feel like their names are similar, if not. Similar timelines with the ancient Zaros shit, but I don't know the lore very well. I didn't even really think about how she's a ghost out there. She's like, 
Is it like her punishments to be banking for us? Do we? I would tip the banker right now, dude. Wait, I didn't realize that we're her only friends. I didn't put that together. That's kind of wildin'. Oh, she's in a good spot. She gets to hang out with us, dude. We're fucking cool. We're a fun group to hang out with. We're only friends, actually. She literally, if it weren't for us grinding out next kills, she wouldn't see anybody ever. She must be very excited. We're here. That's why she's willing to be a banker for us, like. Very, very helpful. Kind of high-level job. Being a banker must be a pain in the ass in the old-school RuneScape world. Dude, all the... You imagine counting out a million coins at a time? All right. Well, <laughs> how often do you take out a million coins? That's the GE banker's a little different, but still, you know. Still. Yeah, when there's splits and I get, you got to take money out, out of the bank to split, you got to count out all those coins, dude. Gotta roll the coins up in his sleeves. Yeah, and that's still that's part of her job. In the morning, people don't see that. Before the bank hours, before the bank opens up, people just think you just show up and open the doors. Like I've been rolling GP for fucking three hours, dude, just for your one tour of a full helm split. You fucking queef. You didn't even say thank you, and you didn't even say thank you. It's insane, dude. Sent those specs a little early. Sucks to suck. I was just born bad at the game. What do you want from me? Just find a rest of banking. Tough gig. Crazy tough gig. Oh, I have a bit of a skit that I did on it that I, I feel like I could uh, branch out more on. But one of the one of the mobile skits, which we need to finish that mobile series. I know. I'm aware. I have been thinking about this, and I have an idea of what I'm what I'm going to send when I can, but like it's 100% because there's other vids I need to get done. And we won't be finishing the mobile series quite yet. Soon. I got some wild ideas. Hold up. And they're going to start with counting to 87 million. No, it was something like when I was around 90 mil GP on the mobile account. I made this skit where the banker I was like, I'm like sitting on the couch back there talking about the mobile games. I was like, ah, I don't know how much money I have. But let's ask the banker. I'm like, can you count these coins for me? And I just, one, two. <laughs> Takes a while. <laughs> Oopies. Even the logistics behind the bank having any item you need, whatever noted item you have. Yo, don't stand north, bro. Is that actually too bad? There you go. I was gonna say it's almost not too. Oh, oh, I almost fucked up. Ah, stop moving, lady. <laughs> Why was she stopping with me? What were we dancing? Don't be me, don't be me, don't be me. Oh, I, how do, I was out of that. <laughs> it's fine, it's not that big of a hit. I was out of it, dude. I swear to God, Dad. I'm gonna hang out under. Ah, uh, she got me. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Can you only see me right now? Not quite. Yeah, she's on K Scott. How this guy get a quiver, dude? I danced. Now, okay, yesterday I hit the I danced or and we danced line. There's an old Macklemore song that is fucking incredible. But I hadn't thought of in a long time. And yesterday when I said that, Jay hit the and we cried, which is the next line of the song. And I <laughs> Jay listed off like two more lines of the lyrics after that. And I went off. I was like, dude, I know this song. 
There's a couple of fun shrums in a row. Shout out to Jay. Cheers to Jay for kicking ass on Smash as well. I'm the leech on the team, dude. Actually, my damage output on Thursday was insane. We had a good tournament on Thursday. We got 7th place out of 31 teams. Could have been better, could have been worse for sure. The majority of the teams that entered the tournament won far less games than we did. Meaning, on average, if you joined that tournament and streamed it, then most people would have seen most losses. I'm just saying. Jay carried you, to be honest, the whole time, dude. I don't think I got a single kill. I literally have one kill in my name, and it was on Jay. No, <laughs> stop. Wait, why am I agreeing with you? No. No, shut up. <laughs> Bro, I beat that ZSS up, dude. Hey. Ooh, Yogi Bear. ZSS? Zero Suit Samus. It's like Samus with her titties. I mean... <clears throat> wearing the Zero Suit. Not the birthday suit. I know. I know. You wish you were a birthday suit Samus, man. The impressive Samus showed titties. It'd be literally impossible to beat Samus if she was showing titties, dude. What the fuck, dude? You gotta get out of here. <laughs> Listening. Samus is actually a ridiculously good character. Samus and Dark Samus. And then Zero Suit Samus? Kind of designed for high-level players to play as. She's a pain in the ass. But you can pick an outfit that's kind of skimpy, and then, you know, I can be a weeb and just yerk off while I'm playing Super Smash Bros. So I'm in, dude, honestly. I should start maining ZSS. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't main ZSS because Pyramithra is also in the game. Need rule 34 rendition. Oh yeah. I, I mean what? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You already hit the. I mean what? <laughs> I mean yeah, yeah. I don't even. I don't I don't even need rule 34 to yerk off to Pyramithra, dude. Just go play against her in the game, dude. They actually gave her jiggle physics. It's insane. Overpowered character as well. It's a character for babies when it comes to competitive play. Do you not know fuck about fuck when it comes to Super Smash Bros. competitive? Would you like to be good at Super Smash Bros. competitive? Have I got the big titty bitch for you? It's Pyramithra. It's okay. It sounds like I'm talking shit. She's just third best character in the game. That's all there is to it. Literally designed for babies. And I should play her more. Boobers in my Smash Bros.? I'm smashing boobers, bros. Wait, what? I'm smashing my bros boobers. No, that's even that's getting worse. It's getting worse. You ever just like titty fuck your friends? What it hold on, I'm getting close to a I'm definitely not this is not my own joke. Um This is definitely from what is it? This is the end? I like Seth Rogan. James Franco. They all play themselves. That movie, hold up. Who's the guy with the titty fucker? There's uh, Jonah Hill's playing the demon that's gonna titty fuck Seth. That's definitely where I'm. That's definitely where I'm getting this joke from. Good luck, boys. Yeah, 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 ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. Air runes and death orbs. Sheesh. Oh, Pyramith is a good character, that being said. <sighs> the other day, I tried to list off 10 characters that I think are better than Game & Watch, because I do think Game & Watch might be top 10. The only way he isn't if is, is if I can name 10 characters that are better than him. And I didn't list off Yoshi, and I do think Yoshi might be better than Game & Watch. One sec, boys!
Uis. I'm getting the drops. My DPS sucks. I mean the drops. Everybody gets a drop as long as you do like a very small portion of damage. Like you're not getting. You haven't gotten unique or anything. Like everybody gets some of the drop. If you look at her drop, it shows you how like the whole team got 99 air orbs and 545 death runes. Then I got 21 of those air orbs and 106 death runes. So like I only got a portion of them. So the more damage you do, the more percentage of the drop you get. But it divvies it out amongst everyone. Technically, it does do the same thing with uniques. It divvies out your chance for a unique based off of how much damage you did. So everyone has a chance to get a unique, which does mean, technically, every single person in the kill could get a unique on the same kill. It's infinitely rare, but a seven-man team could get seven drops in one kill. Here's what my logs looking like. It's fucking nice. I need an ancient hilt. Um, we've only gotten two drops in one kill one time so it's clearly very rare to get multiple drops in one kill but everyone has their own drop for it and your specific odds to get a unique are based on how much damage you do it all averages out to a 1 in 43 we all combine for a 1 in 43 not that we each have our own 1 in 43 if it was a 10 man kill where everyone did even damage then every person would roll a 1 in 430 and 10 430s is about the same as the 1 in 43 is the idea. So it splits amongst the team depending on how much damage you do. Oh, got a lot of uh, R's, 5 R's at least. We hit the iPod. Just about, we'll get Raider Hayes with the iPod. I was just explaining, he was, he was the one who asked the question then I tried to rush him real quick, my bad. My bad. Cheers, bruh. Cheers, bruh. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking take another. I'm having a good time. It's Saturday night. I don't tend to stream on Sundays because I'm super religious. No, I just, it just happens that uh, I try to use Sundays to get a little bit more work in on videos for the week. And then I ended up not putting out quite as many videos as I want. And then I stream at the end of the week too many hours for that to matter. I should stream less and make more videos technically. But it's just a Saturday night. I don't have anything going on tomorrow outside of eventually making some videos including actually we have a super smash bros doubles tournament tomorrow that'll be random doubles so we have to play as random characters i will be playing in that tournament with jay but we really should do phenomenal i do okay i mean we've gotten top eight a couple times it's still even playing field but it's good practice so i'll get a couple hours of smash in tomorrow as well but yeah, that happens late at night okay so i can take another shot and have a good time boys and I'm now, at the moment, chasing with a Gatorade to help out with hydrating. You know what I mean? Hydrating. Why did I say it like that? Cheers, boys. It sounds like drating is a thing, and I put, like, a prefix on it. Hydrating. Torva Plate Body, please. The very first unique that I ever got from Nex was a Torva Plate Body. And I haven't gotten one since. I'll try to pull my weight here. I'll try to get a Torva Plate Body. Somebody else get one on the same kill. Let's get two in one kill. What about... <laughs> How about that, dude? Double drop. If we do get a double drop, if somebody else would get a Torva Plate Body while I get my Ancient Hilt, because my Ancient Hilt's going to be one of the worst splits we could get, but I do need that for my collection logs. So if somebody could get the most expensive drop at the same time as me getting the Ancient Hilt, I would actually feel really good about my Ancient Hilt. 
So please, <laughs> hey, hey, guys, dude, get my back, dude. Please, come on, fellas. I need you. I need you, dude. Just like I need Jay to actually make combos happen in Super Smash Bros. Stop. Jay and I need to enter a good 1v1 tournament a couple times again. So we, the last time that we played in the same... We usually play teams, two versus two. We've only a couple times played in the same 1v1 tournament, and we had one set that we played against each other in tournament, and it was on stream, a best of five, and I lost. Okay, shut up. Now that I spoiled the set, let's talk about how it went down real quick. It's a best of five, which means the first person to win three games moves on to the next round. We were in loser's bracket, meaning the other person is just straight up out of the tournament if they lose three out of five. So game one, Jay beats Dak. Game two, Jay beats Dak. Jay, the better player, now up two to nothing. Clearly beat me in game three. Wait a minute. I'm fucking with you, dude. I won game three, okay? Now it's two to one. And yeah, I won game four. And yeah, game five came down to like the last hit and was really close and he did clutch it out and it was a good set, but I still lost the set, so none of that matters. <laughs> a damn good set. I need another set against them. It, that was some of the most fun Smash Bros that I played, was that 1v1 set. Um, as well, the next set, whoever won, oh my god, I'm kicking. Whoever won between Jay and I, which happened to be Jay, but even before that happened, we already knew who was like waiting on us based off the bracket being set up. And this player, Sharpedo, who I had lost to 2-1 to one earlier in the tournament. He was a Palatina player. Sharpedo sounds like he plays that Pokemon. That'd be such a cool character in Super Smash Bros. Dude, Sharpedo? What the fuck? How would that even work? Anyways, his username was Sharpedo. He played Palatina. Um, he beat me 2-1. to one And kind of, like, I was lucky to get a, a kill on him. Or the one win on him, in a way. Like, this guy was better than me, for sure. And it was somebody that... He plays Palatina, which Jay also plays that character. And we knew Jay could beat this guy. Jay had beaten him before. So Jay beats me to move on to play him. So I'm a little bit more hyped because Jay is likely to beat him. I was likely to have a tough set. And Jay beat him so bad that the guy just unplugged. Like, basically rage quit in game three. And it was, like, super satisfying. It was like, I very unlikely would have 3 0 him that well. So I'm happy that I played a good set against Jay. And then he still ended up getting to have that set. GG's boys! Ah, Kyle Char, very nice, very nice. What was wild is that was not the end of the tournament. I was at top four, so I got fifth. The guy that Jay just knocked out got fourth. Perfect next. Yo, you just got a comment achievement for that? Very nice, dude, very nice. GG's. GG's. Sheesh, hold up. Am I on the north side? I am. So I got fifth. That guy that Jay just had knocked out got fourth. It was like 30 teams, so I had a pretty good... Or not teams. I say team because it's usually 2v2. We're talking about a 1v1 tournament. I got fifth. Next guy got fourth. The guy that Jay just like embarrassed. And now for top three, it's Jay versus the guy that Jay just barely fucking lost to earlier. So it's all double elimination tournaments. And once you lose two sets, you're out. So Jay and I are playing in losers, and Jay knocks me out of losers. To be in losers, you must have lost one set. The set I lost to was the guy that Jay just beat. The set Jay lost was the guy he's about to play, and that guy just disqualified. He didn't show up. He could have had to go. We don't know. It's an online tournament. He could have he could have had a funeral to go to of anything. It wasn't even like not even talking shit. He just didn't show up. Jay doesn't even get the rematch. He gets an auto win against a guy that he was like, I should have beat him the first time. Gets an auto win. Now Jay is in grand finals. Top two. And he kind of got his ass kicked by a very, very, very good Luigi, dude. Crystal cum seed. Thank you for the compliments. I really hope that my crystal cum seeds all think that Dax is so fucking hot. I was pretty hot while I was losing to Jay in that tournament as well. That was a fun Super Smash Bros. tournament. I would like to play in a ones tournament that Jay is in sooner and later. Guys, once the next gets that close to Umbra, it is nice to run away from Umbra to try to make sure... You gotta run away from next at the very least. Her range attacks do more damage when you're closer. To run away from Umbra and force next to also run from Umbra because nobody's within her sight is the way to go. If you don't want to tank damage there. 
Jermaine and Super Smash Bros. It is Game & Watch. If you look closely, you won't, once you see it, you're like, oh shit, there it is. Behind me, I'm pointing the wrong side. There's a Game & Watch drawn behind me somewhere. Once you see it, you're like, oh shit. Did I just see a, I leave my message with we butter or bread with butter? <laughs> we butter the bread with butter, boys. Yo, Lord Maticus, thank you very much for the follow as well, brother. I appreciate you. Welcome to the cul-de-sac. Where we do next while we talk about Super Smash Bros. Where we play RuneScape while we talk about other video game. Super Smash Bros. Addicting. Every Thursday night, fairly late. Uh, right now is 8.59 p.m. my time. At the moment, we would be 59 minutes into the tournament. So the tournament starts an hour ago, but on Thursday nights, this is a Saturday night rather, uh, every Thursday night, I stream the doubles tournament that Jay and I play in. So if you guys are interested in Super Smash Bros, Thursday night, whatever time it is for you right now, one hour ago is rather when it would have started. Um, right here on Twitch.tv, I guess. If you guys are watching on the YouTube side, you'll have to watch it on Twitch. I don't stream it on YouTube. I'm trying to make sure that the only content I'm putting on YouTube is OSRS because people sub to the YouTube channel just for OSRS. In the past, I have put out other game videos, and they do very poorly because people expect OSRS videos. And if I were to do other content, I should make another channel on YouTube for it if I were going to stream it. So, it will not be streamed on YouTube, to be fair. If you guys are listening on the YouTube side of things right now, we are dual streaming YouTube and Twitch currently. Uh, it will be only on Twitch on Thursday nights. Could you commentate what you look for during your next kill? Yes, I definitely can. We might be banking right after this, but I could... I could definitely go through. I can even start now. Like, I mean, we're pretty close, but we're about to KO the last bodyguard, and we're going into final phase. Technically, it is important. She could use a spec very soon here. I'm going to keep sipping up potions. So I'm, like, looking over Nex's head while I'm sipping up. Contain this. That's the one I was looking for. She's about to do contain this. Boom. These guys just even got hit by it. Rip. That could be a dangerous one when she does that right in Azaro's phase because it's hard to notice. So it's good to be looking at her. For this Zaro's phase, I think I'm targeted, so I'm going to step under her. I am not... She's about to be protecting Shmeelee, so I'm just going to put on my range gear and heal up right now. Stay melee distance. You want to, Even if you're ranging, you want to be as close to her as possible. Uh, she's going to not be protecting melee very soon, so I'm switching back to my other gear, and I'm poking her again. She's not targeting me, so I really just get to focus on poking her. She's going to switch targets in a second. It's not me, so I'm just praying mage, focusing on her. It's almost done. I'm just going to send a Void Waker spec to. We're pretty much done with the kill at that point. It was pretty simple. If she targeted me, I would have protected uh, melee and then try to step under her while she was hitting. Uh, I got a potion to send another. So let's start from the beginning as well. So I am the cough tank for the team. Drink water, nerd. All right, I'm going to chase this shot with water. I'm the cough tank, so I step as far away from her as I can. Or pot that I came in with, bro. Cheers, boys. Cheers. She's going to give me the cough to start the fight. As she does this, I'm going to run in and spec. I spec with my Void Waker, switch to my Fang. I'm just Fanging. My cough is already gone. I'm going to restore up a little. She's about to say Fumus, so I'm going to run over to Fumus while switching to my range gear because I do want to range him. I'm still protecting range. I'm going to sip my Ranging Potion at the moment. I notice that I'm not potted up on anything currently. And I'm going to send my Thrall, because I didn't have him out as well. Sipping a Restore, because my Prayer Points were mid. We got Fumus about to be dead. So this is the... Oh, she sucked you into the worst time. This is the phase where she's using range. So I protect range now and stay as far away as I can. The closer you are to Nex during this phase, the more damage she does with that range attack. So standing far away is kind of nice. And then I'm just going to stand here and wait. If she runs up to us, as she gets up to us, I'm going to try to step under her. But it looks like it's not going to matter. We just got to 2040, and it's already Umbra. So I'm going to attack Umbra from here. Here, if she's coming up to us, I'm still going to step under to try to make sure to skip. That's very important. No! Riff, I think she might be on me. She's not. She's not. And if she was, I kind of ran the wrong way. K. Scott just did that absolutely perfectly. K. Scott was the target. Now I'm going to die. Hold up. K. Scott was the target, and he ran Nex away from us. I'm being attacked by Umbra, and I can tell because I'm taking 17s, and Nex can't hit a 17 on me while I'm protecting from range, and I'm that far from her. That all happened too quickly that you kind of have to go see some of a replay, and that's okay. I got guides and stuff for you on that, too. At the moment, we're now blood phase where you protect magic. I'm KOing these blood reavers because they're kind of nice to get 
get gone if they got spawned right away. And now I'm going to focus on next. During the blood phase, it's better to spread out as much as you can. Because she's using blood barrage as an attack. Which is an area of effect attack. She's only targeting one person with that attack and blood barraging them. And anybody close to the person she's targeting also gets hit by that blood barrage. That being said, the more people you have in your next fight, the harder it is to dodge it. Because you can't really spread out that much. I'm going to get one more hit on this. And then you also make up for her healing because you have a lot of DPS if you have a bunch of people at next. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, on crew art's almost gonna be done. We're about to be ice phase. An ice phase, protect magic the entire time, okay? Often, if you're targeted by Nex, it's a good idea to protect melee while she's swiping you. Do not do that during ice phase. Bad idea. So, I'm in the prison. It turned off my overhead. I'm turning it back on here. These guys are getting me out of the prison. If they were not, it would be smart to protect from range to cut the damage in half, but I was not paying any attention to that. I was the target there for a sec, but she just switched off. It's all happening quick because we got like seven of us in here. I'm the target, so I'm stepping under right as she attacks. I don't want to do it now because of the contain this. GG's. Contain this also turns off your prayer. So you may have noticed right as contain this hit me, I immediately turned my protect magic back on and I just started chugging Sarah Dome and Bruce, which means I technically wasn't that close to dying, even though that's one of the worst spots to get hit. So drink a brew. All oh, this guy's in there. Let's do this. We are now on the bodyguard. I am ranging the bodyguard. I am going to sip a ranging potion and get the thrall going. These guys are dealing over here fine. When, the, when this is done, we're back to that final phase. I do want to run up to her in Shmeelee, but I'm going to use a range attack on the way up. I hit a zero, so I'm going to pretend like that never happened. You want to be within melee distance during final phase the entire time. During most phases, when Nex uses a magic attack, she uses it on every player. So if you stand next to her while she's targeting you, it gives her a chance to use a melee attack instead of magic, which means the entire team takes less damage while she's meleeing. While you're being meleeed, you generally take a decent amount of damage. That's why you would generally protect from melee when you can or heal up when you can as well. And that was a lot. I feel like I only hit like 30% of the main points of Nex in one fight there because that all went quickly. I hope you got any decent piece of useful information. I'm going to do that again at the beginning of the next kill too. We're going to bank right here though. I hope that went all right though. I send that again though. There's definitely plenty of things that I was like about to say and then like next phase happened and I had to comment on what was going on. <laughs> No problem, brother. No problem. We do have one helm on the day right now. Very nice, by the way. Very nice. It was like 37 mil a piece, which is fucking ridiculous. If I made 37 mil every night, what would that be? About a bill a month? Wait, a bill a month? Believe it or not, I don't have a 12 bill bank. So if I made as much money as I did tonight every day for a year, I'd have more money than I've made the entire time I've been playing the game. <laughs> I'm doing well, but I don't have a 12 bill bank. What the fuck? Cheers, boys. Bill a month. The monthly bills, bro. Exactly. Next literally pays the bills, bro. No way. I didn't realize that's what I've been saying this whole time. What the fuck? You got me good, dude. Oh, those blighted anglers. Stop. Daddy. I shift clicked poorly. There we go. Shift click that one. Take these, that, fill up. Take four of them out. Click, 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 and click. No way, dude. I'm R. Zarate, sorry, uh, Javier, I missed your brother. Zarate or Tebow for masses? As, if you have a quiver, Tebow is arguably better, but Zarate crossbow probably do way. I'm gonna hit iPod, I see six R's. Tebow with the quiver is going to be better DPS overall. Mass worlds, you don't really get to hit your average as much. And having better peak DPS when accuracy and RNG is treating you well makes a larger difference. So I would 
lean even heavier on Zarek Crossbow in Mass Worlds for that reason. That being said, um, if you did a thousand Mass World kills with a Twisted Bow and a thousand Mass World kills with a Zarek Crossbow, it probably would not be an extremely noticeable difference. They're both just going to be really good. Some of that depends on the rest of your gear and your levels, I guess, technically, but... Because, like, Tebow's a percentage-based thing for how much damage it does. Here's... All right, I just dumped my specs. I'm just going to melee at 2720, which will happen any second. We're going to run over to Fumus. I have a full inventory and a two-handed weapon. So what I'm going to do as we run over to Fumus is eat an angler as well. Switch to my range life and hit you. You! As this gets KO'd, next we'll start using range. So once this goes down, range life. She's probably going to use Fear of the Shadow right there. Boom. Just step over. We stay back in range. I guess it's like a KC again. Why you guys don't have to get the KC again? Because we stacked up on a lot of it. We were talking about this before. Like, you only lose your KC. When you go in the door, you lose usually 40. The higher combat achievers. Achievers. Achievements. The less that you have to take. But if you die and you're, you go out of God Wars Dungeon completely, you lose all your essence. Just like you would with any other God Wars Dungeon boss. I didn't want to go out of range. I want to be back here. I want to be here for this. Oh my god. Careful. GTFO crit ease. He's in the worst spot. He took a 7 from that, dude. You were definitely lined up there to take like a 50. Nice, dude. Is it okay come in or should I wait? You can come in after this kill for sure. It won't let you in right now, so you got to come in when this kill happens. But we'll definitely be getting multiple kills. I literally just got an XP drop while kicking. If I didn't see the animation of my character, I wouldn't have noticed I was kicking because I got an XP drop. I was like, oh, I'm doing fine. I got an XP drop. But then how often you have to go get more KC depends on how much you stacked up. And then how much you use each time. Higher level combat achievements means that you don't have to use as much essence that's technically what it's called. If you do lock them in the corner, the KC is called Essence. I find both words are acceptable, but it is weird if you say like Ceradomen KC, some people might be thinking how many like Essence do you have. Some people might th be thinking how many boss KC you have, things like that. Um, if you get a lot of Essence before you join in the first place, I literally just kicked for an XP drop again, dude, what the fuck? Then you don't have to like re-up the Essence as much. But if you get a lot of essence and then you die, you lose all of it. I've I've lost thousands of ancient essence overall. Combined from all the times I've died, I've lost plenty. So you do have to be careful with that. It's worth in other words, it's worth noting that like when you're new at the boss, it's you're better off not getting a bunch of essence and just having to go get essence between kills more often. That's going to be way more efficient. And again, like, while you're out there getting Essence, we get a drop right now, like, bro, you're part of the squad still, you're just getting some Essence. I really do try to, I try to promote healthy gaming in a way, where, like, just because you have to take a break, like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like, I don't know, you have to do a perfect kill every time, or you're not even part of the team. It just, it never adds up good if you do things that way, I don't, I don't know. So, like, while you're getting more Essence, more KC out there, you're not getting practice the boss. You can't get the drop in your name. Like, I understand why that feels like, ah, I wish I was in the kill. But at the very least, be aware, like, you're part of the split. If we get a tour of a plate body right now, you're part of this fucking kill, dude. You're just getting KC right now. It's fine. So don't feel like, oh, crit easy. You feel like an idiot. I'm sorry. That was, that was mean, but it's true. <laughs> why would you die now? As if you chose it. Why would you choose death? Not the bees. Oh, he dc though. Oh, come on, man. Now I can't even actually talk shit. I sound like an asshole. I forgot you DC'd earlier as well. 
Just the second DC will get you too. Zara's face, she's thick. Start my modem, I guess. That's not a bad call. It's not a bad call. We'll be here for you, brother. We'll be here. See you on the other side, dude. I've been there. I got the modem almost within reach over here. I've been there. Good luck. Got a trio helm split earlier today. Next Prince GP. Dude, the trio helm split. We got a helm split over here. Seven man helm split. And we still made 37 mil a piece, which is fucking dope. So what'd you get? Like 90 fucking mil, dude. Beast. God damn. That's awesome. That's awesome. Appreciate, appreciate you. I am blasted and I can't say appreciate. Appreciate you. Still jewels. GG's. And thank you for the good luck. 87. Very nice. Very nice. That's good shit, man. Next. You say next pays the bills. You said Prince GP, which is just about as good. Next pays the bills is literally the most common phrase on this stream. So next Prince GP is just a synonym <laughs> for next pays the bills, dude. Right. Oh, so fucking nice. I got to take a shot on another Torva full helm news. I really, I really like Torva, dude. Next PTB, bro. I think Torva's like pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. God damn, dude. It'll never get old. I mean, one day, power creep be a thing. There's no way that 40 years from now, Nex is still the best moneymaker in old school RuneScape. So, like, there's a line somewhere. Sure. So we gotta juice it while we can. I mean, things change, but even like, like right now, next technically has gotten a little worse because some of the items have dropped from where they were peaking and they were peaking pretty nice. And it's still ridiculous GPs. And it's group content that is actually worth, not just worth, but like more worth doing in a group. We can get some technicalities. Duo Next is their way. That's still a group, by the way. Even if you're going to try to be like, well, Duo Next is the best GP. I'm just saying that's more than one person. That's still a group. So you make more money at Next if you have friends. Say it, Logan. I think that there is clearly a lot of space for content that is beneficial and requires friends. But then anybody who doesn't have a team to do it, they feel like they're being left out because they don't have a team. But like, that's really, it's just shitty to be, because you don't have friends. We can't have content that we can do with our friends. Like, hey man, try to make friends. Like the rest of us. Wish you could afford all three super weps and Torva. Max mage and ranger, not melee. Bro, if you got max mage, Never mind your range. Let's do one or the other. You pick. Which one's your favorite? Let's pretend you didn't have the other. You have an unbelievably good setup to go make a fuck ton of money and be able to afford everything else. If you have max anything, you have insane gear and you can go do some high level fucking bossing and make a lot of money. Max mage is insane. It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Oops, I just plus 22'd. This could have been worse, though. Being iron is not about affording, it's about getting it done. Getting it done sounds like you play an iron just to make the progress, though. I gotta make sure I get back on the right page with you, because I agree, like, it's not the GP and whatnot is different, because whether you're selling, whether you're buying, it's different for an iron, but, like, you make it kind of how you just said that made it sound like as an iron, you're just doing it just to make the progress. Not like, I don't know, have fun. You're like, it's just about getting it done. Like, isn't it about enjoying the grind and like making progress still, which is the exact same thing it is out on a main progress is measured differently in an iron. Cause you have to actually get the drop as opposed to make money and go buy the drop, but it's still progress and enjoying the content, right? Not just, you're not just doing it just to get it done though. You know what I mean? It's still a video game. All things being said. Cheers, boys. No fun. Only GP. I don't have an Iron Man that's gotten to next, but I played a lot of Iron Man games. And if anything, it's even more fun when you make the progress as an Iron Man, too. And I don't understand the... Not that this just came up. I'm bringing this up myself. Nobody else had just said this, by the way. But I do, when I talk about how it's still worth as an iron to do content that requires supplies, people like to bring up 
the effort needed to get supplies and iron and they wouldn't want to waste them and it still goes back to the same exact idea of like it's kind of like why did you get the supplies in the first place if not for using them why are you even playing the game if not for like playing the game is kind of one way to put that oh well, i'm fun with it yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and i like i feel like as an iron you get a little bit more tighter with uh what's worth doing on the account no matter whether you enjoy the content or not if it's just using too many supplies or something or it's not getting the payout you need and the payout being actual gains it can be less worth doing something on an iron than it is on a main without a doubt without a doubt but it still just comes down to like if you're talking about like best in slot gear like next gains and stuff and you're like using a lot of motion and stuff and like it's i don't know you have to put in pixels to get out pixels the pixels you're putting in might be bruise and restores and probably a lot of them the pixels you get out might be best in slot melee gear and kind of bragging rights to get it on an iron too i don't have fucking torf on an iron fuck me not on a mean dude i do want to send the group iron boys to next i would like to get a second fang so i've been thinking about when we're sending some next tombs of a masket and i also wanted to get it at lao for that so you might see group iron man moons apparel soon by the way good luck fellas Whoa! He got the pet! What? Oh! Was it his MVP? No way! Oh, Kyle Chong at MVP. Who cares? Oh my god, dude. The man, the myth. I bonk. The legend. There's a pet. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> no way. Am I seeing that right? I almost popped off because of double Nile shards at first. I was like, damn, dude, we got two Nile shards. Next thing. What? Bro, I wanted play body, dude. Sheesh. Damn, you're going to get the whole log tonight, dude. Oh my god. Is he stuck out there for you? Hit that whistle. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, Becky. Look at that pet, dude. Holy shit. Hold on. I gotta take a shot for the fucking pet, dude. No way. Is that three Saturdays in a row? The... Oh my god, dude. I think it is. It's not. Last Saturday, I did not get the pet. It was two Saturdays ago. Three out of four. Cheers, boys. Almost, though, dude. Last Saturday, I got Torval Plate Legs, and that was the only drop. Two Saturdays ago was my pet. Cheers. And the Saturday before that, to be fair, was also a dupe pet. That being said, only doing next every Saturday, we've gotten three pet drops to happen in a month. Imagine if we were just doing next every day and we saw three pets in the last four days. That's basically, those are the numbers on that right now. Plus, Torva plate legs and a Torva full helm. It's not like, oh, and then we didn't get any drops. No, we're making money, dude, dude. Dude, next is cool. Sick drops indeed, bro. Little skeeves, no way, dude. What the fuck, dude? Holy shit, bro, one got the fucking glippies, too. No Good luck, fellas. Good luck, fellas. Wait, hold on, let me... Whoa! Yeah, the little woo. Hold on. Whoa! You can hear it rise up because I started to hit kind of the woo because I definitely was be like, woo, Nile shards. I was like, woo, and then I saw the pet. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's fucking crazy, dude. No way you just got a fucking pet, dude. Bro, what was your KC? Yo, I don't know if you already said it. My bad. You did. You did 926. Holy shit, dude. 926? I just got my pet like two weeks ago at like 3,600. God, you just hit the five Zifties? Do I see that right? Oh my god, dude. God, Zeus, bro. Thank you for the five Zifties, you fucking monster. Holy shit. Bro, that's massive, dude. Thank you. Bro. Oh, oh my. Thank you for the five Zifties, brother. Hitting the goddamn sub goal easy, dude. We gotta update the time command. One sec, I'll be R in a sec, fellas. One sec, one sec. Cut back to back, if it's a pet back to back. Yes, it should count. 
I'm gonna update today, Command. I am gonna take a shot, and then I'm gonna type iPod. I'm assuming everybody's gonna be ready when I type iPod. Exclamation point, edit com, exclamation point today. I wanna copy paste what's in it. We just got dunked down. Damn it. I'm fucking up. That's why I have mods. Just kidding, they're not here. No way, you gotta drop on your MVP and then the pet not on your MVP. <laughs> Wait, what? Next seems dope as fuck. Next is dope. If you even have a, a, just an inkling to want to do next, fucking join us. It doesn't have to be tonight. Please also don't feel pressured to join us. But if you're like, I don't know if they would take me, like, we'll take you, dude. You need an Osmunthan's Fang, to be fair. And then, like, a Rune Crossbow. Maybe Carol's top and bottom. Blood Fury, not a bad option. And then as long as you're able to split some drops with us, you are part of the team. I don't care how bad you are. We'll make you good, okay? We'll force you to be good. That sounds a little too intense. Cheers, boys. Oh, I'm gonna type R than iPod because it's been too long. I'm gonna R than iPod. Hold up. Hey, oh, hey, hey. I'm about to iPod. Y'all can hear me, I guess. Everybody on the team can hear me saying that I'm about to iPod, so they're getting a warning. Pet split? You get to hug. Oh. Yeah, wait. I think you get to, like, kiss me on the lips for his pet. Or kiss him on the lips for my pet. I'm not sure. I come in a few. My first time to do next. Sundays, dude. Sundays. It's just, like, a big thing to remember with, like, Nex is still a high-level boss. It's really, when you get used to Nex, you will learn how it's, like, not that hard. But if I just say that Nex isn't very hard, and then you show up, you might be kind of nervous if you've never done it, and then you die. You're going to feel like an asshole because I said it's not hard. It's not like it's, like, you still kill you. It doesn't matter that it's not that hard. Like, she can hit hard, though. It's not difficult, and we don't give a fuck if you die. That's fine. You're still part of the team. You still get splits. It's fine. Follow teeth for the Padre. We get 40 people. Dude, I oh I forgot. About, I was talking about earlier with uh, some of our early next gains. I used to make a really big deal about hemorrhaging money. I loved the word hemorrhaging when I was talking about it, dude. I felt like I was nailing it. I was like, people will get it. <laughs> brute force each could could just brute force each god was in the boss from one KC. Is honestly, it's yeah. Just to be able to unlock next, you kind of can just brute force for the single KC and get the key. But also, anybody who doesn't have the frozen key done, uh, exclamation point Discord in the Twitch chat. It won't show up in the YouTube chat. If anybody needs it on the YouTube chat, the link. Let me know. We have a lot of homies that can help out with uh, God Wars Dungeon KC to get your keys. I've gotten a lot of homies there KC. And then gotten them some drops as well like the same night. Who was it? I don't think it was Shaded Epidemic that that happened. We definitely got somebody their key and they got the fucking drop the same night. True Sweaty Easy, me the part two. Me the part two, kind of nice and like a trio as well. Trios honestly though, when you first try a trio, like if you if you don't have the trio KC combat achievement, when you first get it done, you're definitely gonna be like, kind of like, uh, I don't know, after you get like a big boss KC, that kind of, whoo, got it, let's go, boys. It, if you do it enough times, it'll be like, man, we almost could have gotten a second KC. Like trios aren't really that bad. Like anything else, you just get better at it and more used to it. But for next, there's not like that much going on. Oh, I'm literally gonna die to next. <laughs> Umbra on me. She won't be. Is she? She is. Hell yeah, I love you. Thanks, baby daddy. Oh, I try to go under. Now we're gonna die.
Who do you think I am? You are. Notice how I'm stepping under her to heal, fellas? But then I, I try not to stay under her for more than two potion sips. You will not be able to drink a third potion before she actually skips away from everybody else. So maximum, step under her, sip a potion two different times, and then click on her to attack so that you step out from under her and attack. And then as you see her hit you one time, when you click out, you can go right back under and do two more potion sips. And then timing-wise, if you then attack out from under her again, she very likely will just target another person, like 99%. I don't think tick-wise it could ever work out where she would attack you again right after that. It's part of the reason that we keep up with uh, larger teams as well is... Um, I mean, I didn't stream on YouTube at all before I tried the dual streaming on Next Night. And for me, it was like a really big deal to get locked in and be like, anybody can join. I didn't know how many people would show up, so I had to like kind of over prepare in a way. Because like, what if I was like, anybody can join us at Next and like a hundred people showed up, like not even a hundred people could be in the same world. Very obviously, we don't, we don't have that many viewers that that would happen, but like, I, you know, crazier things have happened in terms of like going viral, I guess. Like, you need to be prepared the idea like we're splitting up teams and like locking in and all that. But the, the biggest thing was like, if you don't know fuck about Nax, I really wanted it to be pretty easy to just show up to Nax night here and maybe not be that good at it, but like start getting some kills in what is a smaller team, not the mass world, but you know. It's almost like a mass when it's like a 10-man team, but it's still... We had an 11-man Torto Plate Body split that was like 31 mil apiece at one point. Oh, I think it was more than that. It, the Torto Plate Body was over 40 mil, or 400 mil, excuse me. Whatever. Like, we still made a lot of money, even on an 11-man split. But the reason we're doing an 11-man team is not because we're like, now the money will be good, <laughs> either. It's almost a bonus. I brought up earlier how a lot of the... Mass night started with just like bandos and, and corp like we weren't we weren't making that kind of money on a night I'm taking damage You're too busy typing brother. Don't type during the fight, bro. Focus on the fight You'd be stepping under her You're probably getting targeted a lot and not doing the shit you could do to take less damage too busy telling us how much damage you're taking Clean up carry me for God Wars dungeon key pieces. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Again, we've definitely had a lot of players, like multiple, I guess. A lot sounds like, like dozens of people. You know, we're only so big over here, to be fair. We've definitely had multiple players that just didn't know fuck about God Wars Dungeon in general. We're like, I would like to start next. And then I said, you have to get the frozen key and get a kill on each God Wars Dungeon boss. And they were like, I don't know how to do that. And not even always just me. Like, I've gone out. I've definitely gotten a key with, like, I think Shaded Epidemic was just me and him. And I think... Cave was just me and him but then not only have I had other people helping us out I've seen other folks in our discord and our clan chat like Donnie bolts is a big fucking bro for this uh, I think Ted too cool is part of some of these and blue and just help other people get their key and it very quickly goes from like you had to get carried to get your key pieces to you're now comfortable at next and you're a legitimate teammate that's why it's actually like very worth getting people their keys. It's not just stop, dude. I don't even want to. I usually charge five mil per God Wars Dungeon boss. Okay, guy, dude. You don't use your cap as enough. Okay, boys. Cheers. We did have a one tell out. How many we got total? Just four. I probably didn't have to type it like 17 times, but I feel like you guys got the point at least. That was probably the way to do it. I know I, I made it sound like more of an emergency than it was. <laughs> Hold on. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Next is incredibly well balanced for team content is one of the main things this always comes back down to. As you get good at Next, you can definitely tell like... The big difference between a player who knows what the hell they're doing and then a player who's never done it before. And why 
one player could be helping the team more because how they like stepping under next to slow her down more often and just like little things but you could have five players that don't do any of the little things that like still get the kill as well because it's not scaling up necessarily your dps is all adding up well and like you can you almost get to brute force next in that way when you think about it like that and then as you do it more and more and more you get you get good at it and you think like wait we can almost do multiple kills you can do this with less players you can do this with less potions but like any other boss especially a high level boss she's level what, 1001 is that what level next is if you mess up against a boss that's level a thousand it might do a lot of damage to you right i mean come on that's reasonable too do you have any gear requirements for people to join? Uh, I require an Osmumpton's Fang, and then even a Rune Crossbow is fine. Bring a Fang. That's literally, that's it. And you have to be able to split. Are you an Iron Man? If you're an Iron Man, honestly, we might, I would, I would vote that we could take you tonight, but uh, I can't guarantee that an Iron Man's always coming at the moment, because we usually split. If you're an Iron Man, you can split from his main, obviously helps, but then, uh, but then, um, I don't know. It, we'll talk from there, in other words. Jake P, Jake P, the man, the myth, the legend. What up, brother? Who's your mom for grabbing ice cream and he drops yet? 24 mentality got a Torva full elm and the pet tonight, dude. The man, the myth, the legend. This guy got two drops tonight. Actual drop and petties. Oh, fucking way. You step in her hitbox after every fang hit or is just in last phase. In general, if Nex is targeting you, if she's looking at you and like sh if she melee hits, it'll hit you. Ra mage hit would hit everyone. It's best if you step under her the tick before she attacks every time. It's about her attack, not yours. You need to step under her right before she attacks to delay her by one tick. It's not detrimental at all for the team if you're not doing that. And, like, don't even try that in phase one, first of all. Phase one, stand still. Smoke phase, when we can cough, just stand the fuck still. Every other phase, you can try it, for sure. And, like, once you get used to it, very worth it. But, yeah, don't do it in the first phase. Okay, Scott, you're right. Don't do it in the first phase. That's when it'll be fucked. So, in general, like, things can go worse if you do that wrong. <sighs> Even if you do that first phase, the worst case scenario is you do it wrong in the first phase and we all get the cough and we've literally never lost a kill because of that. It's just less convenient for the team. It's not, you're not going to get people killed. You're not going to like, like it's not that bad, but it technically could be worse. If when you step on her necks, if she tries to attack and her target is under her, she won't do anything. So if you step on her right as she's going to attack and then you immediately click on her and attack her, you delay her by one tick and basically she goes from a four tick to a five tick monster. So she's attacking at the same speed you are, which over the full fight is like, like 30 attacks saved if it's done well. Like it does add up a lot, but we also have a team of like seven. If none of us did that, we'd be okay right now. In a two or three man team, everybody should be doing that. You know what I mean? So it's, just, it's it's kind of a higher level mechanic, but it's something to be aware of. So she's attacking at a four tick pace. You see her swiping at a four tick pace. It's kind of, it's when she brings her wings back and like resets. If you're clicking under her just one square and then click right back on her, you'll just step one in and go back. Down track for the one night green long row. Yeah, practice makes perfect, dude, for, for real, though. Oh, your pest command hasn't updated yet. You might have to log. Is that your third pet is Max Pet? I don't have... Oh, no, no, yeah, I have four cat pet, too. Is that the Duke? Bro, you beast, dude. God damn. I feel like I knew that. I feel like I already knew that. I feel like I might knew that, dude. How many hours we had over now, so... One, two, three, four. I'll be R5. This one, I need one more, probably. You get my frozen key, I'm gonna join you guys. Hell yeah, Andy G, Andy G. Tonight won't be the best time since we're already at next for us to help you. You didn't ask for help, to be fair. I'm just saying, 
If you need help, let us know on uh, uh, even like you got a Discord and a CC to hit you up. You sound like you're already on it. To be fair, Bro, I'm gonna send Donnie over to you. To to be fair, I'm gonna iPod chat. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna force you to do it with Donnie, bruh. Cheers, boys. I often refrain from stepping under necks during the first phase, even though I am 100% confident that I'll do it right. Because <laughs> you don't really need to as well. There's a lot of things you can do to make a next fight better that you don't have to do at all to get the kill. And that's what it just comes down to. If you see like, oh, they say that duo or three man teams can get, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine, however many kills per hour. And you're like, there's no way I can do that many kills per hour. Like that doesn't seem reasonable. That's because like all the little things that you could do that aren't necessary at a boss, those add up to, to make a difference for sure. We oh, have literally zero urgency for efficient kills on Saturday night next. We haven't done a Friday night next in a little bit. And I was usually low urgency on Friday night. I don't know if I really... The highest urgency next I've ever done was like the budget duo kill. I really don't care about getting the fastest next kills per hour. I'm not greedy enough that I have to be... I'm making like 11 mil GP an hour, but I could be making like 14. Who gives a shit, dude? What fucking planet do you live on? Am a main. You recommend this is the first time stopping it? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Come on down. Saying am a main, you trying to do some, uh. I said MMA instead of am a main, I feel like. <laughs> you know what, dude? I tell you right now, the stream is. Higher quality if you just mute me right now. I'm an idiot, dude. I'm deef. Can't read, won't read. You know what I mean? You been there, done that? Sheesh. I'm just kidding. Come on down. Price is right. You just need a uh, fang, really. I. Blood Fear is a weird one to try to tell people they need to have because it doesn't add any uh, RNG or DPS, rather. You guys don't have to run away, but you guys are all taking more damage to so not run away. Yeah, you guys see me as much time, as much love. Hey, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm glad the guides have treated you well, dude. I gotta get even more guides out there. I got a atlatl video that I'm trying to shwerk on, too. At least the next guides are solid. Put a lot of time into getting those set up. And I do really feel like the overall impact of those guides based off homies that are showing up to stream, but also like, just comments on that video, like, you know, good old like dislike ratio, video getting views in general, typical YouTube things to be fair. I do feel like that video has helped a lot of players actually learn next instead of just be scared of it. And I really, I think, I think you should be less scared of next than you are of the wilderness. And I don't think you should be scared of the wilderness either. So. This guy's better than most. Yes! Hold on, who the fuck said that, dude? 24 mentality? Dude, you're about to get the third drop, you fucking beast. <laughs> no, I preach. I preach. I did put a lot of time into it. I've watched a lot of other next videos as well. I'm I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I don't suck up, dude. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I don't watch other people's videos as well. Uh, I really am I'm in the exact opposite mindset of a... A lot of YouTube viewers. I don't think very many YouTubers as a, a video maker feel this way. If some other YouTuber has made content that has anything to do with the content you're doing, you'd be like, oh, they already did this, blah, blah, blah. With a, with a guide is really kind of anus. Like, imagine if only one person ever got to make a guide. We wouldn't have nearly as good of a guide as you could have. There's always going to be shit that you don't know or, like, little things. People put out, like, just even a YouTube short being like, hey, look at this tech that I got. Like, step back must bum. Sure. The first time somebody was like, this seems to be hitting all zeros. Imagine if the one guy who's allowed to make a guide, he puts out a guide and it has nothing to do with step back muska, muska, muspa, because nobody's noticed that yet. And now no guide ever gets to have it. Like, 
as people learn more about the boss, people should continue to release more guides about said boss too. And different players should get to make different videos about it. Because sometimes two people can explain the exact same mechanic just with different wording. And then you understood more one of them than the other. Like I, I definitely have had times where I know how a mechanic works and I just didn't say it as well as somebody else has, has, has pulled it off for me. I feel like I've had this with in in like high school, in middle school and high school. I was very good at math. I'm a fucking nerd, sure. But I wasn't always good at explaining shit. It was like if because if it didn't come across the way it came across to me, like if I didn't explain it well enough the first time that you got it, I didn't always have like a second way to put it. And because of that, I kind of learned more to like, you have to learn something well enough. You have to get good enough at something that you, you can give more examples and kind of, if you just have something memorized instead of actually have learned something, then you just have one way to explain it. And it's just like, here's how it works correctly. And then, you know, what if somebody fucks it up? How do you recover from that? What if you're wearing this gear instead of that gear? What if there's all these little things? And a lot of those things are hashed out months, if not years, after content comes out as well. So I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it right now as somebody who plans on putting out a Coliseum guide in the long run. I'll say it right now. Torva plate body. All right, it was a good try. Um... <laughs> I don't even remember what to say shit. Any Coliseum guide that is out right now, and I'm not just saying this because I don't have one out. Even if I had one out, 100%, any Coliseum guide that is currently uploaded to YouTube, there is a 0% chance that 4, 6, if not 12 months from right now, that'll be the best guide that's been uploaded because people will learn more things. And then the guides will get... But all right, the fucking playlist also stopped. We're just listening to a TED talk right now. What the fuck? So I really feel like the idea of being able to like watch multiple videos and be like, oh, I liked how this guy put it instead of this guy put it is it's a good thing as opposed to a bad thing. But it's not a, it's not necessarily a good thing to I try not to shit on someone just cuz their guide is different. I've watched guides that were straight up bad and I feel like you have just as much right to be like hey this is just a straight up bad guide also but like I've definitely uh, some of my skilling guides that I put out uh, Theo, Theoatrix, Theoatrix he also puts out 1 to 99 guides I've had people try to tell me how fucking bad his guides were compared to mine and then also like, I've not only seen his guides, but, like, he's been a really chill guy with me. Like, I have only had a couple interactions with Theo. And I have. He has contacted me about shit before. Uh, generally, when somebody, like, um, like voice-to-texted our guides, voice-to, yeah, voice-to-text, like, put them on a website one time, and he let me know. Shit like that. Like, he reached out to me to help me out and whatnot and has only been, like, chill with me. And I've never watched one of his guides and thought to myself, like, he shouldn't put this guide out because I have one. And, like, this has been a, an extremely, like, I feel like mutual beneficial relationship. We're kind of, I don't feel like we battle each other much. I don't think there's much of a competition that makes us do better. But, like, there is, it's not, there's 0%, like, one of us has made a guide on a certain skill so the other shouldn't. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that guy's guide was better than the other. No matter which way. Clearly, I've heard more people tell me that they like my guide more than his because I don't go perusing his comments or I'm not his on his live stream. I'm sure anybody who's liked his guides more than mine, they tell him at the time and I like they could DM him. I don't know those messages. There's going to be people who likes one like likes one like was I mean likes one guide over the other for sure. And I feel like as creators, it's important to realize that like we benefit from each other and if you're going to play off of uh, one guy's better than another, then you like make content out of that rather. Like you can goof on it, but it's kind of stoop to hate on somebody. Cause like there's a guide out and then another guide comes out and you're like, that guide was better. That guide was worse. 
Don't lie, you're planning his downfall. You will not believe my smithing guide coming up. I'm just kidding. My smithing guide won't be crazy, but it will be my next 1 to 99 guide. But I do feel like 100%. I kind of I rambled too much about this. 100%. Mostly with bossing guides. I think there's a big uh, curve with skilling guides as well, to be fair. But I think this affects bossing guides more. 100%. Uh, players as a whole, the entire community is better at the game because multiple people make guides. If it was just like, oh, there's already a guide, nobody else should make a guide about how they do this. Even if they literally explain the exact same fucking mechanics, just in their own words, believe it or not, it sounds absurd, sure. There will be people who, they just understood it based on how you said it better than how the other guy said it. And then people get better, and that's... Literally the only fucking reason to make a guide is for people to get better. Reviews. Sure. I'm not an idiot. I if you go if you go to my YouTube channel and you sort video by most views, it'll take a while to find a video that doesn't have the word guide in the title. I'm not an idiot. I know. But like I also know that not all my guides were great. That's why I've updated guides and like should probably update even more guides. Fuck. All right, I'm going to just end the stream and go make YouTube videos. I actually was very close to this stream being a YouTube video making stream a couple of days ago. I was planning on it and I, I ended up deciding not to. Vard update for you. This is what talked about a few times. We got a hell puppy yesterday. <laughs> Let me go to Var and get an icon. Dude, did you say you got a hell puppy at 64k seed? Did I read that right? Shoot, one sec. Sheesh. You got the icon the same night. Dude. I, I don't know how else to say it. RNG, it comes in waves. Like me in my OnlyFans videos. Ah, shut up. I gotta heal up more. Yeah, he's gonna punch me. Jesus Christ. I pee so bad as well. Oh, my RG and Ben for real's waves get Duke pet the same night. Jesus Christ, you had the biggest wave of all, bro. That wave was capsizing, dude. All right, all right. That's what I'm talking about, though. Some of my most ridiculous RNG moments have been like, how is that possible? I'm like, yeah, it's because of all fucking the bad moments combined, too. Like, shitty streaks and then good streaks. That's what they call me. What? We only make guys to further their content, nothing else. Which also, to be fair, I can't even shit on that. Cheers. Cheers. I will say 100%. This includes me. Every guide that I put out, I put it out with the goal that it will help people with that content. But at the same time, I have never put out a guide that my goal didn't also include furthering the channel. To be fair. I could have put out bad guides though, but I, as far as I, I hope that I never put out a bad guide because I was only thinking about the views and then I didn't make the guide good enough. And if I did, I, I would like to know about it because I could then improve from that, make better guides, which not only makes everybody better, but better guides also improve the content even more. Like it's a straight up mutually beneficial thing if, if I do it well.
Excuse me. He's was transparent about being only self-interested. Uh, I will. I'll first. I'll admit that I, I haven't watched that many of No Monkey's videos. Actually, I'm very aware of him as a content creator. I've probably seen more thumb thumbnails than I clicked on the video. Uh, that being said, I do think that is very commendable because I, I also don't see a problem with like deciding to upload YouTube videos. Never mind the RuneScape side of the content. Like, if you're just like, I know how to change a tire. I think I could upload a video to YouTube of me changing a tire and I would get a lot of views and then make a lot of money. I don't think that's like, oh, you shouldn't upload that video because of your intentions. Like, I think it's okay to upload to YouTube and be like, I think this will be successful content. I think if you're going to try to do it consistently as a job, you should probably find a way that you enjoy it while you do it too. Like, how many tires you get to change. If you, if you then just went into like all these other things you could do as a mechanic on a car, that could be an incredibly good YouTube channel. If you're like, I love cars, I love fixing and, and moderating cars, and I can just put up a YouTube video every time I do that with my cars, like that would actually, that's, that's fucking sick. If you were just like, I ran out of things that I knew what to do, and now I'm only learning things to be able to put them on YouTube, I'm probably going to start hating it. When he's good at the game, but shit at teaching. It's probably, it's... Probably about the right way to put it, to be fair. Um, I want to say how this has definitely affected me as well, where like, if you, the better you get at something, the less relatable you are to somebody who's not good at it yet, and the, the less you can relate to how you would have learned that content if you weren't just really good at it in the first place. So the better you get at the game, the easier it is to forget the specific things that should be difficult to you and they aren't and you just kind of don't explain those to a newer player. And you're just like, just do this thing. And they're like, I don't know how to do that thing. And you just know how to do it so naturally that you just don't even think about it. Cheers, boys. Six hours or send it. They work all the time. It takes about six months to train and understand. They'll do it alone. You get hard learning a new thing is, yeah, once you're good at it, you forget that, like, the things you weren't good at, how difficult they were, even though you're good at it now. Whoa! Almost went in with not enough brews. And, yeah, 100% from what I know of, of No Monkey's setup, like, hearing him talk about a boss. Like, I've watched probably the most videos I've watched him is him doing next because he's very good at next. And I think some of those next videos are very good because I already have an extremely good understanding of next without a doubt. Like if I, when I was first learning next, that shit would just be confusing. But when he said, I'm like, oh, yeah, because I already know how it works. I'm like, that is a good point that he's making. But do you have a good understanding of this, dude? Oh, yeah, dude. I've been rubbing up on Dr. Disrespect. Wait, wait, wait sorry. Hello. You didn't even know, dude. You think I'm still carried by Jay. Just wait till we do best of fives. Best of tens. Whatever I got to do to win. We do have to enter a, a solo tournament when we get a chance to shoot. Not like coin box either. One that we have a chance to play against each other. I haven't done coin box in a while though. I probably should send some coin box. Coin box for those who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. On Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoons, every week there is a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, 1v1 tournament online that has like a $3,000 prize pool. It's like a thousand people into the tournament. Smash Bros. We just smash them bros every Wednesday. Wait, what? I've been, a, I've streamed Coinbox probably like 10 total times. I'm not good enough that I'm going to get to top eight. 
on my best day, I could put in... They do... They switch from top 96 to top 64. Main Krom, I see you. You're a bit of all or nothing with Krom. Because Krom, you know, you'd be edge guarded pretty well. But getting a kill with Krom kind of disgust at the same time, too. That Krom up B. Put X in Smash Bros. That'd be a cool trophy. We don't ever get to see trophies because they're not used in tournaments. You guys don't ever see, like, items and trophies if you watch us play. Almost every elite, character in Elite Smash. I literally have fucking one... No, I still have Bowser, and I dropped my Luigi out. I play Game & Watch, and that's it. I'm lucky to have Bowser in Elite Smash, and then I dropped my Luigi out while I was pretty shwasted recently. But I, I don't... I don't play a lot of Quick Play Online. But even if... That's not like... If I did play Quick Play Online, I'd be in Elite Smash. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> I'd be bad. I play Game & WoW. And I play more doubles than ones. I play way more 2v2 than I play 1v1s. Every Thursday night on Twitch, Jay and I stream the uh, 2v2 tournament that we play in. Two weeks ago, we got fourth place out of 24 teams. This past Thursday, we got seventh place out of 31 teams. So a similar setup. We only lost to good teams. And no cap on Nightbot. They were both beatable. Damn. It's always how it is. It's been a long time since we played a team that we were like just unbeatable. I'm just grinding melee as well. I've been mainly focused on our stress the last six months, dude. Well, the stress been pretty thick lately. I switched to Joker when I get tired of <laughs> being edge guarded, dude. Joker pretty thick. Joker pretty thick. We played a good Joker this past tournament, actually. They had just switched to Joker, though. Hold on. They played Incineroar the first game. Our first round. It was Steve Incineroar, and then the Incineroar switched to Joker. We did 2-0 them. But it was both... They were both well-played games. I can see an Incineroar player liking Joker as well. That down B, counter, slash Rebels Guard, like, either way. I, I can see why they liked it when I put it together. Good luck, boys! Okay, guy. So I miss this little content. Really hope, uh, really hope you post after you're done, so people who missed it can tune in. Oh, definitely this will. Uh, if you go to the like the live tab on the YouTube side of things, this whole vlog will be up there, brother. Snow crabs, welcome in, welcome in, and we'll be live for a few more hours yet. Drink water, nerd. But what about Smash Bros? Tomorrow, Jay and I will play in a random doubles tournament on Super Smash Bros. I haven't streamed that random doubles tournament more than like once or twice. I don't play very well as randoms. I usually don't play that much after the random doubles tournament because I'm trying to do video stuff too. So if I did stream it, it's only like an hour long stream. We've had a couple top eights in it. Most wanted character in Smash. Well, it's going to be a long time before there's a new character in Smash. It's kind of Joe or... But it's got to be a RuneScape character. I said it for a long time. How like think of Byleth? How Byleth has kind of her bow, her like kind of hammer, more of a crush weapon. She could also, if you give her a staff and a magic weapon, like a, a RuneScape character could have kind of a, a tribrid PK or style of attacks, and just make him like the default bot skin, and then just give him. It doesn't even have to be actual PVP items because it doesn't matter. It could be like. Tebow, Shadow, and Scyther's attacks too, but like you could, there's a variety of weapons and shit. Like, I really do think a RuneScape character could actually exist in the Super Smash Bros. life. For sure. Just make it the default bot skin, it'd be so sick. How many people run with you guys in next? We might still be at seven. I don't think there's anyone out right now. It's two, four, six. I don't know. <laughs> Anywhere from six to eight. Uh, that being said, now that I've put, now that I've, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've at least pitched the RuneScape character that I always try to. Uh, I think Spyro. Be sick. 
Oh no, I'm getting hit by this. Damn. And I thought a Monster Hunter World Hunter should have been in it, but now that they added like Rathlos, I mean, there's no more new characters anyway in this game, so I guess it would be the next game. Like a Monster Hunter World Hunter would be sick. Okay, here's what I want. So at the moment, there's Pokemon Trainer in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Very cool character. Very cool character, right? You could switch from Squirtle to Ivysaur to Charizard. Get this. What if Ash, just like, he's just some human being that punches Ash. Not like Little Mac punches, like weak. Like, <laughs> just Ash, dude. I want to be Ash, bro. Wise old man in Super Smash Bros., dude. Spyro and Crash deserves that's true. Crash Bandicoot would have been fucking filthy. That's so true. That's so true. What would have been worth? I would have given Master Chief a lot of uh, credit. That we got the Master Chief um, like me Gunner outfit. So they did the the collab and you get an official character. But I think it would have been cool to be honest. But Spyro and Crash pretty cool. I would like a Jack and Daxter or a Ratchet and Clank scenario. I think would have been really cool. I'm really hyped with Banjo and Kazooie to be fair overall. I hate playing against Banjo and Kazooie, but I give him a lot of credit for DLC. I hate a lot of the DLCs and I like Banjo Kazooie. Wise old man in Smash, dude, you imagine? Most of the DLCs they added, I like them as a character and then I like them as a character in their game and then in Smash they're just annoying to play against because they're DLC, so they're overpowered to make it worth buying. Sly Cooper, dude. True, that'd be another one. With Cameron your fit to Casey and my iron? Mm, on the iron, it'd be questionable. We're usually trying to do splits, brother. We're probably good. If you drop me free for all, it's going to be mad luck anyway. It's not really taking much away from us because you DPS. Because we could also get a drop at the same time you do. <gasps> double drop? Question mark? We actually have gotten the double drop. I got on uh, Behemoth with that one. Shout out Tasty for being a beast. Every time I get a Behemoth, he's like really fucking cool about it. He doesn't have to be really fucking cool about it, but he is. Just to come seed, if you're trying to send these, send these. We're 485. 485. 485 is the world. And that double drop, that double drop was insane, dude. Zana's max quiver looks so bad. When though, dude? Cheers, boys. Link the Behemoth video. Um, the Behemoth video with the double drop. I'll actually have to look more. I was in his video with the Coliseum drop recently. I don't remember what the name of the video with the double drop is. Oi, Raider Hayes, thank you for the next brother. Yo, GG's on Split Life too. Peace. Actually, Raider Hayes, you have become a shining star of examples that I may forget specifically that it was you, but definitely in the future when I'm trying to convince people into next, if I don't remember, I'll be like, man, there was a guy recently who was saying, I don't know if like I have the gear or not for next. And then I was like, nah, come on down. And then he came on down. I got a split too. You, you literally, you fucking, you went oppo taco on me. You went from like, ah. I don't even know if I would have the right gear to like, all right, I guess I'll join. It's like part of the split and good the fight already. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Very nice, very nice. You carry my iron. I need items. Buff, I don't fucking even know you. Buff, I don't even fucking know you. Buff, are you trying to do a zombie axe theater blood? What if I told you I have no iron? I probably would not invite you to Nex anymore because you're so fucking cryptic and, and just like lying to me about shit that I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. How can I trust you on anything anymore? You know what I mean? What? Oh, you lied out the gate, dude, huh? What is that? It's, uh, it's like Yes Man where he's like, he like punches the wrong guy in the face. It's that Jim Carrey movie, Yes Man, where he's like, uh, that guy's like, I'm the wrong guy, dude. And he's like, Maybe that's your problem. You had the wrong attitude right out of the gate. It's fucking stupid, dude. I'm stupid. Shut up. Please don't listen to me. Stream is better on mute. Join next week, too, if you let me. Hell yeah, dude. I'm sorry about that. Hell yeah. To be fair, uh, Carol's is fucking and broken. I don't know your full setup. Feel free, like, exclamation point Discord, fellas. Join the Discord. Hit us up. If you 
really with any boss, if you feel like you're like, hey, here's the setup I'm using right now. What would you guys upgrade first? Anything like that? Like post fucking screenshots of your setup or like what you're working on. Fucking talk about the RuneScape. Uh, Public's weird. I don't know. Weird's fine, dude. I get that. It's a little more droopy. I get if you don't like it, but literally nobody asked you about your opinion on it and you're just talking about how bad it looks. What am I supposed to say about that? Am I supposed to be, am I supposed to have a positive reaction to that? You know what I mean? You're like, hey, that item that you're rocking that you're really proud of having, I don't like how it looks. That's kind of what you just said. And I know you didn't mean it like that, so I didn't immediately tell you to go fuck yourself or anything. At least I hope I didn't. I'm a little blasted. Maybe I did. I did just kind of say like, when? Because if you said right now, I was going to say no when that I ask. I'm not even going to deny that the cape is an interesting look. I'm not confused why people don't like the look of it. I'm not even upset that someone wouldn't like the look of it. But without a doubt, it doesn't come across very positively to just out of nowhere when literally nobody asks you about it. Just be like, I don't like the look of that, by the way. That, the, that only spreads negativity about something that really doesn't matter is kind of the main point. What the fuck did you- I'm waterboarding your sister because she's escalating the plot to kill us, dude. It's fucking... Gorshin huge though, and more phallic! I was about to agree with you, wait a minute. Now I really agree. I do think the regular quiver, which I only have- I only had the one of, I do think it could be larger than it was before. Dude, phallic. Jesus Christ. I think it looks better without the cape. I think it might look a little better without the cape. I can, I can get that. I like the hood uh, spreading over it because the hood just kind of being up here when I have a different helmet on doesn't make any fucking sense either. But I do think it would be cooler and I have absolutely no idea of how the engine work would make this a problem, to be fair. I think that the hood should droop over the quiver, like if you took it off your shoulders, or maybe just droop off your shoulders a little bit extra, like if you had the cape and shoulders, if you have a helmet on, and then if you take the helmet off, it should auto put the hood back on. That would be cool as fuck. Because that's how it would work in real life. Like, this is not unreasonable that you'd be wearing a hood, and you'd take your hoodie down, and it would droop over the quiver on your back. This is how fucking real life would work. That makes sense. But then if I took my hood, my helm off, and it automatically put the hood back up, I'm creaming. I'm creaming, dude. I'm creaming, bro. Just like, how do you like the look of the quiver as it is now? They're updating it soon. I do, they talked about updating it. I do feel like the updates look like a, a bonus. They look like they've made it a little bit larger and more... Is promiscuous the word? That's not the right word. Prominent is almost the word I'm looking for. They stick out a little better on some of the, uh, on some of the, uh, setups that they've shown us. But, um, overall, I really think what this comes down to is, this is going to sound ridiculous. Please hear me out. Because I've said this about other games before. What this is going to come down to is... Why are you looking at your cape while you're bossing? Cheers, boys. I literally never see what's on my back while I'm doing anything. So, what the fuck? I'm on an iPod. I see enough R's. Oh, I took the chase before the shot. Foolishly. They could just draw a fucking dick on my back. It wouldn't change the gameplay. Fashionscape is absolutely an important part of the game. If not, please give me your ancestral hat. Oh, they've come out with some other good hoods recently that I've been happy with. Ancestral hat used to be my favorite, like, by such a long shot. I felt like such a wizard. I have one in the hardcore, maybe that helped me out, but... Oh, I'm getting a boner thinking about it. I'm not gonna shit on Fashionscape as well. But, when we're talking about best in slot gear, if the only thing that we can say negative about a specific best in slot piece of gear is that it doesn't look as good as you would like it to look I feel like that's still a very good update cause like who are you like, everything doesn't look perfect if you ask the right person <laughs> Oh, 
I swear to God, every single update in the game that involves some sort of cosmetic thing, at literally every time that they add a best in slot item and a cosmetic upgrade to it, the biggest complaint is about how it looks. And that's because not everyone shares the same opinion. And as long as it's balanced well and the item works, the only thing you could potentially complain about is what it looks like. The only thing that actually doesn't matter. You know what I mean? That being said, again, I'm not trying to shit on Fashionscape. Like, I am. I am putting the logistics behind that. All that being said, I'm not going to pretend like I didn't like my Max, um... Masori assembler cape more than my regular like before that fashionscape uh, ornament cake came out. I'm not gonna act like I don't currently want to go do theater of blood for some of the ornament kits. I'm not gonna pretend that I have think I have think what does that mean? I have thought that other items in the game haven't looked as good as certain. I, I get that too. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend like oh it should look however it looks and then as long as it's good you can use it. Uh, I mean that's not a thing either. That's pretty that'd be pretty stupid. So I won't go that hard on it either. I just do really I really don't mind the look of it and I feel like people don't ever really see what it looks like anyway as part of it. And then if they make it a little bit larger, a little more prominent and obvious, could be cooler, and then it's kinda what you would expect out of Literally a quiver. Like, think of the name of the item. Do you like the subtleness of it? Sort of mystique and elegance? Yeah, it's fair. That's fair, too. Just kind of... The subtleness of it would be part of the... Like, logistically, like, getting a getting an arrow out of the quiver, too. Like, before it was... I don't know. Your quiver was, like, on your pants, isn't it? On, like, dragon... If you wear black dragon hide chaps right now, they have, like, a quiver just on the leg. It's kind of cooler and more realistic now. And people are like, oh, I don't like how the hood kind of like leans over the cape like it would in real life. Uh, Quiver's only plus one strength for blow pipes and max. I don't think you get any max hit with blow pipe. It's not supposed to. So the quiver charged bonus is only for things that are actually used from the quiver. It was purposely designed so that the blow pipe wouldn't get the max hit out of it. It still gets that like plus 10 accuracy or something. They definitely went out of their way to make sure Blowpipe didn't get like the full bonus out of it because they just nerfed it on that front. Why would they then just make it as good as it was? Oh my god, I'm looking at your... I'm looking at your shit now. It said that I had to be over 18 to click on this image, and it was a fucking theater of blood collection log. <laughs> Imger, what are you doing to me? Two pets, three scythes, six rapiers, four sanguine estes, nine helms, five chests, ten pants, twenty... Dude, what the fuck is this massive fucking full log, dude? What the fuck? I literally have a chest and a helm. Maybe it was a helm. Two out of the four purples I've seen were in my name. Tob when? When do I ditch the next team to go do Tob? I would like to do stream like learner Tob nights as well, but Tob's more limited. Next will let you bring as many people as you want. Tob, they're like, oh, you got a team of five? Hey, six man, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? And I don't really want to tell someone to go fuck themselves just because they want to join us. That's pretty ridiculous. I'll do it though. I'll do it. I'll do it. Donnie Bolts, you want to join us? Go fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. That was really. It was really intense. I just remembered that you weren't a Yankees fan, so. The Cubs! I'm just kidding. I don't even dislike the Cubs. <laughs> I don't even. Dude, I can't, dude. I'm fucking dead. Stop. Doing Tob night? Uh, we haven't, like, made an official plan on it. I do Tob during the week when I get a chance. It'll be a while before Saturday becomes a top night because of how many times I told people Saturday is always next night. Mentality, Ron, you, you hang out in the Twitch stream as well, right? So I guess that's not going to be... That specifically won't be a deterrent. It'll be usually like weekdays we send some top. We did some this week. 
I want to do more regular Tob, and I want to get some hard mode Tob in because I want the ornament kits as well. Cheers, boys. I'm I'm almost at a point that I feel like I'm good enough to be somebody who teaches Tob, but I'm still not that good. I got like 100 KC. If I really break down Theater of Blood, if I showed you some like paused clips and I like circled some things and like live kind of try to teach you theory of blood i'd probably be a good teacher but while i'm doing it i still need to kind of lock in so if if i was doing tob i don't know i did shout out to veritas for being really cool about this one time uh, a couple i guess probably a couple months ago one time on some tob kc somewhat recently when somebody was like can you just talk your way through the bosses while you do it after the end of the raid, Veritas was like, you should just take that whole raid and upload it as a video. You did a really good job at that. And I have had a boner ever since. <laughs> but no, I'm still not that perfect at top, to be fair. Which is fine. I guess that's, that's kind of a good thing, too. It's like... Because I feel like Theater of Blood gets the most toxicity from teachers, where... Um, I've never had this. The people who've taught me Tob were always really cool about it. I've literally, I've only heard about horror stories from people where they were like, yeah, some guy brought me to Theater of Blood, and then when I fucked up, they, like, only talked shit on me and, like, kicked me out. And, like, they were just like, just, like, be really rude because you're bad at it, which is kind of stupid as fuck, if you ask me. Um, because I was also really bad at it once, so was everybody else. I literally watched Wooks be bad at it when it first came out, so who the fuck are you? It just doesn't add up. I just got sacrificed. Nobody should ever want to boss with me because of what I just did. Bro, why aren't you 5 taking these RPs? You say 5 tech one more time, I'm going to fucking show you my butthole. On that note, buff. <laughs> buff. Buff hole over here. It's not. Buff. I'm actually trying to ask a serious question right now. Don't listen to me. In maybe a week, probably two. I brought this up vaguely before. Floods Worsen, who's doing the uh, zombie axe gains. Next week, I'm going to start Desert Treasure 2 stuff. When I'm done with DT2, I do want to get 1KC where everybody in the kill has zombie axe as their melee weapon. And then other, like, like a budget theater of blood kill. And honestly, if I had to pick, like, a dream team draft. Oh, this is a tough one. Because I was about to say it would be a three-man team. And literally, that three-man team doesn't include me. Gimli move over and buff. <laughs> That's the three-man team. No, if you're available, dude, let's send it. It'll be a lot of fun. I do it even multiple times. It can be fun to fuck around. I have 100%. When I've sent, like, when I make a, a guide and then I try to make those hour of videos about a boss, and I've sent, like, an hour of video with budget gear, I feel like those hours where I, I do budget gear and I try to do the boss with less gear and like less dps that just makes you better at the boss like you have to actually understand the boss even more and it's just like really good practice as well so i'm gonna die real quick hold on favorite time of the week serena's here no way serena welcome back welcome back you make me blush the most nervous i get on stream is when serena shows up welcome in to the tour of a play body Star Zarp will not Melee Zarp. No, yeah, it's very reasonable. I didn't Melee Zarp right away. My Melee Zarp kind of clean right now, I'm not going to lie. Except for when Buff watches me. Jeez. Fine, I don't poison the corner where I know I can... Shut up, dude. Shut up. I know what I should do, but I don't. Okay? <laughs> Not bringing Kodai for South Freeze? This guy chipping away at me, bro. I can't even tell you what direction is north or south. Okay, guy. Yeah. Squad back in the day always had two peeps. So I think one of two peeps range. This is one of those BP users. Right now, we could probably send four blowpipe users and get through Zarpus. Really no problem. To be honest, if you're just like stepping in the right squares and shit, like it's not that bad. Like it's... It's an efficiency thing for sure. Like if you're speed running waves, you know, you don't want people like ranging. But the idea of like we just have to get through this kill, which is literally the only thing when you're learning theater of blood in any way, shape, or form. It's like we just gotta get through this kill. If I'm bringing somebody who's low KC in any way, it's it's kind of I'm also kind of that guy still. 
I just want to get the kill. Like, I don't care if it was like, oh, it took like five minutes longer because we ranged. And, I don't give a fuck. It's definitely like, we just you want to learn the boss and get better at it. Eventually, you'd be like, oh, this would be simple if I just scythed it. And then you would get good at scything. And I'm like, yeah, just send it. You, There's always a, a learning curve to every boss, right? And that's Theater of Blood. Kind of has a fairly thick learning curve, but honestly, not even that bad. Especially if the rest of the team's doing well. Like, you can be fairly beans at some of the stuff. If you're beans at bloat, everybody dies, but... Uh, Papa, move over. He just posted a, a hard mode theater of blood bloat wipe the other day that looked like I was part of that team. I was not. Like, even some of the best players, you just, you know, you fuck up, to be fair. So I think, okay, that kind of goes back to what I was saying before. Is like, one of the biggest things is if you have people that are like, oh, I'll bring learners, and then they're just a fucking asshole to you about messing up, that's not going to make you want to do theater of blood. It's not going to make you get better at it. Like, you just, you're just going to feel bad about it. That's stupid. I do feel like those are the minority of people, but that's just because I haven't had to deal with randoms as much. Apparently, there's a lot of them in Theater of Blood, but you won't get that around here. If you do, I will call that person out. If we're in the middle of a raid where someone starts acting like an asshole to you, I'll, I'll be the first guy to step up and tell them, like, hey, man, you're allowed to suck at the content. Like, what the fuck? Cheers, boys. Have you met up with the ham is holy? Ham is holy. I don't know if I've seen Ham is holy. I don't know if I know them. Hard to find someone who's willing to take learners. That's kind of the main thing I've learned, or I've heard about, I should say. I'm an iPod boys. Apparently, Theater of Blood, a lot of it's about how it started. Theater of Blood was definitely the most, just by mechanics, the most gate-kept, like, gatekeeping content, like, just because of how hard it was at first. And then players who got good enough to do it, some of them naturally acted like they should kind of gatekeep people and be like, you're better than somebody else because you're good at it. I'm like, that's fucking pretty stupid, though. I don't know. Unless this is like the last day that you ever get to do theater of blood, why does it matter if you fuck up sometimes? Don't know, Tom. Know your place, dude. Not the know your place. Where is that guy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What top is happening? I'll refresh my eyes some guys. Yes, I gotta I gotta send more Tobersons. I got a lot of content to make to be fair, so I say I gotta send inserts any content here. I say that a, a lot. Oh I get the hiccups coming in hot, hold on. <laughs> The more I stream, the more content I can do. I will say, um, in terms of content that I'm not just like, okay. There's definitely content that I want to do more than other content. And there's content that I know I need to work on for videos and stuff. I'm not going to pretend like I do, like, uh, floods worse. And, like, I'm not working on that zombie axe account just because I think it's cool. Like, clearly that's for a video. <laughs> I'm not going to. Oh no, I just kind of like to do, like, oh no, I'm trying to make a video out of it, that's part of it. In terms of just what I would like to do, yo, prop, prop range, prop range, Kyle Chara. In terms of content I would like to do, um, Theater Blood probably number one. Coliseum's still very high up there right now. Uh, if I only streamed content that I want to make gains on, like purely what I would like my account to further progress on, I would be doing Theater of Blood right now. Is, is probably the, is probably the answer. I'm just saying. And not that I don't want to make gains on Next. I do think Next is cooler for team content because it's not limited to five and it's simpler to learn. And if somebody dies at the end of Next, it doesn't matter. Whereas if if one of your teammates dies at part two. Verzik, you could wipe the whole raid, and I think this, they're completely different pieces of content and have an extremely large amount of variables you could uh, compare. In terms of just what I'm most interested in making progress for on my account, uh, Theater Blood currently is number one. experience was looking at Casey and Tom so I experience the raid it helps if you are yeah like having an inferno cave right like little things that people okay 
I can't pretend like I've never had some sort of requirement to join us. Every time somebody says, can I join next? I'm like, you better have a thing. You know, there's little things like that. You see a more extreme version of that if you're trying to join Theater of Blood. People would be like, so is your mother a fucking MILF? Like, yeah, I don't know. Call Sam seems compared to the Fernal in terms of how fast a run is. Uh, from my experience, which I I guess is I actually have a pretty good don't don't laugh at my MILF statement, that's not it's, it's, You'll make me say it again, dude. My experience from having one KC main game on both Coliseum and Inferno is everything that makes the Inferno difficult is also in the Coliseum, except for the fact that the Inferno is so many waves, you'll run out of super restores. Literally, the thing that makes the Inferno difficult is the endurance, getting through all those waves without using so many prayer points. Everything else about the Coliseum is technically harder, just like clicks wise and a little like the invocations and stuff. That being said, if I didn't have either of them, but I had the information that I had right now and I was starting a brand new account, there is a 99.9% .9 chance I would get my quiver before my Inferno cave. Even though I consider the Coliseum technically harder. No cap a nightbot, shut the fuck up. Who's access to Inferno Max Cape, Quiver Max Cape, when Sailing comes out? I wouldn't say worried. If anything, I'm kind of excited. I put nervous up there with worried. You know what I mean? So, I don't. I think nervous is a bit of an overstatement because it's not actually anything on the line. But here's something that I've never been able to really do, okay? Think about this for a sec. This will be the first time in my RuneScape career that, like, I'm going to start with this in an analogy. I'm going to start with this with an analogy. Imagine if somehow I was the first one to get to log into sailing when, like, log into RuneScape when sailing comes out and I got one XP in sailing and nobody else had XP in sailing. Because I'm maxed, like, we all know that that means I would be number one on the RuneScape high scores in that moment, right? Now, there's not going to be some bug that lets me log in first. But just based off the idea of that, like, think about... There has never, ever, ever been a moment for my RuneScape gains... Compared to when Sailing's about to come out... Where I have any sort of opportunity... Probably not be number one. First of all, Solo Mission's going to do better than me on Sailing. He's a monster. There will be others that do better, but he's currently my... Um prediction for who will 99 the skill first or be like be ahead on the skill that being said without a doubt like think about when sailing comes out somebody's max and i wasn't maxed or like i didn't start osrs right when it came out i didn't start rs2 old, or like classic old school i was never tied for first when the servers go down when sailing's coming out when the servers go down and we can't log in for an hour or so I will actually be tied for first place in old school RuneScape with a bunch of other maxed players. I'm not going to deny that it's going to be still very difficult, but just, just technically, when you think about this, without a doubt, the best chance I've ever had to be as high of a rank as possible in old school RuneScape, 100% will be the moment sailing comes out. That's... That's the part that makes me think the most. I'm like, I gotta go fucking ape shit on sailing. That'd be so cool. Oh my god. What if I got? I probably wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not an idiot. I understand how many good players there are out there. But what if I got front page in all of RuneScape? I'd have to be top 25 in sailing. You could probably name 25 players that'll be ahead of me. <laughs> Solo mission 25 times. Our Lord and Savior Bodhi. Alfie, Mr. No Sleep, Donnie Bolts. Wait, what? You never know, though. You never know. Even if I was top 100, I've never been top 100 in Rune's game. I never had a chance. That alone is cool enough for me that, like, I, I'm gonna go ape shit on sailing. Plus, it's the first time I've gotten to mess around with a new skill since. I think Dungeoneering. 
Uh, I did Divination when it came out. Just a little bit. Well, if you look at my R3 account, I think I have like 85 Divination. A little bit. It's only like a couple weeks worth. It's an easy skill. To leave character near wherever the starting area is. Yeah, that's right. And immediately get front page. That's true. That's true. GG's boys. Oh, what up, Veritas? Welcome back in. Yo, cheers, cheers. Oh, I'm almost out of chase. It wasn't even a skill in release. You're not wrong. <laughs> My AFK gains are crazy. You're not wrong, dude. One a couple hours and you're not even something. Yeah, oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. Is even if like if I'm ranked like 200, I'd probably shit myself. Veritas, welcome in, brother. We've been doing well tonight. We did get what did we get? Same guy. 24 mentality got a Torva full helm and the pet tonight, dude. 495th person with 99 divination. Very nice. It's not bad, dude. Top 500 is ridiculous. For how many people are doing it? I would say, I think currently, Jay, oh no, this is rough cough. I think Jay and I in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate double seams, um, this is hard to prove, so it's easy to be confident about it, but I would say we, in, in all of the world, we're definitely top 500 teams. i put us top 200. Oh, I'd put us top 100, to be honest. Pros, pro players who don't play 2v2, if they happen to just like, oh, there's a 2v2 event at the 1v1 tournament I'm going to, and they don't run the events at the same time so that you can play in both, they'll randomly join that event, and those guys could beat us even though they're not a 2s team. So in just in terms of 2s teams that specifically practice the game, I would put Jay and I in top 50. I'm not even kidding. It sounds absurd. In terms of pro 1v1 players that could just make up a team and beat us up, I would put us top 150 instead. The Falcon, the infinite, the Bowser side being the Falco laser. I see, I see. The infinites never end up being a good strat, though, honestly. Looking for one situation for it's kind of like having a good zero to death in dubs. Like, it's dubs. So you gotta get what? You gotta get down to a 2v1 before that works. There's a lot of characters with good 2v1 combos you can't get out of, you know what I mean? Even like Mario Luigi can combo you off the top pretty easy. The true combo. The strats for swagging on people? Well, I'm out here making strats, dude. You're out here swagging on people, maybe. Hypothetically. I'm out here winning tournaments soon. The lag mentality. Ow! Dude, no way. Dude, you got bonered. Do nasty combo too. I feel like they they nerfed it a little bit with the up throw. There. Pretty sure they nerfed it so it won't auto kill. I just wanted to say there, like Snake does. <laughs> to be honest with you, I was just happy to go there. <laughs> yeah, I know about. I know. I know the combo around. But they nerfed it. You can talk about sauce all you want. It's not an actual good combo. I'm talking about being top 100 plus in the world, and you're talking about sauce that won't work in a competitive situation. You know what I mean? We are built different, okay, guy? To be fair, go even saucier than sauce because of DK's cargo throw. You get some gross combos out of that. But if they're not viable, competitive dubs, then it gives a fuck unless you're, you know, content creator just trying to make clips. But even then, how many times can you do the same combo before people don't care about that clip?
And you think about combos in a uh, more. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not reasonable. Applicable? It's not quite the word. You think of them in a more like kind of reasonable, applicable sense that like you need to actually be able to pull it off enough times to win a tournament. Even if you do it once in a tournament, but you still lose, it gives a shit. Ah. Not even 69 bolts. Ultimate is that many combos. Ultimate combos are not as true, but like to say it has not as many combos is an absolute lack of knowledge. Especially when I'm currently talking about dubs and so are you. I has got a fuck ton of actual combos, dude. Lost, bro. Don't do that. I mean, the melee has more? Okay, dude. I also am stuck in 2001. You sound like somebody who would lose to Jay and I right now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'll hit Jay up, dude. I'll do it right now, dude. Hold on. I'll get Jay in chat. I'll be a dick about it. No combos. Sounds like somebody who only watches me on next Saturday instead of our Super Smash Bros. Thursday. I'll be fair, Javier, I am talking shit as well, and you show up literally every fucking YouTube stream on Saturday, and I'm suddenly talking shit about you not being there when I'm not on YouTube stream. Totally just talking shit. On Thursday, we only stream the doubles tournament on Twitch, and you literally are here every Saturday. I'm just, I am clearly just shit talking as well. To be fair, that being said, I'm gonna hold my drop. All right, oh yeah, chill. Jesus, I got a little intense. I got a little intense, dude. I was ready to fuck him up, dude. You want DK Dittos right now? I'm not even that good at DK. I don't know why I said DK. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that. Wait a minute. Makes you talk about Saturday YouTube vlogs, dude. No, I appreciate you guys that get to join in on the Saturday strum, because I'm sure that there are... There have been homies who talked about the Saturday stream and how they get a chance to tune in. I'm sure there's people that have also not even brought up that are like, I would watch every stream if it was always on YouTube, but... I've done it in the past, not a YouTube stream, but with uploading videos and doing content on YouTube that isn't OSRS related. Because people subscribe to the OSRS content, it gets significantly... Worst amount of traction and ends up fucking up the other things. So when it comes to live streaming video games that aren't old school RuneScape, those will always happen on the Twitch side of things. You know, dragon arrows, broski? I got 3,600 dragon arrows. Thank you for the heads up, though. Good looking out, but I'm good. Giveaway marbles right here, right now. We could send some soon. We're gonna have a thick next night, though. Best way to win a giveaway is just to be fucking part of next night, to be honest. Shoo. Cheers, boys. Oh, that's right. The chase. Hold up. Oops. 
What happened to Zach earlier? Remember when he was like, oh, I'm gonna join in. Coming in hot, I'm next, and then we never saw him. Cheers, boys. I'm going to go check out some highlights of the last tournament as well. We played some really solid teams recently. Sorry, I got a fucking a, a notification on my phone that I had to check. It's nothing. It's just my mom. Shut up. I'm just kidding. I would have answered if it was my mom. Don't pog me, Nightbot. We played a lot of the better teams in the tournament recently. For those who've been there, for some of the chornies, you may recognize some of these names. Uh, if not, no worries. It's okay. Two of the teams that have been winning this tournament recently would be Raul and Vexel. That's the name of the two teammates. And the other two would be KXK and Rave. So there's four people that I named. Remember, it's teams of two. So Raul and Vexel, that's a team. And then KXK and Rave, that's a different team. KXK and Rave, uh, they've won a lot. They won this recent Thursday and the Thursday before. Raul and Vexel, we've seen them beat those two, but also win when they didn't have to play those two. We did not get to play. We've never played KXK and Rave. We've not been lined up against them. The one and only time that we got to play Raul and Vexel, we lost to them 3-1. to one, And here's how it went down. Game 1, got our ass kicked. Game 2, close game, but we lost. Game 3, we won. Game 4, Dak made a, a pretty fucking shitty play, and we probably could have brought him to Game 5. That's a team that wins that tournament often. The first time we played them, we had them. So, I want to see some of these better teams more often, dude. Please. The McCurry skills that I honed back in 99 make it to the top. You can fuck with a lot of people with a good old sucking cuck. I think Kirby's considered low tier in a way, like... Going to a super major 1v1s tournament, you're just gonna you're gonna play. She doesn't have enough winning matchups to matter that. You'll play players that are too good for for that. 2v2s are a whole different scenario. Cheers, boys. Switching the gun to rear, and I was gonna come through after. Okay, guy. Are you trying to smash right now? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, dude. I'll pull out my link. I mean my dick. No, I mean my link. I'm, I had it right the first time. Shit. Can't repack this bowl in here right now. Okay, I know that you play link and it's not the same as... Please tell me they put friendly fire on these doubles matches. Yeah, like, like uh, friendly fire on being you can hit your opponent, yes? Friendly fire, it's I guess I, it's called team attack technically, but yeah. When we play people that team attack is off slash friendly fire is off, we really complain about it. Cause you can, if you play team attack off, friendly fire off, where you can't hit your your teammate, where you cannot hit your own teammate, just play Samus and charge shot the whole time, bro. I'm a game and watch main, neutral B, bro, bacon. It, there's so many broken moves with team attack off. It's stupid. Yeah, it takes away the skill 100%. It pisses me off when we play arenas with team attack off. Even if we cheese for the win too, it's it's cheese. It's it's straight up cheese. Let's be honest. I 
I mean, it fucked with me early on, being scared of hitting my teammate, but I wasn't very good at Smash for a long time. I don't really, I played, I, I owned Smash 64 when it was the only game as a kid. That was my shit. Oops. Sorry. I hope that was an ear rape when I dropped the cap there. Uh, I didn't really get a, a chance to play like Smash Melee Brawl or Smash 4 very much. Like I have played those three games, but I, I didn't own them myself. And I just got to play them like sometimes if I was at a friend's house or something. I played in a Smash 4 tournament in college that we did pretty fucking well. I hit a double 9 as Game & Watch. Like I threw out one hammer that hit a 9 on both. It was a 2v2 tournament. It hit both. Oh! Anyways. Even when I started Smash Ultimate, I was still... I didn't understand a lot of very basic mechanics in the game. And the only reason I'm good at it now is because I have a lot of hours in the game. And uh, it could be a lot better, to be fair. That being said, when, I, when Jay and I first started playing Team Attack, like on, Friendly Fire on, um, doubles, it, it freaked me out a little bit. Like, kind of the idea, like, if I throw out a hammer, like hit a 9, kills my teammate. Oh, uh, shit. But... I hate when we play somebody else and that's not the case. Uh, are we iPods? Are we fives? I'm gonna iPods, what's up? Well, the first time since Sora came out, my highest rating Elite Smash is 14. Only patient was like 6 mil before. It was not 6 mil when Sora came out. You definitely are not remembering it quite right. It was never 6 mil even when I started, and Sora's the last DLC, bro. I started right around the time Joker came out. And 6 mil was not Elite Smash then. You just got, you just remember the number wrong for sure. Cheers, boys. When I first reached Elite Smash, it was like 10 mil, and it was, it was almost at Sora at that point. Who knows, 6 mil is like the beginning of the game. In 2022, 2020 April, yeah, I played before pandemic, and there's six mil was never a lead smash. No, you can inflate your number all you want, bro, but none of that means shit, dude. Haven't even played in a while. You're trying to talk shit about inflation out here. I see you. You, even, you don't know fuck, and you're still talking about fuck, dude. I could send you to the blast zone at least once right now. I was going to sound so much more confident until I said at least once. Hold on. I can't. Shut up. Just shut the fuck up, dude. I'm sorry. Hold on. That was a stupid dude. Hold on, dude. I could, but that was just the worst, dude. I tried to shoulder up and I had a boner, dude. I don't even know it. Let's try to join Rise as Casey. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Oh man, I thought about some potential smash in today's strum, but we'd have to end the next early to get smashed with Jay. And then I thought about this could be a good strum to send some of that Switch Sports Golf, dude. But if I did either of those things, we won't be streaming on YT anymore. Once next ends, the YouTube stream will end. We'll still be here on the Twitch side, but likely next will be the end of the night. Oh my god. Wait, why'd she come back? I could beat Jazz to switch sports golf right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie though. You give me. So let's see. When you play online, it's two, two, and one. Even if you lose, you at least two rounds. Give me six holes, dude. I get an eagle right now, dude. I'm talking shit. I haven't played in a while, but realistically, yeah, I'm a hundred percent certain. 
that anybody that is currently in my chat that owns Switch Sports, I will beat you in Switch Sports Golf right now, just off the cusp. I'm 100% sure. Though it will require somebody to be that confident to beat me for me to just leave next, I guess, and it makes it easier to be confident. But, like, I'm, I know. I'm just sorry, dude. I'll do it soon if I have to, dude. Look at that hole in one, dude. I'll go give the link over to the YouTube site as well. I'm a chip god, dude. You don't understand. You really don't understand, so you get a chance to watch it. And the only time I play Switch Sports tends to be very late in a 24. Earlier this week, I thought today's stream would be a 24, but too many other things went down and not enough videos came out. I could send like a midnight Switch Sports, though. I could send the hiccups if I don't breathe enough. Hold up, I'm dying. Too much talking shit, I'm dying over here like, My Smash Bros will beat your Switch Sports! Like, which game, Dak? You seem to be confident at everything. Uh, I probably won't beat you in PvP of RuneScape of all things. I'm not actually that good at it. I'm alright. Depends. I mean, it depends who I talk to. I tell Jay that I would beat him in PvP all the time because he doesn't play RuneScape anymore. <laughs> he used to, but clearly I'd beat him right now. Oh, I give him shit all the time, dude. What was the pet? I have the pet, actually. Uh, very recently, just two weeks ago, I got it. Fucking bump. But I do not have the Ancient Hilt. And I'll still do this after I green log, to be fair. It's fun to grind necks with the homies, get some GPs, teach people schnacks. So I'll continue to do necks after the green log. But when it, when it comes to what items I need, I, I do need Ancient Hilt. Ancient Hilt. I'd be okay with waiting on that. If I got like a Torva piece instead of an Ancient Hilt right now, I'd be very happy. That'd be fine by me. So that it runs behind you. So sick that it runs. There is, uh, I think it's the, um, fuck, dude. Baba, the the monkey pet from Tombs of Masket. If you get the Tombs of Masket pet and you get the transmog, he will also run with you. I couldn't get there, dude. I couldn't remember Baba. I want to say Mama because I love my mom. Love you, mom. Yeah, it's pretty sick, dude. GG's, boys. Hit the mic much? Ah. You know who did get the pet today, though? 24 mentality, dude. The man, the myth, the legend. Also, the only other item we saw today, we saw a pet and a Torva full helm. They both went to the 24 mentality, bruh. Time, fellas. Time to show off my Mr. Game and Watch. <sighs> I can't give the same confidence I did. No worries, no worries, brother. Uh, when you took it from me, you didn't actually extend mine there, so all you did was fuck yourself over, which is not, I guess, great, but no worries. Literally. Even if you did technically give me the cough for longer, I've been okay about it, but honestly, in that one, it literally zero tick longer that I have the cough from what you just did, so I couldn't even, I couldn't even talk shit if I wanted to. You good, bro. What? Is 24 the winning mentality? Yes, dude. It is, though. That's right. That's why 24 mentality at the... <gasps> Where's the X-Files music? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know when I got my hole-in-one? x one hole, that clip? You know that hole-in-one clip? You know when it happened? During a 24-hour stream where I had the 24 mentality. Just saying. Cheers, boys. I do kind of want to send some Switch Sports tonight. But since it's not a 24, I don't want to start at like, see super late. It's only 11 right now. We go like a midnight Nexinator. Oops. I like standing up and gaming as well. I like talking shit. Wow, I like when my headphones are dying. I have the charger here. Oops. We'll be fine. They just beeped. That means why I brought that up. You guys can't hear it beep. 
It doesn't play it, which would be really shitty if it did. If it played the beep, it's kind of like think about when a Pokemon is evolving and it goes like, and then dum 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 dum. But the very first sound when the ball shakes is like, that's that's the sound my headphones make when they're dying, and it's made it like five times since I started talking about this. Like they're just going off right now. Dude, switch sports. My my bowling's not that bad either, but dude, I'm I'm fucking telling you, dude, switch sports golf. I thought about like I'm uh, just switch sports golf's not like we golf, like you know we golf the hype and died down enough. But it's not as you know not as many people have the game. I'm like I I'd be willing. I'd bet I'd bet lots of GPS. I'd be like anybody who beats me, I like, use use some GPS. Like you ain't gonna beat me, dude. Fucking disgusting. The first time Jay and I, when we got Switch Sports and we played Switch Sports Golf, we had a pretty close match. And then, I don't think he had played it a single time until the next time I asked him, like, you want to play again? And I had just been streaming Switch Sports Golf. I remember just being so far ahead of him. He's like, what? Are you, you just been playing this game all day? I'm like, no, dude, I've, I've mastered this game. Like, I'm telling you. All right, here's what it is, though. I'm not, I'm not a mass rank, but I'm not actually master, to be fair. There's still people better than me. Uh, my drives... Pretty good. Above average drives. Chip game, absolute god. I am a chip god. Okay? I exist for the chip. And then my putt game, unfortunately, is pretty bad. I'm a bit of a... a bit of a happy Gilmore on those putts sometimes. I got a really good putt clip one time on, like, an accidental <laughs> overshot that happened to go in. Ah, uh, dude, runes? Who needs rune crafting? We have next. Happy to learn the pot, though. I've had some better pots. It's funny, you know, I'm, I'm mid-movie, though. It's kind of what it is. Kind of. I've had good and bad. I really got to lock in, and I tell you what. Uh, I tell you what, and I should really take what I'm about to say to heart even more than you should. Um, I can't remember the terminology. When, when you're putting, like, towards the hill, I undercut it. It always, it curves more towards the hill than I think it's going to every single fucking time. Without a doubt, I'd be better at my putt if I would if I would push further uphill, and and like when I've gone to the point where I'm like uncomfortable, I'm like ah, this is too far uphill. That's when I make it. I'm like I need to I need to go uncomfortable. I need to know that, and I just it's hard. It's hard to send it when you're uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Do for a few kills. Good luck. You hope he's out. No, he won't. He's out. He's out. I think my name at 4K KC and send some Switch Sports tonight, boys. You know, there's 6KC at the moment, fellas. I'm at Right, soon, soon, sleepy. Maybe another trip. You gotta get a drop right now. If you don't get a drop in your name, then you didn't get a drop in your name. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, dude. Yeah, that's how it works, Doc. <laughs> okay, guy. Oop. 
Not great at the bowling, but I love it. Bowling's a lot of fun. Bowling's my second best. Ah, uh, what are the seven now? There's also a lot of them are the same. Who's potting up? What the fuck? I guess I'll say I pot. Who clicked a pot before I said I pot? Now everyone's going. What in the fuck? Tennis, badminton, volleyball are all kind of the same thing mechanically. What else is there? Soccer. Shambara is a weird one. Shambara is a tough one. What else is there? They, I can't believe they don't have Switch Sports Baseball. Can't believe they don't have Switch Sports Baseball. Cheers, boys. Drops. Exclamation point today, Parker. That I pop for like, dude, that was fucking shady, bro. She's like a mod and everything. She's a regular. It's not like. <clears throat> it's like the first time I ever bossed with Shady. Not even the first time I ever did Next with Shady. He just hadn't been here since we were doing like Team Next and did the iPod. And definitely just kind of was like, oh, once you say iPod, people go. I'm like, no, Shady as the leader, I'm doing that. Like, stop, dude. What are you doing? In the pet, yo, mentality, the beast, dude. Pet and helm, dude, he's carrying right now. The most money I ever got on uh, a next split was a three-man horn. It was within the first couple days that Nex was out. So it was in mass worlds where three of us happened to be. Like, if we get a drop, we'll split it. It wasn't a three-man kill. It was a mass world kill. And Shady got that horn drop. It sold for 600 mil. We got 200 apiece. That was one of your hauls for a little while. Shady be like that sometimes. Shady... Shady will get locked in when he's, uh, I don't know when he's locked in, but like, he's not always paying attention, I guess. He also, I don't know why he pulled off, like, he, Shady a couple weeks after that, when we had a chance to do some next, he was like, can I join it next? Like, hell yeah, man, you can always join it next. And he showed up, and he's like, I don't have enough super restores. And I told him, like, if you just, like, it doesn't take that long to get the KC you just got. If you just go buy some super stores, come back, you'll be good to go. And he stood around for, like, 30 minutes asking if people had enough super stores for him. And eventually, I was like, I guess I'll just go Duke. I'm not going to be up long enough to matter. And then did Duke for, like, two hours. And while he was just doing Duke, we got a split without him. Like, dude, if you just fucking went to the GE and bought super stores. I don't know. Shady's been a little weird lately on the gains. He's been starting to lean kind of like if it's not going perfectly for him, it's not worth it. And it's like, dude, you got to be part of the team gains, dude. He kind of did a lot of that originally. I remember Shady one time when he was doing like Mass Worlds and he got a drop by himself and sold an expensive drop. Oh, I went to the wrong guy. I didn't even notice. He sold an expensive drop and I remember him being like, this is why I do like solos or like free-for-alls is to make this much money. And then like two days later when we got a split where he wasn't there, he's like, man, I wish I was part of that split to make the money. I was like, Shady, how are you going to act like you can have it both ways, dude? What are you doing, bro? How are you going to be like, this is why I solo. And then when the team that you would join, if you actually did team gains, makes money, you're like, man, I wish I was part of the team. Like, you're only there for maximum money. You don't give a fuck about the team gains. And it got a little weird. I'm not going to lie. So I feel like Shady enjoys the solo content more than the team content. That's kind of why you, he hit, like, the eye pop before everyone was ready. Like, he definitely didn't team content as well. Bit of a Christofferson gains. This but I got this the double drop, dude. Getting the drop and the double drop. Oh yeah, that's Jay Murphy and the e surgeon wasn't it. There's too many. Double drop was very nice. My two biggest drops from next were both horns. One when it was like six hundred mil, it was a three man. One when it was like four twelve, also was a three man. But I don't know, Shady, he's been a homie, but when it comes to the splits, he definitely has given off more of a selfish vibe of, like, depends, like, how much money he made and the gains he made. A little bit more than just, like, making gains with homies. It really did get me the time that he had gotten a solo drop, and when he said, like, this is why I do, like, free-for-all. 
And I was like, oh, so you only care about, like, he was streaming it. Like, I understand he was pumped, but it still kind of came across as like, oh, so you're just here just to make the most money as possible. And then when we made money without him, he's like, oh, man, I wish I was there for that money. I was like, well, dude, which is it, man? Come on. That's kind of ridiculous. Not very team-like mentality. For sure. Jeez. Oh no. Thought we were Jover. GG's. Oh, key guy. Key shards so you can waste your keys on next. There's no way homie was hanging out earlier being like. This opened up with saying ecumenical keys are like the goat or something like that. I was like, yeah, they're not really worth at next. And then just trying to explain how his specific situation made them worth at next. And the more he narrowed it down to try to make it sound like they were worth, the more it sounded like they're not the goat. They just happen to be good for you. And the more I explained how that's just not good advice, he just kept doubling down. And then eventually when the rest of us agreed, he just didn't say anything ever again. What the fuck, dude? Why give your opinion on something if you don't want people to ever disagree with you? You're like, I would never use keys on next and then just be like, oh, here's my specific fucking situation no one would ever also have. I only have five minutes to do next today. I might as well use a key. None of this makes sense! Double down, dude. Triple down. Quadruple down. Cheers, boys. That one killed me. I don't remember who it was, but it killed me, man. You need to realize that if the reason that you're doing the content is for your very specific situation, that most other people won't think it's worth it. It's almost down with the sickness. I was just try to do the ooh, ah, 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 ah at the beginning of the song, but we're not playing rock band. I thought about streaming rock band or Guitar Hero. I used to play, I, uh, yeah, I, I have a Guitar Hero 2 guitar within a few feet from me in the back of the room. I ha There's got to be a good emulator I could stream and mess around with it, but I have seen how good people are at Guitar Hero. <laughs> I'm like, I could play songs an expert. So like if I was just if I happen to room with like three different people like three random roommates and they pulled out guitar here This happened to me is why it's a good example I was rooming with Jay and three other people that were like, oh, we got this like the Wii version of guitar hero They were like we haven't played this in a while and it turns out I was very good at it when I played it So I just fucking beat the shit out of them like then I would look good if you just look at people that have knocked out very high level guitar hero stuff like they People have gone crazy guitar hero dude like I oh my god GG's got hit by that. And hit with everything. I didn't stand under long enough.
Put up house later, dude. Shit happens. Then she just prisoned you later, dude. It's over. The armor task worth of Echo Keys from this place. It's not too bad. The Echo Keys you get from here are pretty, uh. You should give me more key shards. If there's anywhere that I would use them, would be Arma for sure. That fucking Echo Keys of the Goat at Next comment killed me earlier. Like, oh, I only have. Sometimes I have minutes to work with during the week, so I have to use a key. You imagine only having minutes to play RuneScape and, and being like, I should probably do Next. And thinking that people would agree with how well balanced that is. These are goaded though. They're very nice when they're useful. At Nex, 0% useful. Do not use them at Nex. Oops. Come on. Shpeckies for garbage. Gotta be careful running while you're the target. She's gonna chase you. GG's. The two blood essence. Wow, I've gotten four blood essence tonight. I've gotten like 9% of my total blood ess essence in the last 3,000 kills just tonight off of two drops. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, the passive keys are nice. Using them anywhere other than Sarah and Arma just seems like a fucking waste to me, though. Act like it took you less time to get the keys from next than it did to go actually get KC at next would be ridiculous, which is not what you're doing, Lady Surgeon. To be fair. Thank you next, Kyle Charles. GG's. Thank you for next. Thank you for next, dude. I didn't hear no bell. Uh, I got about four KC left, boys, before I'm going to send some Switch Sports Golf at 39.96 KC. Easy me. We had Doge on cam. Oh, you can kind of tell. You can you can kind of tell there's a dog there. She's not quite the void. All right, dude. All right. It is me. It is me. Yeah. Oh, oh, who are you? Can you come here? You run away if I gotta pick you up. In the couch over there. Come on. Oh, well, there's another dog. Trust me. Guys, I am going to do all these at the same time, dude. Big drop on 4K, dude. Double plate drop on 4K KC. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be all right, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I mean, whatever, dude. <laughs> no shot, bro. Okay. Oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you have no friends. Hey, KC to go today, you know you. Okay, guy. Lust for racks over here. This guy sounds like me. What?
cute, boys. We down to four for? I only think OSRS streamers have. What does that even mean, dude? You're trying to be some. The first time you've ever chatted in my chat, you're trying to be like some doomsayer. How long do you think the streamers have before what? We can't stream anymore? How about hi? How about hey, man? How's the stream been going? How about anything that human beings would normally say to each other to start a conversation? What do you mean, dude? Are you asking how long I have to live? Did you just threaten my life? Did you actually just tell me that you're going to come over here and kill me? I'm pretty sure you did. Basically, you told me that whatever number I say you think is less because you're going to come over here and end it. No, I'm just kidding, bro. Stream's going all right. We only got a pet and a tour, but hell, what the fuck? Cheers, boys. Ah. I had a 69 in that spec, so I think I'm gonna go to bed right now, to be honest. This is where my OS rest stream ends. Nah, but for real. Nah, but for real. Like, what is that supposed to mean? You could hit me with a knob, but for real, but you didn't answer my question. What are you even asking? Ask a full question, bro. Ask a question that doesn't end with the answer as long as the game exists. No, but seriously, ask a question that doesn't end with that answer. I'll wait for it. Game lasts forever, so then OS stress streamers last forever. Whew. That was a tough one to get to for me. Honestly, it made me nervous even trying to answer it in the first place. My heart rate through the roof. I feel like I, we're about to enter a Super Smash Bros. tournament. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just playing, I'm playing. I'm being a fucking bean right now, to be fair. I'm being an absolute bean. Raw, uncooked bean. Not even too bad, you know. You need me to survive in some ways, but you don't want to hang out with me. It's kind of what. <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that mean, Bean? Oop. Come back. Sounds good. Sounds good, bro. Be easier for us to get the uh, multi kill trip. I gotta get to that 4K KC, boys. Player is old, what I mean. It was back to so, like, will the game then die? Like, this is still, it doesn't. I understand what you're saying. You're saying literally the same thing that exists with every other video game that has ever been released, ever. That people who currently play it one day won't exist. Even before they don't exist, they probably just won't play the game anymore, to be fair. They don't have to die to stop playing it. I made it very morbid there, but like... So how long will the streamers stream it? As long as people are playing it. Like, this is how it works. I don't know what else kind of answer you would want from that. A specific date? March 28th, 2045. My birthday is March 28th, for those who are wondering why I picked that. 2045 just happens to be the number that came out of my mouth. That'd be 21 years from now. Fuck, it's not enough time. Uh oh. Are we steady spaghettis? We're steady spaghettis. We good? Just gotta get through this.
Choose the AI streamers by then. There's already AI streamers. Who would fucking you not been on YouTube in a while, man? Somebody doesn't follow Quebble Cop. <laughs> I don't. Quebble Cop was a Minecraft streamer that now makes purely AI content, though. That's the main reason I know about him. Which is wild, because I played so much Minecraft and then didn't watch Quebble Cop. That's actually, like, I'll admit that's kind of wild that I wasn't into Quebble Cop, because I was playing a lot of Minecraft around the time that he was hype at Minecraft. Have seen it, but no one watches it. Yeah, does that change what you just said? Crazy how you change your point depending on the question. Would a 35 year old watch streamers is the question? Well, one of my group Iron Man teammates who hangs out on my stream when he gets a chance, to be fair, we haven't seen Minion Kayla tonight, but I'm not gonna give him shit for not being here tonight. I'm pretty sure he's older than 35. And I'm also not trying to call him out, but I, I know the first time I learned how much older he was than me, it was like a decade, and I'm 28. No, you're still not making a single fucking point, is what I'm getting at. You like to just throw numbers out there, and I don't know, is it, are you trying to say it's like, what, childish or immature, or people when they grow up won't watch streams anymore? Or are you going to actually pay attention to how logistics work, and as long as there are people playing the game, there will be people that watch the game being played. What? Legitimately, though. Legitimately. As long as people are playing baseball, people will watch a baseball. As long as people are playing RuneScape, people would watch a RuneScape. This is how it works. How old was the R streamers? Like 80, right? Ah, uh, there was. I you might be talking about RS uh, Glory, Golden Glory, but there was this, there was a bit of a shitty story behind him getting like DDoS and shit, or docs rather. I'm pretty sure that didn't go well. Number to drop eventually, though? Yes, because RuneScape won't exist forever. Dude, you're just talking in a loop. You realize that one day there will never be RuneScape nor RuneScape streams again. There's no way RuneScape is going to outlast the sun. And one day the sun is going to fucking blow. Like, what are you trying to say, dude? You're not making any actual points. You're not making any actual points right now. Zero points are being made. Yeah, one day less people will watch RuneScape streams. Yeah, we've been a three since Blood Phase, brother. That's how well you're playing. You didn't even notice we were three, even during Ice Phase. I don't know, like, what else do you expect me to say? Yes, one day, less people will watch RuneScape streams. Of course, it's, it's how the world works. Nothing lasts forever. What What are you trying to say? What point is trying to be made here? Nothing. You're just explaining how the fucking world works. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest. And, like, re-asking the question. So will one day you'll stop jerking off to, to Pornhub? Yeah, because I'll be fucking dead. That's how the world works. People that currently do the things they do won't exist anymore. And the things that they currently do one day won't exist anymore. Earth one day won't exist anymore. That's probably the craziest point here. Point is I'm not a streamer, I'm a viewer. That's, you still haven't made a point. You literally didn't make a point while you said your point. You have not made a single fucking point. Nothing of what you said has have had any substance to any of us here. I'm gonna give you another shot to make a point, but you literally have made zero points. You're like a fucking circle, dude. You are a 360 degree champion, which is hard to do. You ever drawn a perfect circle? You start with the face and the details. I'm gonna try to SpongeBob meme this one, but I don't remember what SpongeBob said. Okay. I'm gonna still do it, dude. The game lasts a long time, at least 20, 30 years. The fact that old school RuneScape is still a thing is already proof that the game will last a long time because it has lasted a long time. Just straight up. Old school RuneScape been around forever. This has outlasted many, many games. Literally nothing lasts forever. The sun 
The big ball of fire in the sky that lights our planet will not last forever. So to try to be like, one day this will end, right, is not a profound statement. It'll last a while, but to be like, it'll end, right? Of course. Of course. Cheers, boys. I do truly believe that our Lord and Savior, Jeff Bezos, will be around forever, though. I, I gotta say, I think Jeff Bezos will exist in the year 3000. Maybe 3500. Yo, did you bring the fucking tray in here? That's right. I've been looking to pack a bowl for like an hour and didn't want to go get the tray required to pack the bowl. And my dad, of all people, came in with the fucking weed. If there's anything that I wish lasted even longer than the sun, it's my father, dude. Are you kidding me? You out here talking about RuneScape. I'm out here talking about family, okay, bro? Hey, thanks for the weed, bro. <laughs> He did. He actually, we get to, we get to talk a bowl now, boys. Cheers. That was, that was fucking phenomenal. Oops. Hi, I'm Beans. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to play some Switch Sports Golf. The trip after I get 4,000 KC. And I'm at 39.97. If you're only here for the OSRS content, that's okay, because one day it'll end. God, I wish Dak would shut up. <laughs> Switch Sports Golf's going to go crazy, to be fair. I'm 100% sure I'll beat all of you. Sec, no worries, no worries. We're chilling, we're chilling. Got a few more KC. We'll make sure everyone gets in on the trip. <laughs> Easty, dude. Where's Yu-Gi-Oh when I need him? I gotta hit up Blue. Not only do I want to be sending more Tombs of Mask in the group Iron Boy at the moment, but I want to send some of those pirates on the main. They're gonna be dead sooner than later. Nah, they won't be dead from PKers trying it. I want to anti-PK with Blue at the Zombie Pirates. I think would be insanely fun content. Can't even get a hole in one twice. All right. I haven't. You're right. But I can't. You're wrong. It's got to be a par three or lower. It won't happen on par four. Just mechanically. You can't just be strong enough. That's how it works. We threw our dotty bolts. That'd be a dream. Be a dream. We got to set some eight man toe. That's true. That's true. Um. Next Friday could be on that list because I highly doubt next Friday is going to be another Sea of Thieves night. It might be on the list. It might be on the list. Shut up, dude. Okay, guy. I'll tell you what. If one of you beats me in Switch Sports Golf, I will send an eight-man Toa right now. I will... I will not log off until we do an eight-man Toa, as long as one of you beats me at Switch Sports Golf. Just saying. How long is Switch Sports Golf gonna last? <laughs> God damn it. I don't know, dude. 
How long do we have enough energy to, to power the internet? Cheers, boys. Smith's shot to take out Dak. Dak. Um, I'm gonna hit an iPod, and I'm gonna say, hope I'm not missing anybody right now on this iPod. Uh, Dr. Camp a lot. Camp was the, he was the player who said enough shit about Switch Sports when I was like, yeah, I might get Switch Sports, and he kept saying, like, you should play Switch Sports. I kept like, dude, get the game. Get the game. I was like, yeah, I will get the game. Let's do it. And then I played some 1v1. I don't remember what, exactly how all of it went down. We fucked around a little bit. I would give him top credos for potential upset on Switch Sports Golf. Uh, you gotta find. You gotta go find somebody on the internet who's good at Switch Sports Golf. I would put myself right now in a top 1% Switch Sports Golf, and I haven't even played it in three months. And I'll fucking do that. I'll say it right now. I I would back that up currently. Go find your best friend who's good at Switch Sports Golf and fucking challenge me right now. I'm not fucking around. I've already told my next teammates that I'm going to go play Switch Sports Golf when I get 4,000 KC and we're at 3,997. I, I don't... Go find Jesus, dude. Jesus will be shivering in his fucking britches about my Switch Sports Golf gameplay right now. I'm not fucking with you. It's Jover. Except for the rounds that I don't do very well. Sometimes I choke. <laughs> Shut up, dude. It's tough. It's tough. Without a doubt, though. When I first got Switch Sports, I played a I played a bunch of games one night with Camp. Camp and I had a really solid night of gaming on that. Not just golf. Actually, golf was a, an extra add-on. I bet I don't think Camp and I have played golf, which is why I think Switch Sports might have baseball one day. Switch Sports came out with six games, six sports involved. Golf is the seventh. It was DLC, free DLC. They didn't even make you add on they just were like all right we're gonna add this i hope one day they do that with baseball that being said jay and i when i first got the game i was like jay let's play some golf we played nine holes and he beat me by a little bit it was pretty close and then i had a few bad holes in a row and just when it when it goes bad it goes bad in golf you know how it be and then we didn't play golf he didn't play any switch sports for a while scared oh i mean many months later i get the hiccups and i'm trying to survive him hold up you know how this ends i beat his ass literally unbeatable dude i've thought about i guess i should just put it on the table because it's kind of like if, if I add, if you add new content to old school RuneScape, you shouldn't feel bad as a developer when people are like, now I'm forced to do the new content. Like, no, like, if you want to do the new content, you want to do the new content, it's fine. I feel like if I actually put down a bounty of, like, if you beat me at a Switch Sports Golf deathmatch, I will give you 10 mil. I'd probably give you 100 mil, because you're not going to fucking beat me. That would also... It, People would be like, now I feel like I have to buy Switch Sports. Like, no, you don't. You can go make 100 mil by just, like, joining us at next night, to be fair. So I really shouldn't feel bad just because you feel forced to play Switch Sports Golf. If anything, I'm fucking... I'm, I should get a sponsorship. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, dude, Nintendo, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be in on that. But damn, dude. I'm telling you right now. I give you at least 10 mil, you beat me in Switch Sports Golf. There's no way. Because you fucking won't, dude. I'll give you my fucking... What's worth 100 mil? Uh, nothing in the game is worth exactly 100 mil, is it? I will buy your, your gold sink. Isn't the gold... The gold sink is the... That's the house item. That, does it cost exactly 100 mil to make it? No, because it's the 100 mil stack as well. Wait a minute. Bro, that... Dude. POH is crazy in RuneScape. The amount of gold sinks. Is this literally a gold sink? But then you can just make, like, the 100 mil stack. Bro, what? Bro, What? I don't even know what to bet anymore over my Switch Sports Golf. I would bet my life. I'm just... Okay, maybe not that much. But I, I still probably would beat you. But then I had to take your life, and I'm not really into that. I just want to beat you at Switch Sports Golf. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. The first chip that you see me take, you're going to be like, that was okay, because not every chip is good. But my average is going to beat you. <laughs> 
Dude, shut up. The stream is so much better on mute, fellas. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Dude. Who's stupid? What invocation do you do? Eight man toes? I haven't done any eight mans. Yo, Donnie Bolts? Yeah, I haven't have a screenshot or something. I know what I would set up, but I haven't sent an eight man yet. I would like to do them. Even though I keep trolling about not actually doing them, team. I, I would like to do them. And we could adjust it as well. The idea would be able to like take learners and get people get people good. You could get good with us, in other words, you know what I mean? Get good with the Ed Boys. That should be that should be the thumbnail of every stream. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why why wouldn't I put get good with the Ed Boys as the next thumbnail? Wait a minute. We definitely Oh oh my god, I just, I switched everything but the bow. I'm really beans right now. Hold on, here we go. That was really beans. Beans and a half. You haven't quite gotten to the eight? Alright. Um, Donnie Bolt getting up to six mans is more impressive than me getting like ten people at next. I stream next content, and at the moment we're dual streaming. We're live on YouTube as well as Twitch. And if I just spent the entire time just constantly saying, anybody who wants to join next, join next. Anybody want like just constantly get a new player, we can get more than six players. Donnie just like hitting up the the CC. Being like, you guys want a Toa? And he's getting six-man Toas. I don't think I've ever done a six-man Toa. The hit up Donnie. No, I, I, if I, uh, if I help out with trying to make sure we get the eight-man, I think not only could we get eight-man Toa, I, I'll say it right now. I will say it more confidently than I would beat any of you at Switch Sports Golf. 100%, I think we could get an eight-man team, rather a seven-man team, plus one of anybody who wants to get their combat achievement for the fucking speed run. We could be that good at it. We could send it. 100, 100%. 110%, dude. I fucking... You're more likely to beat me at Switch Sports Golf than us not being good enough at Tombs of Amaska. We just gotta send a few, dude. We just, we're like a beast, dude. We're beasts. Yeah, that being said, you're not gonna beat me at Switch Sports Golf, by the way. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You're not gonna... You think you, you think you got me? I don't even know who I'm talking to. I'm like looking in a mirror right now. Being... <laughs> dude. <laughs> this is how I wake up in the morning, dude. I look in the mirror... <laughs> you, you beat me at Switch Sports Golf. I'm <laughs> this is stupid as shit, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. You think you're the guy? You the fucking guy? You beat me at Switch Sports Golf? Check this out. I show my tattoo of a Switch Sports Golf ball on my chest. You want to estimate a man named Tom? You mean tell? You couldn't even tell what content it was. All right, it depends. It depends. I mean, it also depends on how much, what you consider success. If, in your opinion, if you hear Dak guarantees that he has seven players total, and then me as the eighth, that could get him, him being like me, like, okay, I'm, I'm not Dak, I'm some stranger, like, maybe K. Scott, and I'm like, oh, Dak says he, he can get me my eight-man Toa kill. If you think that what I'm saying is, your very first try without you ever making a mistake will just get you your Toa kill. To be fair, that's not quite it. Like, we could... We could fuck up because you fuck up, sure. I don't have that combat achievement, so I also... I don't see that being a problem, so... At the very least, what I can offer is the opposite of any other person who will teach you Theater of Blood. I'm not gonna be angry. And again, this, I purposely said Theater of Blood this time, because that's usually where the people get angry. I'm not going to be angry at somebody who's like, oh, I've never done the thing that we're trying to do before, and then fucking it up. Like, yeah, you probably should. <laughs> to be honest, like, you're really fucking sick if you're like, oh, I've never done this high-level piece of content that is difficult to do and just nail it first try. You're pretty fucking dope if that's you, dude. That's fucking crazy. That's fine. Like, and, and I know that because I've literally never done a high-level piece of content first try. There's, I mean, shut the fuck up. There's, there's no way. I'm not that good. If I just show you my highlights on RuneScape, you'd be like, oh, this guy's good at high-level content. You're like, but if I show you my lowlights, dude, all those miss shots, you know what I mean, dude? All those swing and a miss. You're just gonna fuck up sometimes. But what I can guarantee you is that I will bring you to any content that I'm trying to bring learners, whatever it be that day, and if you're bad at that content, I will not be mad at you for being bad at the content. I know you're a fucking learner no matter what. 
if we're doing mole or 500 toas i'm aware that like oh you haven't done this before you will probably fuck this up and then i'll yell at you for it no i'm just kidding that was the exact opposite of what i said scoopy thank you for the follow brother appreciate you man oh officially welcome to the cul-de-sac and if you feel like i'm yelling at you I mean, let me know. I'm probably being sarcastic about it, and maybe I'm just pushing it too far. Like, let me know. I, I really, I do not give a fuck if people fuck up, because I'm not, I'm, there's a 0% chance that I can sit here and pretend like, every time we do team content, I make zero mistakes, so if anybody else makes a mistake, then they should feel bad. Like, no, then I should feel bad. I, I fucked up tonight, too. Like, what the fuck? I might die right now. Hold on. I literally am low health right now. Here we go. I've been just as embarrassed, if not more embarrassed, than you will be on PVM content on my stream. I have fucked up the stupidest shit live on my own stream. There's no way you can look dumber than I have. So I can't give you shit for that. Torba play body question mark? Blood runes and blood runes? What the fuck is that, dude? What the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, Sebastian Maniscalco fans? God damn. 39.99. Oh, I'm actually gonna do it. It is 11.45 as well. This adds up. This adds up. That was 39.99. We get another trip. We are now, we're officially, the next trip that we don't get a unique will be my last trip. So, I'll get 4k KC this trip, but if we get a unique, I gotta go for back-to-back -back trips. The next trip that we don't get a unique is gonna be my last trip, and I'm gonna send some Switch Sports Golf. And then, okay, gotta go. <laughs> okay, guy. Hey man, so, hey man, 350 people die though. Easy 300 away. 300 would be a nice, nice add up, honestly. Cheers, boys. Most of my tombs of Mask at KC is solo and probably like 50. Because I did a lot of group Iron Man duos with Blue as well. 50 to 70 kills at tombs of Mask that I've done as a team. So it's not like I don't know how to do it as a team. Like, without a doubt, right now, right now, if we went to Tombs of a Masket, immediately during Akka, when it did, like, the we all glow, like, light colored, and you have to not be designed, and that doesn't happen during the solo kills, I'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? I'd be an ass for a second. Like, I gotta get back into the flow of it, for sure. I felt pretty fucking hype on some of those atlatl kills when I was just sending Tombs of Masket solos just to mess with the atlatl for that video, honestly. Damn, that shit felt good. Atlatl's really sick, too. Dom, Daniel. Dom. This fucking charger keeps rubbing up on my leg. I keep thinking it's one of the dogs, and they're both laying down. <laughs> Four or five, eight, man's best percentage per perk. We could probably get up to, honestly, if we're doing the same team of eight, or even like 10 players switching out, team of eight, um, we can get used to a 405 for sure. Hide seven. Oh my god, dude. I never mind. I take it back because I can't even fucking say the words. What I was about to say is, I would send some of those. Instead, I was like, I'm send. <laughs> uh, I'd be down to send. Like, we get the. Uh, I seen that you guys have been sending. Um, um, like in the squeakers chat, we could send you. All of us go in the squadron chat and just lock in on some on towas. We could actually go kind of ape shit on those. It'd be cool as fuck. All right, boys, R, we got four R other than me. Are we about to be five, man? See four names in me? Yeah, are we five? No, wait, is Gooch Butter? I know he's not on our team. I just wanted to say his name out loud. Of course, I want to say it, a biz You play it? Oh, of course. a at 400. You can get like one hit in that shit. That's what's fun about it, messing around with a team. Hit that iPod. Good luck. Have fun, boys. Let's get a disc After Switch Sports? We do Switch Sports, then the A-Man? Holy shit, dude. I'll be the most useless. Yeah, but I'll beat you at Switch Sports, motherfucker. You want me? You want me?
Is ban relit? No, I live in Colorado. We're one of the OG states to legalize it. Which makes me feel good about it. Actually, <laughs> we, uh, last year, good luck. Pretty much last year was for me, unless we get back to back. Um, weed was even legalized in Colorado before I smoked. I was a teenager, and I wasn't actually, uh, uh, ne'er do well, uh, I didn't actually do drugs and drink alcohol as a high schooler, even though, as you see me take a lot of shots and smoke a lot of weed on the stream. Uh, it was after I graduated high school that I started actually trying things like that. College, uh, it was before college to be fair, it's kind of like summer before. Um, but it was... Uh, Weed was legalized in the state of Colorado when I was like 16, gonna be turning 17 soon was the vote that had happened. I'm basing this off of some of the seniors in high school when I was at the school that I was at talking about how they voted for, I believe it was, how the amendment's the right word. 16 was the number they kept bringing up. And when I finally asked them, they're like, no, that means that we voted yes for like legal weed. And then, like, that next January, it was, like, such a big deal, and I I didn't smoke at all. So I was like, I guess that's kind of cool. And then it'd be, like, two years later, we'd start smoking, and... All right. Oh, okay. It's it's legal medically at 18. I couldn't... It's like alcohol. I didn't get to go buy my own weed until I was 21. Uh, I've never had to go buy weed from, like, a guy, though. I get to literally go into a fucking store with like marijuana on the shelves. So I, I never smoked before that was a thing. So I don't, I, I'm privileged. But I was still, you know, I was still kind of a teenager still, so, but it is legal in Colorado. We're about at like half the states are legal at this point. It's just getting pretty solid. We here in the Baltics, very recent thing. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Cheers to that. Pulse to that, brother. Whoopies. The amount of shots that I take over the night, that fucks me up way more than the amount of puffs that I take over the night. I'm probably more chill because I'm taking some puffs. I'm taking shots. I'm like, what you say, dude? You don't think I'm good at Swiss sports golf? <laughs> oh yeah, <yay>, guy. <laughs> well, you can't we here in public. Someone smokes cigarettes is okay. It's it's a very fair point though. Like logistically, if I wasn't smoking whatever you are smoking, and then I get the second hand puff from that, like I think there's an extremely reasonable. I don't know if disputes the word I'm looking for, like argument to be like, I just, I don't want to breathe in what you're breathing in. And that's why I like dedicated smoking zones and shit like that. Like I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go that deep into it, but just specifically, like, would you rather get secondhand smoke from a guy with a joint or a cigarette? Like, come on. The guy with the joint is not damaging as much as the guy with the cigarette, dude. It's just how it works. I don't know if you know this. Inhaling smoke's not as good for you as inhaling just straight up oxygen, all there is to it too. It's not like, oh, so it's just good for you to be smoking the weed? No, no, that was just comparison. No, it turns out your lungs really enjoy oxygen even more. I'm not, I'm not trying to deny that. Jesus Christ. But compared to a cigarette, like 100%. Somebody smoking a cigarette. Tobacco in general, I'll be more like, avoiding. I'm still young enough, I guess, that I... I kind of won't give a fuck, but I'll be more aware. And to be honest, like, guy smoking a joint, I'll kind of be like, hope he offers me a puff. Like, you know, like, I won't give a shit. To be fair. To be fair. I mean, to each their own as well. I, I'm not even going to shit on somebody for not wanting to, you know, even somebody smoking a joint, they're just like blowing in your face and shit. You know, there's, there's fucking boundaries. Goddamn. Of course. Of course. 
double ones. We got some crazy double. Four K KC. I did it, boys. I just got my four thousandth next kill. Four thousand times I've killed this boss. There's a lot of bots and mass world beasts that go crazy. So my rank is probably not insane, but that's pretty. That's pretty ridiculous. Four thousand KC is a lot of. It's a lot of kills. I mean, it never takes less than like three minutes. I guess my PB is one eighteen, but that's, I don't do many mass worlds. Cheers, boys. Oh, a splash back on that one. Wish you weren't punching me in the face while I was healing up. You know what I mean, dude? Me when Mike Tyson's got me down. Wish you weren't <laughs> punching me in the face. <laughs> Government loop all up. using people filter. The filter block out most of the shit. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. Try like trying to do logistics on what you are or are not inhaling. Specific health benefits or... Not just benefits, but like uh, issues that would uh, make people not want to be around you while you're inhaling or specifically puffing out whatever toxinogens and shit like that. That's where the conversation gets more complicated, whereas it's, it's pretty simple to just to be like, hey, man, like as long as you know what what you're doing what you're inhaling and whatnot and then like like it's reasonable to have like your own like people who are smoking whatever it is weed cigarettes all right i won't say crack stop no <laughs> i guess that gets even further the conversation is always more complicated but like stuff that like you're like hey man those guys can just puff up and have a good time but they can do it in their own area so that i don't i don't have to also inhale the same shit is extremely reasonable of course of course So I make sure to ask the person sitting next to me at the baseball game, do you smoke weed? And while they're saying no, just, oh. <laughs> God damn it. Personally, I try to be the biggest asshole in the stadium. I'm that guy. Bro, the guy next to me that smelled like hot dog could have asked me, hey, would you like to inhale hot dog all game? And I would have been like, not really. That doesn't mean I'm against hot dogs and I think that a hot dog should be illegal. That was just a goofy, you guys, you guys may not know about this, that guy. He was literally the hot dog man. Hot dog guy bog. No, you, <laughs> no bog. It's really not. Other people working in the fucking coal factories. Yeah, but imagine the, the people that work in coal factories, if it also was like, because I work in a coal factory, I now bring the coal smoke and smog to your lungs. Like, it's different to be like, this is what you do as a living. Like, I understand that other, other people can deal with different carcinogens but just because some people have it worse doesn't mean you have to force your shit upon other people you know what i mean pack a day is still not good for you and then somebody smoking cigarettes around you is still not good for you either just because there's something worse doesn't always make up for what's going down it's kind of Kind of like when you try to be like, oh, man, this shitty, oh, I fucked that up right here. I just made him skip. I didn't mean to. When you're like, this shitty shit happened to me. And somebody be like, oh, you think that's shitty? Like, here's the shittier shit. And you're like, well, just because you're in a shitty situation that's worse than mine doesn't mean my situation's not bad either. Like, you know. Just because you have been in the coal mine all fucking week doesn't mean that you can blow your cigarette smoke. This is a very, like, specific <laughs> example some coal miner who's smoking cigarettes not in the dedicated area. like that's an extremely specific example to be fair but yeah it, it, a lot of it comes down to just it's a very american thing in general like the freedoms of like you have the freedom to not have to inhale the shit that guy decided to inhale and just because like other people inhaled worse and then you also have the freedom to do it you have the freedom to inhale whatever the fuck you want and then Someone be like, oh, I've inhaled, but like, it goes the other way too, where you do your thing as well. It shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like 
you can't do your thing because some other guys like I don't smoke weed you can't smoke weed anywhere near me I guess I like, kind of bet on boundaries as well to be fair like uh, if you're just in some guy's face those boundaries tend to seem very obvious when you're actually face to face with someone this guy was puffing his joint and then he looked me right in the eyes and just fucking <gasps> like, of course this, you fucking, that guy's an asshole I feel like it's a very rare situation too. I feel like these things are uh, usually pretty obvious when you're face to face with someone. Jeez, boys, this has to be it. Runite ore is not too bad. I don't mean to break your hearts, fellas, but this is about to be Switch Sports Golf. I'm gonna lose half of you right now, and I love you all, okay? Next will happen again next Saturday. Based off of everything we've been talking about, it's now Switch Sports Golf. Can't even get to the fucking... Uh, mastery continues. Oh my god, I'm about to die. It does as I die. 100%. Doubles Mastery... The only night that we haven't gotten a drop during mass since leagues ended would be the only night we didn't do full next content, which would be like three weeks ago, Coliseum content. Maybe four weeks ago now. So I have to go I'd have to go back and look up exactly how many days that is. Common drops are crazy, see so yeah, what would we just get from that one? That rune ore was pretty thick. Twelve rune ores. Under there four K. We what do we get a double bolties too and uh I mean, double Niles were not too bad. We had another good rune ore before this. I think I got... I had an MVP rune ore on, like, our three-man kill. Okay, Scott, that you were there, too. That was, that was one of the thick rune ore ones, too. Dom, Daniel. Never use shrooms being legal. I've never taken shrooms, nor do I have too uh, heavy of an opinion on it. So, you won't get much out of me on that one. I don't know. I'm never done it, so... Mm. Don't pog why would Nightbot pog me on that? I would appreciate if people would ignore Nightbot every time he speaks. Beans, me boyos, thank you for the next life. I know it's, it's only midnight. It's actually 12.01 was originally what I said. We go to like a midnight next and then do switch sports golf. And then I switched to saying what KC I would be at when we went switch sports golf. And it was the same add up. It's now midnight. We got a decent next night in, but I am gonna I'm gonna send some switch sports because I haven't in a while. I was gonna be doing a 24 hour stream today. Oh, I am gonna take out my next pet to join you. Um because I kinda want to. And I think it's fun. But 24 mentality is the hero today. It's only been a couple weeks since I got mine, so I, I get to mess around too, I'm not gonna lie, but like this guy. Got his in less than 24 hours of mental. I try to put his name into it as well. It's been less than 24 hours since he got his. I got mine like two weeks ago. Favorite pet right now, dude. You're fucking. Any pet you just got tends to be your favorite pet. To be fair, but like this, this is this is a bit of an exception as well. You might, if your next pet is like, I don't know, what's what's like, it's too easy of a pet to get. You know, it's like. You know, like thieving pet no offense thieving pet guys actually the luckiest pet I ever got was my thieving pet on mobile and I just talk shit on it cheers boys I didn't add the hour yet I did not and the reason that you can prove that is I I update the sub goal at the same time that I update the hour and because the sub goal is still five out of five you can tell I haven't updated it I've been very consistent on that I'm happy with the fact that I'm still consistent on it. You just helped me out with that crit easy. We're now out of time, but the hour hasn't been added. We are one out of three strikes at the moment. I try to I try to make sure that I update them at the same time to help out with that because it's very easy to forget. It was so easy to forget that I forgot. <laughs> but because the sub goal, if I looked over and the sub goal had said five out of ten, I would have been extremely disappointed. Boys, ladies and gentlemen, um, wait, oh my god, hey, what is, why would you do this to me? I'm so jealous on that whisperer pet though.
I think Donnie has that one too. I don't have any Desert Treasure 2 bets. I don't actually want to talk about that right now, to be honest. I'm going to take a shot real quick, real quick. Cheers. Cheers, boys. First of all, 24 mentality. Ronars, the man, the myth, the legend, the one, the only. Cheers. You got a Torva Full Helm and the next pet tonight. I'm, I'm just saying, you got... A tour of a full helm and the next pet tonight. Hell yeah, brother. That was that was a thick night, dude. We literally don't get fuck if you didn't get fuck. You know what I mean? Fuck. I'm out for next, fellas. Um, if you guys, there's still multiple. Multiple. I guess we got a couple of logs. Oop. If you guys, the rest of you could send some snacks if you're trying to send these. Uh, you can watch some. I'm I'm gonna sit here and play some Switch Sports Golf while you guys should do some fucking next, okay? Uh, YouTube stream. This is a weird one. I haven't. Uh, maybe I should do it now to try to see how that works out. My thumbnail and title will still say that I'm playing RuneScape and doing next on the YouTube stream. If I change the the thumbnail and or title right now, the vlog, if you go watch the stream like a week from now, that video on demand, the VOD, that hopefully would still just say that it's next night number nine and have the next night thumbnail. But I also, if I'm streaming on YouTube and it just shows that it's next night and you click and I'm playing Super Smash Bros. Or not Super Smash Bros. We're going to Switch Sports. Kind of fucks with it too. I'm going to fuck with it now. Those who are uh, lurking on the YouTube stream. Instead of ending the YouTube stream, I am going to keep it up while I play Switch Sports Golf. Um, anybody on either Twitch or the YouTube side of things. If you're only here to watch some RuneScape content, I do appreciate you for chilling for hours on this RuneScape content. But I will be playing some Switch Sports Golf from now on in the rest of this stream. Thick Shady, the man, the myth, the legend. Did you just fucking kiss a homie on the way in, dude? God damn. Welcome in, Shady. Welcome in. Hold up live. I'm going to switch the title on the YouTube stream. Switch Sports Golf. But not the thumbnail is the weird thing. Just gotta see how that adds up for... Um, the video on demand. Boys! I also have a doge kind of in the way. Daisy, man, I'm sorry. She'll she'll move when she needs to. Gonna send some soul attempts. Donnie Bolt's about to get a higher KC than me in uh, Coliseum. What kind of fucking asshole does he think he is, dude? I get to sing to you my new original song. It's called Fuck Ass Zone. I'm not going to do it, dude. I'm not that guy, pal. Super Smash Bros? No, this is not right. No, stop. It's not the game. Sheesh. Thank you for next. Everybody who had sent some next tonight, especially, especially. 24 mentality. You know why. You know why, that guy. All right. It turns out that he got two drops tonight. Goddamn beast, dude. Are you out of your mind, two drops? GG's. Boys, if you get some more KC on next, good luck, good luck as well. I got to switch the 
Twitch stream over to Switch Sports as well. Beat me at golf. Win 10 mil because nobody will do it. So, when are you and Jay dropping Smash to become the best Switch Sports golfers in the world? To be honest, to be real, don't cap at me right now to be, to be fair about it. Um, uh, if we were to compare our Super Smash Bros. gains and our Switch Sports gains, I'm definitely the J of, of Switch Sports. Like, I would carry him as opposed to Super Smash Bros. He carries me. 100%. But, I've put in enough hours at, at Super Smash Bros. Compared to the hours he's put in at Switch Sports Golf, I don't know if we'll be quite there yet, you know what I mean? Hold on, we gotta, I gotta raise the cam a little bit too. We are on Switch, Switch Sports. Make sure I got the... Oh yeah, dude, we got my gilf going. Oh, dude, bust about to be so fucking hype. Ladies and gentlemen, especially on the YouTube side, I appreciate you all chilling if you were here for the OSRS content. We are now about to fucking ball. Hold up. This is about to be so much better. It's about to be ridiculous, dude. Oh, look at this. So, what we're looking at right now is there's three different... One. Oh, they only showed us the one. There's going to be a bunch of different cosmetics we could unlock, but we're just going to sign up for golf. Look at my ranks on all of this. I don't know how you can tell. If you look at golf over there, like it shows an A rank next to it, a little 23 under it. Everything else is like E rank, E, C minus, and then no rank in these three others. I play a lot of golf. We're doing it. We'll play some bowling too if you guys are interested, but we're about to win this. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No badminton rank. You want me? Alright, Dak. You spent the last hour telling your entire chat how good you are at golf. You haven't played this game in like six months. And you have to be good at it right away and you know that normally it takes you a couple of rounds before you actually get back into it and everyone's going to expect you to be good at it immediately. So you got to do it right now, alright? Three, two, one. Unmute the mic, go. Alright, boys. Here you go, chat. Alright, dude. I'm that guy, pal. Here we go. Here we go. Fucking don't tell me here we go. Don't stand too close to the television. Alright, fucking. Who are you, mom? Sorry, mom. The contestant. Oh, fuck. No, okay. Nah, it's pretty even set up. All right, guy.
I am the golf. Round one. Top five out of eight will advance. So there's eight of us right now. The top five in the next, we get to play two holes right now before there's an elimination. And top five out of eight after two holes will move on to the next round. There's not like 18 holes of golf every round. That's right, because that would take a long time. Dendies. Nice shot. Oh. Yeah, right into the sand pit. Sweet. That was sick. Over it. Let's go. Count it. I'm doing my best Jack Doherty right now. <laughs> oh, the spoon. Uh-oh. Honestly, though? Honestly, though? Honestly, though, is there no wind? There's no wind. Uh, two miles an hour. All right. Honestly, though? Dude, the Jack Doherty bro. You guys bodyguard? Dude, stop. <laughs> Yes, I watch. I watch a lot of YouTube. Actually, Crit Easy, you watch. You watch a lot of um of uh. Oompaville, right? All right, boys. Here we go. Mm. I am the one. Here comes the chip god. The only reason I know of the loser Jack Doherty is because Oompa Bill, that's fucking awesome because of Oompa, dude. I love that guy. Caleb, he's got to be my most watched in the past. Cody Ko, I've watched a lot of Cody Ko, but right now Oompa has got to be the guy. All right, boys. Oh, I'm running out of time. Hold up. I got to hit my chip god right now. Oh, fuck. Ah, too much backspin. Fuck, that's bad. Ah, that's not bad. All right, hold on. Nice on. All right, Dak, you happen to get a birdie on the very first hole. People still think you're good at the game. You gotta, you gotta pull it off right here. Whoo, birdie. Dude, birdie. If you get a birdie every hole, you tend to get first place around here, okay? I'm in first place. No, 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 somebody got an eagle. And he's got a Japanese username. Okay, dude. Wow. Wow. One guy got an eagle, six players got a birdie, and then the last guy got par. I would be tied for last if I got par. Oh my god, this is good competition. What the fuck is that? Yogi Bear? Coming up, Yogi Bear? The, the puppy's never seen me play Search Sports Golf. She's like, what the fuck is going on? Ah, uh, we got some wind too. Hold up. Practice shots. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Curve, curve, curve. Let's go. We'll take rough. We'll take rough. I'm a chip god, dude. Taking a puff, boys. So it's got me default on the nine iron. What I'm gonna do is go for a little deeper shot, like with a five. We know where the wind is. It's going left. So I'm gonna lead a little bit right. I'm gonna try to hit like just about the second, a little bit over the second dot here, ready? Like, there's the second dot there. Kind of, right about there. A little more, a little more. 
Right here. Ah, too much. Oh! I rim jobbed it! Dude, I almost put that in! Oh my god! <laughs> I told you I'm a chip god, dude. What the fuck? Dude, I was not fucking around that I'm a chip god. It's literally, drives are okay. Chips, I'm a god. Putts, I'm garbage. Putts, I'm a putts. <laughs> that was insane, dude. Back to back birdies. Dude, that was crazy. If I put that in for an eagle, eagle is always a shot. A turkey in bowling is a shot as well. I'm just gonna take a shot because that was actually one of the crazy. That chip was insane. There's no way I rim job that shit. That was insane. That was actually. I told you, dude. Chip God. Your boys tied for second. All right, we in. <laughs> I'm too. I'm too Jack Doherty right now, dude. Stop. Where's my bodyguard, dude? I made it to the next round. This is the elimination round. And hole in one. Boys, you can get a hole in one. Hold up. Cheers, boys. This one is a par five, isn't it? Four. Yeah, you, you cannot hole in one this one. Uh, technically, maybe you could. Yeah, a couple of people are going for it. So that curve, there's no way though, that's crazy. Cheers, boys. I gotta play this safe right now, dude. This is an insane win. This is wild, dude. Nice shot. Come on! Fuck. That's doable. That's doable, dude. It's a weird one. So you want to kind of line drive this? You want to do this heavier than you expect? You want to kind of line drive this around this fucking tree, though? This is anus. Oh, fuck. I want to do a, a one -y, a one -y and a quarter. I'm gonna bounce it. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Stop. Redirect. Redirect. There, there we go. Hit it off the tree, then do a backflip. Count it. You're sh way too short. Ah, get on there. Okay. I gotta be chip god, I gotta be chip god. I don't have much time for chip god, I'm running out of time limit. Chip god, dude! Par? Nice. <gasps> Never been so hype on a par in my life, dude. Chip God. My chips keep me in the game, dude. I'm I'm not fucking around when it comes to chip god, dude. I'm not fucking around, dude. I'm gonna download this game now, dude. Fucking beat me. 10 mil. 10 mil, dude. Do it. I'm tied for second still. Those guys won't be eliminated yet, though. That was only hole three, right? Yeah. So this is now an elimination round. Only the top three players will move on from this. It's first place, and then me and another player in second, and a few points behind. I fucking hate this hole. A little wind towards us, too. Uphill. Oh. It's beans. It's beans.
Nice shot. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I have to chip god the fuck out of this, please. This is a game? It's better or worse than Wii Sports the Classic? It's an insanely good question. It's it's physically impossible to beat Wii Sports is the problem. This might be better. I like the haptics on a Switch Sports controller than I like on the Wii Sports controller. That's that's at least a good point. But fellas, is the in are the in-game sounds loud enough? Do I need to turn those up? Question mark. Backspin? Not enough. Fuck. Chip God. Fuck that up, dude. Dude, I'm fucking playing, bro. <laughs> What's up, dude? Here, I'm just fine. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'll turn him up a little if anybody needs. Appreciate they made all the me's like cartoon social media influence in the modern. Day. This is this. They definitely. Uh, oh my god, I'm in third for top three. I very rarely scored over 40, and this person going to the last hole is at 39. We're against some really good competition. This is insane. <gasps> you can hole in one this one. No, no, you can't. Damn. Damn, Daniel. This is definitely the next iteration of Wii Sports is Switch Sports Golf. It's. I feel like the reason that I would say Switch, or excuse me, I feel like the reason I would say Wii Sports is always better is like a nostalgia thing, like honestly. Oh fuck, a lot of wind on this one. This is gonna be such a pain in the ass. This is gonna be very difficult. I am third out of three. We're in the final round though. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jover, boys. That's it. Can't believe that counter that is out of bounds. Nice Fucking shot. judge has knocked me out of this bullshit, dude. Damn. Damn. Fuck with me here. Nice shot. Not bad. <sighs> fuck, dude. I'm definitely. Th uh, I'm third out of three. That out of bounds fucked me, dude. It happens, boys. We got to the finals. We got to the finals, all right? Try to chip god this. Hold on. I get 30 seconds. Hold up. Not enough. Not enough. Dude, my backspin been weak. I got to go harder with it. To get backspin, like when you when you go back, if you stop suddenly, kind of at your feet instead of following through, is when you get the backspin. If you exaggerate it, you get way more backspin. This is gonna be a bad putt, but I I've spent too long. They're all waiting on me. Oh, what was that? It's all right, boys. I told you I was third out of three in the finals. I told you.
GG's boys, GG's. Hold on, let's send another round, hold up. I do some bowling as well, I'll do some bowling, but I'm gonna send a second golf round in a row, because I'm feeling good. I'll do some bowling though. Uh, there's also, I don't think they have, no, they have tennis, badminton, and, what's the other one that's similar? Volleyball, kind of play the same way. These guys are good, dude. 37 points is not a bad round. I've only gotten above 40 points a few times, and I'm A rank in this game. Like, both of these players, Gamer Dad Mitch and a bunch of Japanese characters guy, are good. A rank 23? I, I'm gonna rank up, aren't I? Hold up. Oh, it didn't move at all, did it? It did! There it is! I literally ranked up in that game. That's how well I did. I told you. I told you. It's good competition. Oops. If those guys wanted 10 mil, they would have won 10 mil, dude. All right, I'm gonna send another golf round. Hold up, doesn't take too long. I can do bowling as well. Hold up, I mean, I guess I could. I can vote. I, we can send a chat vote on Twitch. It wouldn't include the YouTube vote. I gotta, I gotta move the YouTube chat over as well. Cheers, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a good first round. Your boy should have been a winner, dude. Instead, you know what I am? Say it with me, chat. Loser. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Dab, Troy. Hey, welcome. I thought I missed you by a bunch of minutes, but you're here right now. We have Varlamo Hunt to guide you guys. Guys, always crush me. New wealthy citizens of the Thieving Guide. 100%. There will be Varlamo guides coming in hot. The first video that I'm making about Varlamore, which will be coming out on Monday, will be about the uh, Eclipse at Laddle. But 100% Hunter's Guild, new thieving method, both high up on the list. High Tech Seeds, what's up dude? Welcome in, welcome in. Ladies and gentlemen, on the YouTube side, I don't know how obvious, this is the first time that I've streamed on YouTube that wasn't RuneScape. So I don't know how well it lets you know when you click on that, that it's not going to be RuneScape. I know the thumbnail looks like next night. We just finished next night. We're now playing some Switch Sports. Uh, welcome in, though. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, swings, maybe? No, I gotta get this. Let's get some golf. Let's get some golf. Hold up. We're gonna win this right here. We should make it to the finals. Not a, good, not a bad round one, but hey. Why you love Carol armor? I mean, Carol's pretty good for defense. The story is still an upgrade. Shit, I got didn't switch my monitor to the right thing. I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. We are playing Switch Sports. Think of Wii Sports, but for the Switch. And we're playing golf at the moment. I just got a cosmetic. I don't know the fuck this is. I am just going to the next golf round. We just got third out of eight players. And both the players I lost to were pretty good. But honestly, I should be better. Is the Joy-Con strap attached? Nope. I just got the muscles of Giancarlo Stanton. I'm going to hold on to my controller. Bro, hey, do you, yeah, yeah, do you remember when, when Leif, when we were, dude, we had, a, what was that fucking video game we had with the bat and the ball and the wires? First of all, how ahead of its time was that video game? That was insane. And you wired. remember, it was wired, but like it worked. Yeah. We could play like Wii Sports Baseball. This had to be five years before Wii Sports came out. And you remember when Leif let go of the bat? <laughs> Locked it into the fucking wall. We had a, like a Switch Sports, or rather Wii Sports baseball game years before Wii Sports came out, and it didn't have the strap that Switch Sports just warned me about. Like, hey man, hold on to the controller. We had one time, dude. We were grinding, bro. We were crushing this game. We were getting pretty good in, in life, bro. Life sent the fucking bat. <laughs> Bro, it was the most square. I've never. <laughs> the way it hit the wall was so fucking straight on, dude. I'm, I'm like 11, dude. I'm just a kid, so. To me, it's fucking hilarious. My parents are like, oh my god. Is there a hole in the wall? <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, dude. This is before uh, Wii Sports, fellas. Honestly, Switch Sports has to get a baseball game. If Switch Sports gets baseball. I will play Switch Sports Baseball for 24 straight hours if I have to. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it. Cool. Alright boys, top 8. Here we go. If you guys are just tuning in as well, we do have the, yeah. the puppy hanging out on the couch. She's not rooting for us because she's asleep facing the couch.
Il l'a pas fait. Oh my god, this is way better competition. Bunch of A and S ranks. This is gonna be tough. No way. No way, those guys were already good. No way. Hold up. I gotta lock in. Hold up. Shot, they're all going crazy. Oh, no way, I guess. Is it working for them? None of them said first on green. I gotta be safe. Nice shot. I gotta be safe. See what's up. Oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Okay, okay. Two of them got eagle. Oh my god, we have ridiculous competition. I should go bowling. What the fuck? So from here, I kind of want to line drive very weakly, like these. Oh, too far though. Oh my god. The aim was beautiful. This is a par four, so I have to set this up beautifully for par. And we knew last, oh my god. Last round I got birdie, round one, and I was barely like, passing. This is going to be rough. This would be really nice to put it in from here. There's no way. Dude, tell me that's not Chip God, okay? You thought I was out of my mind to even bring up that I could make it from that spot, and then I put it that close. I'm telling you, give me a few games, I am the Chip God, okay? Fucking... Damn, I gotta get good enough at Chip God to get a bunch of viewers about Chip God and then get like a Doritos sponsorship or something, right boys? I'm gonna take a shot, fellas. Hold up, hold up. Alright, fellas. I'll play some bowling after this if you guys are looking for bowling, but I'm also about to win, dude. This guy thinks he's Tiger. Jeez, no, I am, though, dude. Jordan Spieth out here, literally about to get eliminated because everybody else got a birdie. Hold up. I can only name so many other golfers. Oh, this is the this is whole 18. Yep, this is a rough one. Wind coming in? Oh, everyone's gonna hate this. <sighs> Cheers, boys. Bubba Watson, dude. Bubba Watson. Ah, I can be Bubba. Maybe we're not quite. Our complexion's a little different. It's alright. No! Alright, um, whoever's not on the tour, that's... Name, name a golfer not on the tour, that's me. I told you, dude, I'm a chip god, not a drive god. Ah, oh, I gotta bring this back. I'm gonna be out. Fuck. This is a roughie. Damn. That guy just got an eagle! What the hell? Nice shot. No! I swear to God, the wind's further in than it's telling me. I swear, dude, just look away for a sec. Hold on, we're bringing this back. It's Jover on this round. It's Jover, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I swear.
swear to God, the map is lying. I understand that it's uphill. I know how this works. I'm literally, I am, I am giving up right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm taking the L. I'm taking the L, shot. I'm taking the L. I'm taking the L. I, I fucked it up, dude. I am that guy. Just let me take the L then. No way that gets to the island. I misjudged multiple times in a row. Kind of an uphill and whether or not the wind would do as much as it does. And that is just me doing too much next instead. So we are canceling next night. <laughs> I know limit reached you. I fucked it. I fucked it. I know we're doing it. Dad, let me out. Seven points. No, because that was only my first. It only counted my first. Oh, I know, dude. I'm not last. Doesn't count. You watch UFC or MMA? I do not. I do not. I can only name, like, big name UFC MMA fighters. I gotta act like I know Conor McGregor, but that's just because I watched his Netflix like, documentary. <laughs> Shit like that, to be fair. To be fair. Were you trying to tell me to do Chimbara? I just lost my rank. Look how close I am to getting it back. Look at it. Oh, look how close it is. Chimbara's sword fighting, to be fair, on this. I am that guy, pal. Why do I do this? Fortune telling your lucky sport is bowling. It just told me my lucky sport is bowling. I guess I have to send a bowling round. I'm not ready for this. I'm C minus in bowling. Wait a minute. All right, one sec, fellas. Mute. All right, Dak. The entirety of your chat is gonna watch you do some bowling real quick, and you, you're really not that good at this. And it's probably gonna, it's not gonna be regular bowling. It's gonna be a lot of interesting lanes. You can't just throw it straight to Brooklyn every time. And people are, are gonna think, why is he doing this instead of RuneScape? So you gotta be good at this, and you're not good at this. Good luck. Unmute. Here we go, boys. Who do they think they are, though? You are. Who do, <laughs> who do they think they are? You are is a fucking... The, such a heavy level of meta. Of, hold on. Will this play on this screen? Hold on. Where is it? Go. What the fuck? <laughs> it's time, boys. I have to I have to hit my inner Pete Weber right here, right here. Regular lane to start. Bowling. The contestants. We're all bad at this game. Here we go. Cheers. Round one. Top eight out of sixteen will advance after the third frame. Is it really regular? No way. I would love to go back to golf right now. What the? F no way. There's no way, dude. There's no way. Just instead of watching me do bowling, watch the puppy lay on the couch. You're right. Stick to next, kid. I'm still okay. <clears throat> please, no way. Please, Dad, please feed me. 
need to strike right now. Fucked up by opening with not a strike or a spare. Bowling sucks. Who told me to do bowling? Go and juggle a little more right, dude. I had the first, or I had the second one, and then I, I thought I threw the same, and I did two points away. All right, dude. There's one. <laughs> my, my fucking character even looked like he's she was so like. I guess we gotta sit here and watch. No, lady, it it's not. I'm not like that. It was because of the first shot, dude. It's literally, it's literally the first shot. Shut up! Don't, don't give me a strike bonus. Doesn't count. We get some random. No, I got eyebrows. I got eyebrows. Look at me. I got a slit eyebrow, dude. Are you that guy, pal? You and your slit eyebrow. <laughs> it rhymes too well. All right, give me a sec. We're gonna put up golf and bowling on this one. We probably will end up sending golf, so it gets to choose depending on what queues up. I need this, pal. I need this. It's over, dude. I'm not even... I'm not even allowed to play the game. Like, Dak, you hit one chip god scenario, you hit one strike, you think you're good at the game now. I do, honestly. I hit that strike. I felt pretty good. I felt like I was part of the squad, part of the crew, part of the ship, but next thing I know, I fuck up the next throw and they just kick me out, dude. Are you that eyebrow pal? Are you that guy, bro? I, bro, pal? I think it's about to send us to golf, pal. Kind of scared is what I am. I hit the finals and then I got knocked out round one and one back to back. It's hit me hard, man. I need this now. Go. Go. Let's go. Don't stand too close to the television. Cheers, boys. Echo Crystal, <laughs> this fucking guy. I think he's cool. Round one. Double Echo Crystal. All right, dude. Now I gotta stretch twice. What the fuck? Let's go. Good drive. Good drive. Some might say the best drive. Chip God. Nice 
chip, God. That was a really good chip. We take those. Let's go, boys. I have a question. Let her rip, brother. Let her rip. How am I such a chip god? Backspin, dude. Do you have those moments where your dog just doesn't want to eat? Only if they're like feeling sick. Usually this one over here. On the couch, she's crazy. Do the shooter McGavin after each other. Oh fuck, dude, I've been missing out. Wait a minute. I should also just happy Gilmore my way into each drive might make me a drive god. Wait a minute. This is a weird one here. Hold up. Technically, you can hole in one this. Keep it on the green, though. Great backspin to keep it here. Okay. Nice. No way, though. Oh. Nice. My God. Did anybody else just watch what I watched? I just, I would really like you guys to be on my side on that one. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Look how close this is. Absolutely robbed, dude. That was ridiculous. I better still be in this round. I just lost three points from that, though. Par is seven, birdies ten. Yeah. Eagle fourteen, hole in one eighteen. Fuck. No one's still in it. I'm still tied for first right now. Fuck. I did Solian first. I am the one. I'm winning this shit, dude. Beat me in Switch Sports Golf, win 10 mil. Par 3. This is hole in one. Available. No wind? Oh, stop. Come on! Ah, damn it! Chip God? Holy shit, dude! Nice on. I mean, <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Fuck. Fuck! That was it, though. I, I had a shot. Next 
crazy. Bro, honestly, almost just hit my second career hole in one. That was fucking close, dude. Damn. Damn, damn, you're pretty good, pretty good. I am actually in first place right now. Alright, guy. Oh, so you the guy. Ah, uh, this is a part five? Yeah, nobody gets a hole in one of the part five. You could get an eagle. I'm supposed to take a shot anytime I get an eagle or a turkey in bowling. But we just saw how bowling went. That was, well, I got a, one strike, you know. I'm supposed to get three strikes in a row. I don't know if you guys know how turkeys work. Cheers, boys. Those do any birds today? We did. We saw some crazy shit. 24 mentality got. Yeah, there it is. Both those drops, dude. Cheers, boys. There's no way that the exclamation point today command is correct. Oh, quick on this. Nice shot. Oh, it's in the bunker. I got over. That's better. That's better. I did that last time. Hold up. <laughs> Shit. Honestly, Chip God makes up for this. Hey, that guy's right there, too. It's like when your best friend fails a test with you, you're like, come on, man. <laughs> he also got there. <laughs> here we go, boys. Chip God, right here. This is where I shine. I shouldn't have said that. Hold up. I said that after I made the shot. Hold up. It's not great. It's more ship of the night. Oh, it was it showed the backspin, but it didn't make a fucking difference. Damn it. Am I bogey on this? Fuck. Oh, it's bad right now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Fuck, I gotta be quick. We got 20 seconds. I'll see where we're at. That was bad. Damn. I told you my, my putt game, not as good as my chip game. So once I have a bad chip and it relies on my putt instead, I'm an idiot. I need to set myself up better than that. I'm still in first at the moment. Just because of my, my recent, my previous holes. We're going to the finals, up by one point. So it's not... One point is not just one stroke better, like uh, a par, was, it shows the scoreboard sometimes. Par is like seven points, birdie 10, eagle 13, hole in one 18, like there's a point system. You got this! Buff was literally the guy here for my hole in one. I almost just hit my second career hole in one earlier. Not bad. Not great. 
Not bad. Fuck, dude. Nobody else had a great setup. I gotta put the- I gotta chip god this right now. If I set this up for an easy pot, I fucking win this. God damn it. Fuck. Not enough! That might have been it. Was oh no, classic dude. Fuck, did I had it, dude? There's no way, dude. I get five points for that. I was only up by one. If the guy behind me got a party, beat me by one because yeah. Oh god, dude. I got third out of all of that. I need the chip god better. It's gonna rank me up though. <laughs> Drink water, nerd. Thank you, Nightbot. Oop. <laughs> Near career, second hole. Uh, second hole in one. I've been not playing for six months, not too shabby. I had to hit it. If I hit it, I would've won this. I had these guys. I had these guys. We'll send another. I have these guys. I'll still rank up. A24 instead of A23. I don't know what gets you up to S rank. I think it's like 30. I got a bunch of points for cosmetics. I don't care. Jagex. It's not Jagex. <laughs> I thought I had it. And I didn't have it, dude. I fucking had it. Send another. I was pretty good. I put myself in a good lead, but like, dude, you just gotta not, you know, fuck up. Believe it or not. This is it. This is the one. I am the one. I got the win here. Damn. I ended up getting third, which means the two good matches I had, I got third both times. But that time I... It's only... So, it's not like... One stroke is not one point. After each round, it'll show you the scoreboard for, uh... If you get a par, it's 7 points, like birdie's 10, I think bogey's 5. So, the difference between par and bogey is a little bit less than par and birdie. Like, it, the better you do, the more points you get, rather than the worse you do, the less punished you get. A lot of it's, uh, literally a single stroke could make the difference, and, uh, one stroke later, my gr wait, no, not like that. Uh, that's not what I meant. That one hole in one would have done it. I have an extra, like, I got a birdie. Just fucking 10. It's an 18. Eight points extra. It was an easy win. But it wasn't that close. It was pretty close. Honestly, if I did that same drive on the last hole, I would have had it. So I got to win this right here. I got spicy grandma sauce. Look at that bottom left corner. Look at that. Spicy grandma sauce? What the fuck is that? This is it, dude. This is what it comes down to. Here we go. Set. Make sure you have enough space around you. Yes. The contestants. That guy's S four. What the fuck? Round one.
what the fuck? That was crazy. Alright. Way too hard. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Par. We take those. My, my putt game, not as good as my chip game. Okay, guy, that guy got a double bogey. At least I'm not like that guy, dude. <laughs> Am I right, chat, please? All right, fellas, this is my last chance, fellas. We got fucking four minutes in this timer. Tied for second, right? Yeah. With a lot of players. After this round, the bottom three get knocked out. I gotta have at least a par here. I I better get a fucking birdie on this. I gotta get a birdie. Par three? Oh, with the win. Oh, my God. You could uh, hole in one on this one. It's gonna be beans with this wind. 33 miles an hour. Oh my god. Oh, this is so fucked up. No way. You people are gonna out of bounds. I'm gonna wait to see what it says. Hold up. Nice shots. Got a bunch of nice shots. They actually getting on the green, everybody. Oh, it's so fucked up, dude. That was a pretty good putt. That was a drive. I just called it a putt. The fuck is this? Here we go. We're about to get par again. He's got par in the last one. Unfortunately, I said I need to get birdie on this one. We'll see what's up. Nice par. We're playing at a high enough level that par is just not good enough. Unfortunately. Did we get through to the next round? Back to back par. I am average. Oh, only one guy got birdie on that. Actually, I'm only a point behind first place. We're in. We're in. Okay. Easy. We got both dogs on the couch, chilling, waiting for the final result. Dog one. Dog too. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I 
Not great. <laughs> uh oh. That guy hit the tree. That's the guy in first. I thought I went too hard. Go a little harder. Par again if I hit this. Damn, dude. Sauce just hit a great putt. Nice yeah, let's see, dude. This is not an elimination hole, so nobody's getting knocked out yet. Next will be elimination hole. Show me your elimination hole. What? Three points behind first and three pull a tie for first. Uh-oh. 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 How'd you how did you win? Fed by spoon, unfortunately. This is my last run of the night at the moment. It's Almost, dude. You just missed it. You do need Switch Sports Golf, dude. He's ready for that 10 mil, bro. Do you have Switch Sports Golf, bro? Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That is the one. I do. All right, dude. We need him. Unfortunately, we are we just we're two minutes past the timer tonight, bro. Why didn't that hit it? Nice shot. Ah, bunkered. First bunker of the night, too, dude. No way. We have hit a par every hole. <laughs> no way. No shot. Wait a minute. Enough backspin, that would have been the birdie. Nice call. Sh might be it. Sh might be it, boys. Oh, yeah. Jover. Four pars ain't gonna do it. Oh wait, spicy grandma sauce. <laughs> that guy was in first after two holes. Wait a minute.
fucked you over. All right, hold up. What was the offer? Was it ten mil? Question mark. I believe it was. Yo, fed by spoon. You trying to do? I think the least holes we can do is nine. Are you available for nine holes? And backspin just need to touch it more. Oomph, I need more oomph on the backspin for sure. We could, if we can do a three for, I'll do a three for. But I think we have to do nine. You're available for nine. My switch is dead. It's all right, brother. I almost had already just dipped without the extra offer. We'll bring this back. This won't be the first time, okay? It won't be the first time. This literally was the first time I'm ass backwards. This won't be the last time. We'll set it then. We'll call it. Um, I haven't done. I haven't done enough scheduled Switch sports streams. It's been the first time in a while. We'll send it again. Hopefully, you get a chance to tune again. Switch dead. We both had an excuse on this one. At first, I was like, I'm gonna go to bed, and I was like, all right, we'll send it, and then you switch is dead, and it's all. It's probably reasonable then. It is uh, getting late, boys, and we hit the timer chat. If only my backspin had a little more oomph. We almost had our second hole in one today. Not gonna lie, one of those shots was pretty fucking close on that. Chat, we also had a pretty solid next night tonight. First time that I've done some non OSRS during the OSRS stream for YouTube as well. Good shit. Play for an hour straight. Is, is it time for a break? Yes. Nintendo, it is. I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, ending strum. I appreciate you all tuning in. Now let's go ahead and get some tunes. Wait a minute. Tunes tuning in. Where be the outro music? There it's going. Thank you for next. Thank you for golf. Yo, thank you for hanging out. Next and golf. Pretty easy. You boils, thank you for stopping in. Solid gains tonight. Uh, we got some good next gains with the uh, Torva Full Helm and the Pet and Switch Sports Golf. This is the first time I'd sent it in a while, so I appreciate you all being here for messing around with some golf. We sent the one bowling round. That was beans. I'll, I'll practice some bowling. The next time that we play not Super Smash Bros. Or I meant to say not RuneScape. was going to be Super Smash Bros. Next streams will be RuneScape, but the next time that we don't play RuneScape on stream will be Smash instead. That would be Thursday's stream is going to be a doubles Super Smash Bros. stream. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll be live on Monday. Definitely, I'm not live on Sunday. Monday's a maybe. Uh, I won't go as long as Tuesday without a stream as well. I'm going to hit up the Discord about Strum Life too. I'll see you then, boys. Thank you for stopping in. Me, boys. Have a good night. Sleep well. I'll see you soon. Good luck on the games. Peace.